Hi, Voss Channel. How are you guys doing? And welcome to Shadows of Doubt. It's a very early stream. I don't know if this is going to be a long stream for you guys because I might cut it halfway through because it would be too long for the VODs channel. Uh, and we, I also want to do later on, so I want to start off with a, a whole bunch of Shadows of Doubt shenanigans. We're just going to have chat be criminals, which is was a lot of fun last time. So we're going to uh, try a little bit more of, of that. And we're also going to be starting a new city, by the way um in case you didn't get in last time and i don't think you even have to worry about getting in you literally just sit here and you'll get in automatically um there's nothing you have to do um and i've talked to the developers and they said it was a little bit unstable for a title seems yes no i changed the title just now uh unless you're yeah there you go um so they recommended me to play a smaller map. So I'm creating a medium map uh, instead of a big map, which might hopefully fix those issues. So let me, well, we should say hi YouTube here first. I'm also a little confused if I at any point during the stream seem confused about what's going on. It's because I literally changed everything about my entire streaming setup. I used to use Streamlabs OBS, but it has been f so fucked and buggy for months now that I had to give up on it because that shit is awful. Um, but now I'm using OBS, which is a whole new experience. So I might make some mistakes, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I need to copy paste this. Well, actually, can I? Yes, copy paste that. Um, and then I guess we're just going to go say hi, YouTube. Hopefully everything is working. Is it recording? It is recording. Let me actually check if there is a recording file as well. Because sometimes it shows you that and it's okay. There's actually a recording file, so it should be recording. Hopefully, otherwise, I don't know if you're going to see this on the VOD channel. Hopefully you are seeing this on the VOD channel. Am I small? I might be smaller. I had to like guesstimate my sizes. I realized that I, my setup is far simpler than I my actual setup. Uh, the game title needs changing. You need to press F5 on your computer keyboard. Um, that's what needs to change. Phantom Menace, think, unless unless it bugged out again, because <laughs> uh, I already changed it as soon as I clicked the live button. Phantom Menace, thank you for the five gift subs. I think the chat is a little bigger than usual. I think so too. I think you guys are too big. What are you doing? Get that smaller? We're going small. Are we all good though? Besides that, sorry for the long pause here. It's just that it's a whole new experience. Um, anywho, we are going to go play hi YouTube now. Get ready. <clears throat> Here we go. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Shadows of Doubt. This game just got, it got its first major update and I made a video on it asking you guys if you wanted to see more and everyone said yes please more so here here we are to deliver more shadows of doubt content and obviously we're going to be using the twitch integration once again uh everyone in chat will be a citizen in the city and these citizens are going to be doing all kinds of uh, weird things they're going to be stealing from each other uh they're going to be murdering each other cheating on each other all kinds of fun stuff and I'm the detective who's going to have to put them all in jail it's going to be fun I hope you enjoy if you not subscribe please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go oh baby i see it's fine i think the chat is slightly weird let me change this yeah there we go that's better why you guys got such long names man get smaller get smaller with the names see some of the names are so fucking long <laughs> What is happening? Why are you guys so stupidly long? How oh, can I can I fucking fix this? Sorry. You guys are flying across the screen. Um, let me see. Properties. Can I like align it differently? How the fuck do dude? I'm what is happening? Um What? Uh, because it's definitely weird. Like, I wish it would align. I feel like it's different than when I, when... Has the, the chat has never been like this. I guess, I guess your name. If your name's too long, I'm sorry. You're not going to see your name. Your name is going to fall off the screen. It's the way it is. It's the law of the land now. Uh, because it otherwise just doesn't fit. 
rip your name. Um, you just got to change your name to be smaller. I think that's fine because otherwise it's going to be way too much into the screen. I think this is like, I wish I could move it even more to the left, but that's just the way it is right now. Size doesn't matter. Exactly. Okay. New game sandbox generate city. I already have a, um, have a seed and everything for this one. Uh, we're gonna change it to Twitch city once again. Which city? It's just, oh, wait, that's not how you Twitch it. Wait, no, that is how you type it. This is what we decided. That looks so weird. Twitch city. Yes. Uh, and then I will paste my seed. There we go. Uh, and we're gonna be running medium this time. Let's see. Gameplay settings. I don't think I need the uh the intro this time so we're gonna skip the intro game difficulty is gonna be hard i mean we could show the intro might as well right um midday seems good no apartment yes we could even do no money <laughs> no money no lock picks nah but we're gonna have to start with some like uh, camera contract we'll start with 100 bucks and i think the default settings are totally fine um same game difficulty hard everything seems good all right here we go start me up start me up Twitch shitty. <laughs> Let me in the Twitch integration. It's gonna automatically do it as soon as I start it. I have to start it once we're in the game. Um, actually, you know what? I'm alt f because I want to start it up before we get into the game because there might be some names that are gonna be um, pre like that are gonna be involved in the first crime. It is kind of annoying that the the names are somewhat fought. Why? How can anyone describe how the chat looks different? Like what? What makes it look this way? Why is it now falling? Was it always falling off? Was this always how it worked? Can anyone check the last <laughs> stream? Um, it looks smaller. How does it was always? It was always been like this. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. I guess it's always been like this. Okay, we're gonna enable Twitch integration. Uh, connect me up. Which login complete. Connected. Turn it on. How many audience names? 134 to start off. Um, and that's going to update along the way. It's going to add people in. This is why we're doing a smaller city. Because previously, like the, 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 the Twitch integration works way different than I expected. The way I expected it would work is that it would just like pull everyone from chat, put them in the city, and that's it but it actually slowly adds people over time. Um, I feel it might be wider, the chat. It might just be wider. Pretty sure the old one just cut off the longer names. Oh, and now it shows everyone's full name. I see. Wait, maybe I can change that with the settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think you're totally right. The, the, it like did dot, dot, dot when someone's name. I can change the width to be maybe this. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's better. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, look at that. Yes. Yes. We're, we're getting it. We're figuring it out. Look at that. I think that's I think that's exactly how it used to look like. Pretty much. I might have to change the length a little bit, though, because you guys are fucking tall, man. You guys are straight from the Netherlands. Um, let me change that height to be 400 instead. There we go. That's actually perfect. Couldn't have done it better myself. And that's just a few tweaks. So we're gonna might have to do a few tweaks like that throughout the experience today, because changing your whole streaming setup uh is it's a little bit of an undertaking, but hopefully it'll be better from now on. To give you some of the bugs that I was running into with Streamlabs, and the fa like I'm so busy, I have no time to change anything. I, I guess we'll already start generating. Um Is this my city? Paste? Um uh, for the last, I think, five months, I haven't been able to... It hasn't saved any of my changes on, on Streamlabs OBS. Um, for some reason, the, the program is so fucking bugged and terrible that I've literally, every time I make a change and I restart the app, I have to make the change again. It hasn't saved a single thing for the last half a year. Completely horrible. Um, what, what are we going to do? We leave this all at default, right? We have the intro as well. Um, and then now there's, which that I was okay. Like it wasn't that big of a deal cause I didn't have to change my settings. Um, but the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back was a new bug that they have now introduced, which is where if you click 
end recording, sometimes it also ends the stream, which is completely ridiculous. <laughs> that should not happen. So now I'm done. Now I'm done with Streamlabs OBS. Not only is it a scummy company, but it is also a terrible piece of software now. Uh, go from Iceland. Thank you for all the gift subs. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, we're trying out OBS now. Albeit, uh, we're a little lost in the sauce. But I think at least our basic setup is okay for now. <laughs> it just sucks that I can't see donations in a very clear way. So that's the only that's the only thing why I was just like sticking in OB or Streamlabs because seeing the the like really clear donation feed was just really neat. Um but besides that everything else was fucked. <laughs> Hair was fine. Yeah, I'm just looking cuz it all looks so strange now. My setup looks so weird. Okay. Here we go. We are recording and everything, right? Double checking. Double checking. Check. Yes. This working. Are we recording here as well? We are recording. Stop recording. All right, good stuff. Let's hop in. Stream elements could add that. Maybe I'll see. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're going to have a new city. This is the late 20th century. Uh, and we're going to see it in all its glory now. I have generated a bunch of cities, and this was the best one I could find. It's a really pretty city. It has a really nice park setup. Like, I was I was basically generating cities as if I was, like, shopping for homes. And I was like, oh, this park is, is real neat here. Look at that whole park setup right there. <laughs> it's a very dead park, though. <laughs> yeah, it looks very steampunky. Uh, let me change this. Can I change this? I don't think I can. All right. Well, chat is just there. Hope your name isn't Sophie. We're gonna talk about... Hopefully, there will be a murder quick again. Uh, because last time, within the first five minutes, there was a, a murder, which was amazing. Sophie is instant bot only. Um... Okay, wait, there's two parks? No, that's the same park. I really like how the park is in the middle of the map on this on this generation. It's so neat looking. And I I, I find specifically annoying how many blockages they create when you randomly generate a city. This one only has one, I think. Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. Here we go, baby. So it's it's literally the like it doesn't matter that we have a new city. We basically didn't accomplish much last time anyway. Alrighty, here we go. So, we are uh, in a new Twitch city because I was talking with the developers and they said that I should probably make a medium map rather than a very large map because a lot of the stuff that happens on a very large map can be a little unstable because the map has to render so many more citizens, especially with the Twitch integration. It was, a, it was fairly unstable. So, we've decided to do a medium map, which means that basically, literally, every single citizen on this map will be one of you guys now as you saw before if i just randomly talk to someone and ask for their name they probably won't give it to me because everyone hates me uh now since we're starting over we're going to be getting a murder case extremely quickly here and look at this beautiful city i was generating cities and i really love the way this one looks um there they got this really neat park in the middle and then this beautiful hotel look at that hotel right over there you can see the hotel uh, I love it. So yeah, first of all, when you start a new game, as always, you gotta get some get some work because we are coming into the city. We don't even have an apartment. We don't have anywhere to sleep. We're probably gonna be staying in the hotel because the hotel is actually a new building that they added. Let's see if there's anything in the news. Any any murder has been committed here yet? Um, rising sea, rising profit. Game over for Gil. Foreign affairs. Okay, it seems like. Do we see any any names here? Any. Citizen names. I don't, I don't really see any of them. All right, we're going to drop this on the floor, get our first job here. Let's see, what's our first job going to be? We don't have anything right now. Oh, we have so many apartments as well. There's only a thousand. I can buy an apartment for a thousand bucks, a few jobs, and we got that. I want to do one of the new quests as well, because last time I didn't even do a single new quest when we played this for the first time. Public humiliation, 350. That's like nothing. Aggie, thank you for the gift subs. Thank you. I can arrest someone. Handcuffs required. And Universe, thank you for the gift subs as well. What the hell are you guys doing? Um, I could. That's a really high paying quest. What is this? Public humiliation as well. Why does everyone want me to make people or humiliate people? I'm going to go beat someone up. I'm going to beat someone up from Twitch chat. Uh, 
You better hope it's not you. Let me call eight, uh, dial number, 801-8963. I freaking love this game, man. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, all right, listen, this bloody punk messed with the wrong people. <laughs> Go to 1702 Robertson Cascade and make a real mess of the place. Take what you want. Understand. Who's gonna... That's at the very top of a building. Got that. Take a photo or it didn't happen. All right. I'll be hanging up. Job information updated. Okay. First of all, before we do any of that, we need a photo cam, obviously, because we're gonna have to take a photo of the damage that we do. I don't know where the city hall is. I think it's somewhere in this place. Look at the beautiful city. There it is. City hall. Um... I'm with a medium city. I, I would highly recommend if you're planning on playing this game for yourself to do a medium city, especially for your first playthrough. Because when I see a game like this, I'm like, it's like the Terraria thing. If you've ever played Terraria, uh, you know that you should not play on a large map for your first playthrough. Uh, it's like a common beginner mistake to generate a large map and be like, oh, nice. We're going to have as much... Uh, play time as possible it only makes stuff confusing it makes stuff really confusing it may the map is far too big far too many citizens uh photography skills we could i don't think we're going to be able to do that i'm just checking the jobs here see what kind of stuff we have i think we're just going to try and finish our first vandalism job here we're going to go over to the place uh what do we have to do cause damage oh we literally have what do we have to do specifically though uh, to resolve this case provide answers on the following before applying a route to the hand and uh hand in destination we just literally need to create damage all right we're gonna go over there see can we check the names are the names already here oh yep <laughs> i definitely amber is back again i definitely see a lot abby i see a lot of names i recognize here you guys are gonna get beat up today all right let's see who lives at this place um and get a little familiar with our city we're gonna go all the way to the 17th floor right away um which is usually where the rich people live because they got penthouses <laughs> get ready to be beat up uh you can't beat me up now i am playing on hard mode which doesn't change the investigations at all it simply only changes the um the damage that the npcs deal to you so twitch chat is is on hard mode uh today they're gonna be doing a lot of damage and apparently this is definitely the united states because every fucking schmo has a gun sometimes you'll see some random guy pull out like a massive assault rifle out of nowhere and you're just gonna be super confused okay we need to get in here i'm not gonna knock on the door also they fixed you can now drink i they said in the patch notes that you can now drink from water coolers i still don't seem that i can uh please don't shoot me <laughs> Sub King, thank you for the 19 months. Uh, I hope no one's home here. What time is it actually? We're starting off at afternoon. All right. I almost used all my lockpicks right there. Uh, I'm just going to break in here. How did the camera not see me? Oh, there is no camera here. Oh, there's definitely someone home. I might have to beat someone up. I literally smashed the door in my own face. Um, is that a shadow of a person? What the fuck? No, no, it wasn't me. Dude, that actually kind of scared me. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, I mean, part of the damage could be just beating you up, right? I'm gonna... How would I do stealth vandalism? How is this gonna work? I mean, this house is so big, I might be able to do it. Um, somebody in the kitchen. This is literally not the kitchen. Okay. Uh, 0962. I'm gonna break into their save. 0962. Uh, you lied to me. Maybe this code. We have 2757. Because they said I could take anything I wanted. 2757. That is the code. We have a di diamond and di <laughs> Look at my fine. Wait, one sec. I need to move the chat. Um, is the chat. Let me change chat over to the bottom. Oh, no. I don't think I should take these diamonds. It's actually going to be... <laughs> NPC can't get inside the elevator, really? Okay, I need to add... I forgot. I need to add a black background. Let me quickly cook this up. I think I have it somewhere. Uh, black. Black square PNG. Here we go. Put that in there. Put it behind the chat box. There we go. And then I need to change the opacity. Uh, filters. How do I do this? Um, forgot how I did this. Uh oh. Right click. Properties. No, that's not it. Any 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 OBS, uh, any OBS users in the chat? 
Uh, OBS, how to change opacity. Question, help, am I blind or how do I change image opacity? Uh, right click filters, add color correction, set opacity. Here we go. Right click filters, boom, color correction, check, opacity. Is it working? Wait, it's not working. Or do I have to apply it? There we go. No, it is working. Look at that. He's insane with it. He's actually a pro streaming professional over here. Now let's check how it looks in the game. That barely is a bad. I mean, it actually kind of helps. I think that actually is like perfect. That's better than making it uh, like darker because it's going to take over the screen too much. Okay. Anyway, professional streamer over here. Let's continue the game. We're learning OBS right now. Okay, um, I think we're not going to be using these uh, these diamonds here uh, because look at how much of a fine I'm going to get. 27,000. First of all, if I were to have to pay that, I would be completely doomed. And second of all, uh, it would completely bypass the entire video game because if I hand in both of these diamonds, it would give me like six... Ah! It would give me like 6,000 bucks. There's two people! Okay, I'm just gonna... Can I literally run around and cause so much damage while they're not even... Can I break this? Ah, shit. I'm gonna... He's got a freaking hammer! Who is this? Wait a minute. Go away. Go away. Dude, there's two people. 2v1! I, I, I was told to cause vandalism, so that's what I'm doing. I am playing on hard mode, though. Please don't hit me. Dude, he's got a freaking... Luckily, they don't have freaking guns, though. This is chaos immediately. Dude, look at this. They haven't even landed a punch on me yet. Absolutely get kited. <laughs> this is chaos. There we go. Who the frick are you guys? Who are you? Um, you are an unknown citizen. Do I have a 22k bounty? <laughs> Dude, get absolutely wrecked. I want to figure out who these citizens are. Can I have your passport, please? I want to know if I just beat up a Twitch chatter. I'm going to steal your... Can I steal your hammer? Yes, I would like to steal your hammer so you're not going to beat me up with it. Um. Okay, I don't know what your name is. Is there any wallet here? Oh, there we go. We have Rob, Arc Trooper. Any Arc Trooper in the chat? That must be a Twitch chatter, right? We got Arc Trooper. And we have Margaret... No, that's Arc Trooper. What's the other person? I don't know the other name. What the hell is going on with you? Okay, I need to cause damage. I'm gonna just break the windows, I guess. Can I break windows with milk? What the fuck is this person doing? <laughs> you see that body moving? All right, throw it through the window. Am I causing damage right now? Is this working? Uh, pick it up. I'm also gonna burn their entire house down. Use the hammer. They got a gun, by the way. Why didn't they use the gun? Let's use the hammer to break all the windows. Oh, yeah. That must be causing damage, right? <laughs> uh, wait, let me see. Am I doing it? Am I doing this correctly? Yes, I have caused 650, probably way more damage. Okay, now I need to take a photo of what I just have done. I am sorry to the people that are living in this house. Uh, but you're my first. I'm going to take a photo, including the bo- What? Where are the bodies at? All right, anyway, we're just going to throw that down. Take a photo of the damage. There we go. Um, I promise you most of the things we're going to do during this video is going to not involve me beating people. Actually, I can't promise that. Can you shut the hell up? All right, I'm running. Uh, this was not even that fancy of an apartment. Where do I have to hand it in? Wait, I literally have to hand it in at the neighbor. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, what did... Wait, who the fuck? <laughs> the neighbor was like, can you please beat up my freaking neighbor? They keep making too much fucking noise. Alrighty, well, that was a really easy first quest. I'm gonna go back to the ground floor and pretend uh, nothing happened. That was definitely a Twitch name, right? There we go, we done it. Hey, solve, baby, let's go. <laughs> I should have maybe broken into the other house to see. I got a hundred. Oh, you get a hundred social credits from any contract, and we got 300 bucks. Now, the 300 bucks is not gonna do much for us, but it might allow us to buy like a handcuff to do a uh, further. Uh, like an arrest investigation or I can buy a, a weapon. I guess I could just use the hammer that I've just gotten ah! Excuse me, uh, everyone's after me, please 
It wasn't me. See, I told you I had to leave fast. Can I can I find refuge in one of these establishments, please? We never took the diamonds. No, I'm not. I'm not. Diamonds are illegal. Diamonds are far too busted. They really need to balance the economy slightly better in this game, in my opinion. It's fine. You can take the. Oh, let's go murder time. <laughs> and we even already completed a contract. Look at that. Okay, we got the contract completed. Now it's murder time. Uh, which, uh, we're gonna go to the hand in. Where- did anyone read where the murder happened? Because I didn't see it on the screen. I paused too quickly. Um, wait, does it say it? Oh, it's at 101 Barrett Terrace. Alright, I'm gonna go there first before I even, uh, 101 Barrett Terrace. Before I even go to the city hall, because being at the crime scene as fast as possible is the most important thing because the uh, police will show up and will like block off the crime scene and will shoot you if you do some like uh vigilante investigation so we're gonna have to go fast also i quickly want to see if twitch chat is connected it's definitely connected look at that 177 people are in the game right now i can update it again 177 people are here and there's only look at that 186 every time i click update there's more people coming in so yeah, there's definitely people being generated right now. Uh, I am getting familiar with the city. I don't know where any of these places are. Um, who did just get murdered? Hopefully they're not gonna arrest me here. Let's see, is the police already there? Are you, you look like a detective yourself, sir. Wait, I'm in the wrong building? No, I'm not in the wrong building. Here it is. Are you, did you see anything suspicious, sir? Have you seen or heard anything unusual? No, I mind my own business. I'm gonna put you as a prime suspect on the screen because you're the neighbor and you just came home. Is this the, is there a key under the mat? There's no key under the mat. Okay, how the frick are we getting in here? Maybe through the vents? Huh? Please tell me, oh no, we're going up. Yes, I don't want to use any more of my lock picks because I don't have any lock picks. Yes, I can get in, dude. Look at this. <laughs> I'm sus. Uh, the police is already here? How the fuck did you get here so fast? Okay, well, there's obviously a body right there. Uh, sir. Dude, look at this. He's got a freaking summoning circle. They don't see me. They have no idea, but there's two police. Police officer. All units, do you copy? I don't want to jump out of here because they're going to arrest me, obviously. Well, they're not going to arrest me. They're literally going to shoot me straight in the face. Could you guys please back off? They're leaving footprints all over the crime scene. Um, I wish I could. Actually, if I had a door stopper, I could lock that door, lock that door, and then do some investigation in here. That would actually be like an insane, the ritual gone wrong. I'm going to take a photo of this. Um, hopefully they're not going to hear that. I don't see the body. I don't know why the bodies disappear when you take a photo. All right, can I jump out here and not be killed? That is the question. Okay, uh, obviously there's some, let's check the crumbled paper. Inspect, let's play? Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> I think you guys are idiots. I think you guys literally left your name at the crime scene like a dumbass. Uh, I'm also gonna look for connections on this. I'm gonna check for fingerprints. We have fingerprints. Uh, inspect. Can I not, how do I scan it? I guess I'll scan it like this. Uh, inspect, scan. There is a fingerprint type A on there, which by the way, the way this game works is you have to do the investigation however uh, you see fit. Um, if you have a fingerprint type A, every time you see that fingerprint, it will also be referred to fingerprint type A. And once you know the name, it will like automatically assign it to every one of those fingerprints. But obviously, as of now, I don't know the name uh, or I don't know who has that fingerprint, but it might be the person right here. Let's see. Take a fingerprint. Uh, obviously, this person is dead. Let's see. Was that fingerprint type A? No. <laughs> that means that fingerprint type A almost surely belongs to the uh, killer. They got shot by a bullet, obviously, eight millimeter. Uh, when did this happen? It's going to be very important. From examining the body, it appears that the victim has been shot to death with a pistol or revolver. I can determine the time of death is between 12:30 and 13 or 1:45. Monday, January the 2nd. Okay. Um, that's obviously very important information. But who are you? 
that's my question. Do we have any? I'm walking over the body. Probably don't do that. Uh, is there any? I need to be very quiet because the police is still here. Did the police shoot this person? Oh, I will take money. I will take money. I won't take diamonds, though. Police still here? I think the police left. Okay, they, they, they have... And I closed this door so they can't see me. All right. Now I, now I have the crime scene all to myself. Obviously, this is why I, I told you you want to get to the crime scene as fast as possible. Look what a mess the cops made of this crime scene. They left fucking f footprints everywhere. They might have even left fingerprints everywhere. Um, what the, is that a Twitch name? That's got to be a Twitch name, right? Arger Jorarik. <laughs> There's no way that's a, that's a name generated by the game itself. I really love the, 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 the how you can make your own, like, uh, bulletin board here they have apple this is just their shopping list um who else do we got i'm trying to read this note here uh lucy anisha do we have any lucy anisha in chat i'm gonna those one of these two is gonna be the victim here uh we would love to find a wallet also wait this is sometimes really stupid i think it might <laughs> i love how so the way that the game works is that it like automatically updates all newspapers about stuff that's happening in the city. So this person got the newspaper for their own murder. <laughs> I don't know how. Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. I see Vecchi. Twitch City Enforcers were called this afternoon to the discovery of the body of a 20-year-old female at 101 Barrett Terrace. Enforcers are treating the death as a homicide. Press were not allowed on the scene, but according to a Kimberly Vecchi who discovered the body, the victim had been brutally shot to death with a pistol or revolver. Curiously, responders also found a message scrawled on a nearby wall, L.A. Paid. L.A. Paid? In it, oh, that's the name of the, the initials of the victim, Paid. In addition, a crumpled paper has also been found at the crime scene, leading the killer to become known as the Bloody Dead Eye. A neighbor, a Mrs. E. Liga, stated, I'm so scared I can't sleep. I'm afraid I might be next. Okay. Um, that's a lot of text. Anyway, I'm going to drop this on the floor now. So we know... Wait, we need to write this down. We know Kimberly Vecchi found the body. So Vecchi, I'm sorry, but you're now a uh, prime suspect. You might have self-reported Among Us style. Um, so we're gonna write that down. We're gonna say Kimberly. Was it like this or was it like this? I don't know. Kimberly Vecchi. Vecchi. That's all we need to know, right? Vecchi. We can always look that up. Okay, we're gonna pin that right here. You are prime suspect together with this random guy. Um, yes, it is Lucy Anisha is the victim because LA paid, right? Lucy Anisha paid. So I'm gonna put that right here. You are the victim. You are related to the shot and everything and you are not this fingerprint which is really important uh did i have your i really need a wallet so i can like write this down i'm also gonna pin their address book because usually it's someone they know who killed them um so i'm gonna pin that down right there uh any i will also turn on the computer we don't have their codes yet unfortunately i would really like some lock picks as well if i can steal some uh, they got a romantic dinner and everything. Look at this. That's a nice table. Um, let's log into the computer. Maybe we can get in. Uh, we need their code. We don't have their code, though. Is the problem. We got birth control pills. Uh, maybe here. Money. Camera. I already have a camera, but that would be nice. No, here we go. Count up from one. It literally is the classic. Are you fucking kidding me? If I if I had tried one, two, three, four, I would have actually gotten in. <laughs> that is insane. All right, here we go. So this is the victim's email. Uh, and they might contain... It might contain... Oh, Neck! <laughs> Wait, excuse me. From Kevin Neck. Hi, Lucy. Notice you asked for a pretty substantial raise... 5%. Wow, that's an interesting number. Let's meet up and discuss how you can earn it. Maybe... Neck, are you committing workplace harassment? I'm gonna print that out and send that straight to the police. Excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? Uh, what else do we got? Attention to all employees. Neck is a freaking... He's a freaking boss, dude. He is literally the boss of what company? Um... Attendance at the candor party is mandatory. All right. Uh, anything else that seems... Hey, beautiful. Just notice 
just a note to say that I believe in you. Don't let them bring you down, dude. Supportive, uh, supportive spouse, but might also be because they planned on killing them and they didn't want to seem suspicious. That is also possible. About it later. Hey, beautiful. I finally got that travel approval to go and visit my mother, but of course it's only valid for today. Okay, so that also doesn't seem very significant. Uh, we have their code. Maybe that'll allow us to get into the safe. Wait, they got two bedrooms? Dude, this place is fancy. Let's see. One, two, three, four. That is not the code. Um, I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Key to the building is also nice. Can I? I can go on the roof from here. I can break out freaking... Um, oh, no. That's that passcode. I can break out Mission Impossible style. I know I'm not supposed to write this down, but I can't... Count up from six. Dude, these people are freaking stupid. These people have... Um, wait, I, I mostly want to get into the safe. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Co Literally nothing in the safe. All right, well, never mind then. Uh, let's see if there's any more... If there's like a footprint around here. I don't think I can even scan for footprints because it's all just going to be from the police. Anything on the wall here? Um, I obviously took the paper with me. Anything on the light switch, maybe? Uh-huh. B, which is probably... B and C. Wait a minute. Let me let me pin these down. So we have fingerprint type B, and we have fingerprint type C. These are probably from the... Uh, let's take their print. These are probably from the bodies. Is this... Wait, why doesn't it... Excuse me. I'm trying to get the fingerprint, but it's not showing me the fingerprint. When I click take print, it just doesn't do anything. Excuse me. Why isn't it working? I think there's something. I think mean, the game is in early access. There's going to be a few bugs here and there. I don't know what's going on with that. Can I maybe find their documents? That's always a super useful thing. Uh, this thing, yes. Uh, this got like a lot of information. A Here we go. The employment contract between Barrett Terrace. So they work at Barrett Terrace. Barrett Terrace, clerical. So they're like a nurse, I guess. They make 37,000 a year, which we've seen some way higher contracts. So they're just like normal, normal workers. From the desk of Active Geek. <laughs> it's Active Geek in chat. What the hell? They're, you're a freaking medical officer, whoever you are. Uh, this is the most insane name of all time. M's Pharmacy. Is that also a chatter? Uh, oh, did you? That's definitely, uh... Wait, are you the freaking landlord? Dude, you, you're the landlord? Let's go. You're... You're killing it. Uh, this is, wait a minute, their bank statement? That might be... That might be significant. I'm gonna note down their bank statement. I know we're not... Lo oh, that is from the... From the partner, which might also be... Uh... Like a suspicious person, of course. Uh, I guess we'll write down their birth certificate. So this is the partner. Probably not suspicious, but I'm just going to note it down here. That's just in case. And this is your birth certificate right there. This is the photo of the crime scene. I'm just going to link that over here. So this is all the crime scene evidence. Crime scene evidence in the middle. Then we have some documents we found. And then we're going to go... This is also documents. We're going to go to the workplace. Obviously, we should investigate the partner because the partner might have just killed them. And we should investigate these two people as well. And then we found these two fingerprints at the crime scene. Uh, but they're probably from the victim themselves. I think that's about everything we are interested in. You know what we can also do? We can also quickly call the phone. How do you do that again? I forgot how you did it again. Does anyone remember how you call the last number? Uh... Numbers? Oh, here. Identify number. Identify last caller. Here we go. Um, unable to get last caller information. Okay, so they haven't called anyone. Uh, which is good to know. Because that might have also been the murderer. Uh, the, the way you can find calls in this game is super cool. I hope I'll get to show you a little bit later. Um, Alright, I think that's about everything we need to find at the crime scene. Uh, I wish I could, like, look at this video or photo cam and, like, look if there was any, like, incriminating pictures on there. Um, do we know where the... We don't know where the husband works. We should really quickly... Or whatever partner. We should really quickly check if we can find their employment contract. Because that's my... That might be where we find them. They work at arms... Okay, here we go. Um, 
They work at Am... They're both pharmacists, which makes sense that they're dating then. Okay, so that is everything I needed to know at the crime scene. I don't know... There's no murder weapon, it seems. So probably the killer took LA paid. I see it. Wait, we're going to have to take a picture of that as well. Um, put it on our crime scene information. Look at that. I love organizing my, my boards. In a, I've watched so many people play this game. And so many people create the most ungod-awful uh like uh spreadsheets here that are just completely unreadable i like at least keeping them a little tidy um okay so there doesn't they were shot right you know what we, wait we can also do this we can inspect their shoes so this is their shoes of the victim um i should quickly add well so that if we ever find a footprint, well, I guess we're not going to find a footprint here anyway, right? So it doesn't really matter. Let me actually just unpin this. This is only going to confuse me later. I don't think we're going to do this investigation with footsteps. So we're just going to leave that alone. And we're going to try and sneak out of here. I guess we could... Wait, can we actually do this? I've never tried to get out a window like this before. Can I do that? Wait, can I just take the fire escape? Wait, what the fuck? That's sick. I didn't even know you could do something like that. <laughs> Wait, that's awesome. Alrighty, there you go. So that's another way you could get in and out of the building. Okay. Regardless, we have a lot of things we should cover or we should follow up with, especially this right here. Can we create a name here? Because uh, this is probably the whole name of the killer. So can we... This is an anagram. It is their first initial, and then their name is four. You know what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Does anyone in chat recognize their own name? <laughs> Can you report on yourself? Let's check their address book. Maybe their address book has someone in there that could be related to this. I should go to, like, uh, we should put this hammer down and go to just some random establishment so we don't freeze to death out in the, in the rain. Uh, that's a pawn shop can i go to a restaurant any restaurants around here i should also grab the you know what we could just quickly go to the city hall grab the the murder form yeah can you self-report real quick is that not cheating no it's not everything is allowed in crime investigation all right get the resolution form there we go i'm just gonna sit on this couch here totally not suspicious and then look at this so it's probably one of their uh, associates, right? Anyone who hasn't... Well, I guess we won't... Egg? It's freaking CJ over here. It's This is all their first names, though, which is kind of problematic because we need their last name. We are not interested in their first name. We're interested in their last name. So that's not going to be... This is not going to be very helpful. I think we go to the workplace. The workplace is usually a good place to go. So let's see... Let's see what's going on at the workplace. Maybe they got some, uh, what's the full name of the killer? Yes, we are investigating all of this. We should also eat like a hamburger, maybe. Uh, let's buy, uh, what do we want? I want, oh, when I did this last time, I remember eating croc monsieurs every time or however the fuck you pronounce it. Uh, we have not located the murder weapon yet, but we're going to try and doing that. I love this town, man. Look at this setup here. I got this nice little park in the middle, which is like the most disgusting park I've ever seen, but it is what it is. Um, and then these like tall skyscrapers next to it. And you have like a really clear industrial con, uh, industrial uh, place over there with two factories. We got the merchant named Merchant. Where the frick am I going? It's over here. Uh, wait, am I just going back into the building? Oh, it's in there. Oh, I see. They work here. All right. Who do we got? We have Albert Shimmy. <laughs> if Anish, wait, that is them. Okay, wait, now we can check their fingerprints on their, yes. So they are type C. Okay, so we can, we can note that down that the victim has most likely has fingerprint type C. Victim finger, fingerprints. We can note that down as a little extra note and we're going to combine that. We're going to. Connected. I don't know. What the hell? Um, there we go. And who else works here? We have Agso. Wait a minute. Is that there? Is that this person? Wait a minute. 
Is it egg? No, it's not. So, no, this doesn't fit at all. Uh, why would you? It's it's the office manager. Dude, Neck, you look freaking fancy as hell. <laughs> look at that, dude. We got Lauren Doyle, Karu, Ahiche, Anicha, and then Shimmy. I don't think spicy chicken? Spicy chicken. Uh, yeah, I don't really see the anagram working out here, uh, which might mean it's not one of the... Hello there. What are you doing here? Can I talk to you? Have you seen anything suspicious? Nothing. Really. What is your name? I'm Josefa Spicy Chicken. What's it to you? You, you, you look fancy as hell. I'm just going to sit at your computer if you don't mind uh, and quickly look at the employee database and quickly look up Lucy. Wait. Lucy with an S. So we have the fingerprints properly connected here. There we go. So we, for some reason in this world, you have to hand in your fingerprints uh, when you work for someone. That seems a little bit of a violation, but all right. So we have their fingerprint. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, they work from nine to five. They don't make much money. Um, okay, let's let's think. Where's gonna be our next? Let's look at the let's look at the board. So we have a victim. We have a really easy situation here, where if we can either find this name, if we can make up this like, if we can figure out this anagram, uh, that's the killer. Or if we can figure out who fingerprint A belongs to. There's two ways that we can really quickly get to uh to the killer here. It's just a question. Where do we look for that? Because we can't just go through... Vecchi found the body. Yeah, maybe we should quickly investigate Vecchi as well. Um, gonna walk out of here. I need to go to a business that has a city directory. It's a na last name. I mean, I'm not gonna go through... I don't like, go like going through the whole city directory. Oh, uh, you mean... Well, this you can do, I guess. We could go through here. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Ah, it's management. <laughs> what the fuck is that, dude? What a fucking company. <laughs> okay. Um. What would be their first? Would it be S? S Oath? Is there an Oath? There's someone named Oath. There's no one named Oath. What the frick? Sota? Tahoe? Tahoe? El Myers. Uh, we got Nashko, Neck right there. We got Nivak. I'm seeing so many names. Is it Sato, maybe? Sa Sato! H Sato! H Sato! That's the name! We found her! <laughs> we found them! Look at that! Easy peasy! Literally just <laughs> ran... Dude, you guys are... You guys are too good. You guys are arresting yourself. You know that you're the criminals, right? You're not... I mean, you can help me, but I'm gonna arrest you. Okay, so we got, um... Probably the killer. I mean, unless they're trying to frame someone else, which I don't know if that is possible. Um, let's go over and say hi to the killer. Uh, I'm going to put this at the documents here because it might very much be them. Let's go over there. Uh, one second.
were all arrested. Every single one of you. That's how we're gonna solve this case. Alrighty, anyway, sorry. Need to drink some coffee as well. You're all criminals. I want a lawyer that does you no know lawyers in this world. How their chat committed crimes while I was gone? Of course they did. Dang it. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, let's see. So you live all the way on the 16th. You live in the same building. I didn't check the camera footage or anything. That's because this fucking idiot killer who saw is this a person from chat? Sato, are you from chat? Why did you lay, n leave your name at the crime scene? You silly goober. Uh, go to the 16th floor. That doesn't seem like a very smart thing to do. <laughs> yeah, they are from chat. <laughs> Can you explain yourself? This is good. You're gonna be asked this in a court of law. They're gonna be like, sir, why did, why is your, are your fingerprints and your name at the crime scene? And then you're gonna have to explain yourself. I mean, you can also just use the right to remain silent, but the, or, but they're just gonna point at that and like convict you easily. But you don't leave your, do I have any lockpicks? Do I have enough lockpicks for this? Uh, I have no lockpicks. Alrighty, well, we're going in through the vents. <laughs> oh, boy. I think there's someone inside here. I don't have handcuffs or anything. I am vastly unprepared for this crime scene investigation. Um, how the fuck? These vents make absolutely no sense. How the fuck are these connected? Okay, uh, this doesn't seem like... You know what? Let's just knock on the door and be like, hello. And see if they open the door. And then let's see if they... Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. They just left. Why are you not taking the elevator, you fucking psychopath? I'm gonna shadow you. Should I just talk to them? Like, hey, randomly stumbling upon you in the hallway. Hello there. Hey, hi there. What's your name? None of your business. Yeah, that's what they all say. Uh, have you seen or heard anything unusual? Not that I can think of. That's what they- that's what a criminal would say. I'm gonna put you down there. You came straight out of the house. You know what- what, what if I... What if I steal from you? Can I steal your key? Can I- Fuck! How do I pickpocket you? <laughs> Wait, come on. Stand still. Fuck! Yes, it's because they're moving. Hi. Oh no. Wait. They, oh, they don't like being chased. Okay, never mind then. Take a picture. It'll last longer. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, can I just break into someone's house so I can steal their lockpick so I can break into this other person's house? This is getting too complicated. I think I need to go buy some lockpicks because I don't think I can get in this fucking building. <laughs> All right, let me let me quickly go back to the city. I'll <laughs> beat him up. I'm not gonna beat him up. It might just be the partner. Maybe they did nothing wrong. <laughs> You could just barge it down. I could just barge it down, but we need handcuffs anyway. Um, otherwise, we're not going to be able to arrest the killer. Uh, unless they have handcuffs in their house for other reasons. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I don't think those are made to confine criminals. It's a lockpick in the computer. What do you mean? <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, where is City Hall? I need to get used to... I think it's over here. Yes, it is. Unless that's, yeah, if that's the partner, I'm not gonna just beat their ass. But, I mean, I guess they're, you can't just beat up the partner of a criminal and call it like it was fair because they were dating a criminal. That doesn't make any sense. That's not how, that's not how the law works. Although I am going to beat up a bunch of innocent people as well. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Okay, let's buy. Inventory is full. Why would my inventory need to be empty to get? That doesn't make any sense. This this doesn't go into my inventory. What are you talking about? Uh, buy lockpick. Yes, I'm just gonna buy a ton of lockpicks so we never have to be in this situation again. There we go. Uh, I also have handcuffs, and I'm gonna pick back up my hammer. My hammer is my weapon, actually. Isn't there like a better weapon that you can buy here? You can buy this thing, a metal baton commonly carried as a weapon by enforcers. You know what? That seems better than a hammer from some random citizen that I stole. 
Uh, so we're gonna buy that instead. And then we're gonna put that on six, I guess, as our, our shortcut. Hello there. Run. Oh no, he's got a gun! I don't know why I beat you up. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I told you, every single fucking random guy has a gun in this. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, I'm still carrying the crumpled paper yet. Yeah, it's because it's evidence. It's very important evidence. Okay, can I go back to their house? Don't beat me up. I should really put this down. Can't even walk down the Don street anymore. Everyone is freaking crazy, man. What time is it? We're gonna solve this. We're gonna solve this crime before midnight. Unless Sato is gonna like make me eat shit. I will definitely have this case solved. Turns out Twitch chat is a bunch of dumb criminals. <laughs> you guys are not very good at this. You need to learn. They got a really fancy house though. Why would you murder someone? If you got a fancy house like this, is this one of those situations where they're just like, well, I got everything. I want it to feel like what it is to kill someone. <laughs> what are you doing? What's your motive? I really wish that they would focus a little bit more on that in this game. Because a lot of the time, you'll have a killer and they literally have, like, no motive. They're just like, well, I just decided to kill someone today. And I wish they would, like, always generate a proper motive. Anyway, we're gonna break into your house because there's no cameras here, right? No cameras, no nothing. Um, I mean, there is a lot of... There's motives a lot of the time. Like, 70% of the time, the killer has a really clear motive. But sometimes it's literally just some random schmo that's not even connected in any way. Uh, do they have cameras and everything? They don't. Anyone at home here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that Sato? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Is that, is that, is that the killer? What's he doing? Turning on the lights? Who's this? Can I, I'm just gonna arrest them. They're all wearing these, oh, no. He down the door on them. Can I run, Pat? Just put that down. You seeing me? Uh, I'm not here. <laughs> Are you still there? I'm gonna turn off this light. Oh no! Wait, whoa, whoa! I can handcuff them now. Unknown citizen. Wait, are you looking at me? Let's go get shit on, dummy! Okay, are you the killer or did I just handcuff some random citizen? Uh, search them. <laughs> Do you have your wallet on you, sir? Uh, wait. Wait, you- Huh? How are you the same person? What the fuck? When you walk down the stairs, are you- Are you fucking- Do you got an identical twin? How the fuck are you in your house? <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> I'm so confused. Did they get like suspicious because I chased them and then they went back into the house to like hide the evidence? Is that what's going on here? Because that is some sussy wussy shit. Haruto. Okay, this is the criminal, probably. Um, Alexandra Grant is the other is the partner. Uh, let's see. We might have just arrested the partner. Uh, how do I? Do you have any wallets? I need to I need to know who you are. What the f I'll take the sink disc. Don't mind if I do. You know what? It's your paper. I'll just drop it off at your place and take the sink disc here. Um there's lockpicks, thank you. We have a business card. That's the same person. They work at Whedon Systems. I remember that from last time. Okay, so that person works there. We're not sure yet who is who. We have 4811 as the code. Whoops. 4811. That is not the right code. I'm planting evidence. No, no, no. Uh, 3289. 3289. Jesus! You guys got too many this. What? What is this one? Inspect it. Uh, I'm gonna leave this here. Pick this... Oh, fuck. Uh, drop it on the floor. Pick this up. What are these? Can I read what they do? They're all just sync disc. I'm gonna install those in my brain. I literally just stole them from this person. 
and I'm gonna put them in my brain. The mother load. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> I've never seen these kind of symbols in this game. Is this must be a Twitch chatter? Okay, they work at. They're oh, they're a competitive. They're a competitor to the to the previous to the other medical facility. There's so many damn clinics, man. Because Haruto works at a. Oh no, this is a doctor's prescription. Never mind. I thought it was an employee contract. Where do you work? You you work at Whedon Systems. You make sixteen hundred sixty-seven thousand a year. You work at fast food. I don't know if this is the. I feel like we got we arrested Alexandra right here. Animal King from the desk of Animal King. <laughs> Excuse me. J Yoop again, dude. Yoop has got the whole building under control. Um. Let's see, did they buy anything suspicious? Oh, this is Alexandra, I'm not interested in you. We have your birth certificate. Uh, not in Wait, do they not have... Oh, they don't got bank statements? That's unfortunate. Um, more amazing names. Let's see, do you got anything? Are they do the handcuffs run out? Or are they forever? Uh, let me go into the computer. Maybe they got some real suspicious stuff on there. They have a gun. They need to have a gun, right? Because that was the murder weapon. Wait, I need to check your fingerprints. Wait a minute. Maybe that'll just give me the answer I need. Take a fingerprint. Take prints. There's unknown citizen. Did is who are you? This is not the same person. Okay. You are finger okay, so I literally just arrested the I mean you did some sussy shit, man. Leaving your house and then being being back in the house. What the fuck? Don't do that. Um, no wonder I thought you were a criminal. We're gonna have to log into your computer. I know your code. Uh, here we go. You got anything, any suspicious email, maybe? Uh, your reservation. I'm delighted to confirm your rolling reservation at the Leopard Grill. We look forward to win welcoming you every Sunday at 7. Listen up. You saw nothing, okay? We never matched on Dove. Okay. Wait, what is our, what is our Lucy, right? Lucy Anich, Anikna, Anisha. That is our, uh, that is the person who died. Are oh, they Founders Day dinner, blah, blah, blah. To all employees, this is now related. Beautiful incidents. Hey, Shoma. Real quick question. Can you send me your team stats? That's not related. There's no emails or uh, directed at <laughs> ABG, I'm so cute. <laughs> Lexia Kaklamanis? What the hell? These, do you guys... It turns out that Twitch chat has far stranger names than randomly generated names that are just like in the <laughs> in the game by default. You guys got some strange names, man. Uh, Rumbled? How fucking many emails? Dude, this is, literally, this is what an office job, job is like. This person has sent a hundred million emails uh, in like a few hours. Jesus Christmas. Man. Look at the amount of shit you got. Look, it's 7 a.m., 5 a.m., 3 a.m., 2 a.m. You've been matching with everyone on fucking Dove, you weirdo. Listen up, you saw nothing. This person has just been like <laughs> matching with people and then messaging them. We never matched. What? What's happening? What? What's wrong with you, you weirdo? Okay, it doesn't seem like any of. There's too many damn emails. Doesn't seem like uh, they have ever sent an email. Do they? Do they even got each other in their address book? Let's see. Um, do they know each other in any way? They don't even know each other. They're not in their address book. What the fuck? Okay, so maybe this is not the killer. Well, maybe this person is not the killer. They actually got set up. We should take a visit to their house or to their work, though. Uh, they work at the fast food restaurant. Do we have any... Um, we don't have any work rotation here. Maybe this? Work rotation? Haruja Sato. They're the retail owner. I see. Maybe something went wrong there. I'm pretty sure this is Alexandra. Um, so that's not the person we're looking for. We're looking for you right here. You work at fast food. Sorry for the mess. We're going to clean this up. Um, 
Did you call anyone? Let's dial the 541000. Last caller was. F Wait a minute. Maybe they're in cahoots. We need to figure that out. Do they have anything in their trash? Okay, I'm gonna hang up. Uh, where's your trash can? Maybe they threw away their receipt of their weapon or something, or maybe they threw the weapon in the trash for some reason. They didn't throw anything in the trash. Um, so you're head of HR. Wait, dude, the head of HR makes 167,000 a year? Jesus Christ, where do you work, man? Oh, there's literally the gun. Oh, there's a prop gun. Never mind. I didn't even see that. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is Alexandra. Alexandra. Grant or whatever. Okay, so this is the wrong person. We have arrested the wrong person. Whoopsie daisy. Um, this is a prop gun though. That's not a real gun. I mean, unless it is a real gun, but it literally says prop gun, so I don't think it is a real one. Um, okay, so we need to find the actual killer. Sato might have the gun on them. Um, I'm gonna throw this in your face. You're knocked out. There we go. Now run away. <laughs> Actually, never mind. They're still alive anyway. Whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything we need to investigate in this, right? Uh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? There's a business card underneath here. Business card? Yeah, you're just the retail owner. Okay. So we have... Uh, we know where they work. And they're probably at their work right now. So let's go to their job before they get home and then see that their partner is, like, in handcuffs. And then they're gonna, like, obviously be very, very on guard. Uh, the cuffs? Yeah, I don't have cuffs anymore. We're just gonna go to the fast food. I'm pretty sure this is where we're gonna find them. Partner had an affair. Yeah, but I don't understand why. Because none of the, like, Dove affair partners are the person that... Like, they didn't match. So, like, why... <laughs> You had a lot of enemies or a lot of people you could potentially kill. The red X on the wall is actually a lore bit. It is, forgot what it is exactly is, but it is like some kind of political group. And people that are part of that political group, they show their affiliation by putting those X's on the wall. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it means though. I think it is some kind of starch cola thing. I can also install the sink discs, definitely. Uh, we can go to the sink clinic and see what we found. Sink clinic is right around here. I love these neon signs. Oh, it's later. Never mind, it's this one. Any sussy people out, out and about doing sussy things? They're rich people who dislike poor people. Then they have to... They're never going to finish murdering everyone because everyone is poor in the city. Like, most people live under in a shoebox. All right, let's see. Can I install... What even are these? What did I find? Install discs. Look at that. Beauty? <laughs> Receive a 10% discount on all shop items. Citizens are 10% more likely to share information for free. That is huge. Being able to get information for free is incredible. We're definitely going to do that. That is, that is amazing. Wait, that's what this is, right? Citizen, yeah, yeah, for sure. Install that one. Earn $2 for each time. Item, wait, for each item of trash disposed in re refuse containers around the city. Earn... Six dollars for each unique book read. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do the unique book read one. That seems huge. So I can clean up the city and get money for that. Uh, then we have the kitchen one where we can take photos of kitchens. We're gonna do business bathrooms. We'll do business bathrooms, I, I think. Because we're gonna be in businesses more often than in kitchens. Okay. So those are some pretty damn good discs. Uh, there's a lot more though. What are you running around for? What are you doing? What, you're running around with a knife? What the fuck? You see that person? You're extremely suspicious. Sir. Sir, I can't even talk to you. Place gives me the creeps. Who are you? Why can't I talk to you? You do not exist. Um, anyway, we need to go to the place of work. I don't really know what's going on here. Taking pictures of bathrooms. I'm, I'm doing health inspection. The dirtier the bathroom, the more money I get. Hello there. You're going to sit down? No one is allowed to leave this place? You get a freaking robot arm? 
Wait, that's sick. Wait, that's so cool. I've never seen that before. Unless it's just... Yeah, look at that. Look at the damn... They're a damn cyborg, dude. What's your name? Mind your own business. All right, never mind then. Um, That's kind of sick. Okay, is there any... Oh, here we go. I'm, I'm jumping over the... I'm getting behind here. Are you Sato? Who are you? I can't talk to you. Why can't I talk to these people? Let's check this. Is... Jira Asgar, Shoma... Aklamanis, James Thomas, Osborne, Haruto Sato. It's you. Right there. We got your face. And now, the moment of truth. Are you gonna have fingerprint A? Fingerprint type A. He's freaking busted. Unless he got framed? Unless he actively got framed? This guy is definitely the killer. The question is, why? To all employees, 3289. We just need to find him. Wait, are you Sato? Wait, it's you. Um, fuck. I need to get handcuffs. Give me a second. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I have never had the option to tell someone I'm going to arrest you for murder. I really want to see what they do. If you just straight up tell them, like, I am arresting you for murder. Well, why are you running around with a knife? Fuck, man. Calm down. <laughs> Hopefully he stays there. I think he will. He's, he's doing some uh, surveillance business. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming to arrest you, but I don't got handcuffs. Okay, handcuffs, please. Check. Okay, we got handcuffs now. Can I get... Yes, let's buy a few handcuffs, because you know we're going to need them later. Buy another handcuff. And that's that's all we need. Sir, can you stay here real quick? I need to grab my handcuffs. <laughs> They're totally listening to me. I think it's over here. Can you not walk, run around like that? It is very, very strange. Uh, this is the building, right? I'm trying to get familiar with the city without you. That Sparrow, yeah. Sparrow food store. That would have been the ideal moment to get him. Is he going to be sitting at the computer? Wait. No, I locked the computer. <laughs> Why did I do that? I locked the door. I'm an idiot. Um, 83289. 3289. Here we go. Should I, should I talk to them? Or should I just arrest them? <laughs> I have no idea. What are you doing, sir? I'm going to talk to you real quick. Let me put this on a... Can I put this away? Hello, sir. Can I talk to you? I can't talk to you. Why can't I talk to you? <laughs> I can't talk to them, man. That's so weird. I'm trying. Okay, maybe we have to arrest them first. Wait, is there a camera here? I'm gonna arrest you. Handcuff. Get handcuffed. I don't know why the talk option doesn't show up. Hello there. I can't talk to you, but do you have a weapon on you? All right, dude. <laughs> pistol ammunition. I think we found our... Do you, do you even have a pistol on you? You got a work ID? Oh, look at that. We even found the murder weapon. <laughs> Dude, you are a fucking idiot. You know that? The camera is actually gonna go make the alarm go off, please. Oh, no. The camera is looking at me. How do I turn off the cameras? Where's the uh, where's the thing? Can you please ch chill? Wait, what if I move this chair? Sure, I'm moving this chair real quick so I can put it down here. Then... Oh, fuck. What the fuck? And then I can sabotage? Yes. <laughs> Totally. I'm a thief, detective, and ghost hunter. Uh, I, I got, I'm a man of many skills. There we go. Camera's turned off. All right, sir. You got anything to say for yourself, or am I just going to punch you in the face? Hurts like hell. Talk! Start talking! Why did you do it? What compelled you? Oh, there's going to be someone else coming in here. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to steal your stuff. Take this. Take the chair. Oh, never mind. I didn't throw it. Uh, you got a jade necklace paper stack. What's... Uh, is someone gonna break in here and be like, what are you doing in this? I'm just looking through your stuff. If you got any sussy things, you got some money. Thank you very much. I know I can read it. You read your computer here. 
paper stack here we go so these are all the people that work here i just don't know why why did you do that why did you kill them it doesn't make any sense sales oh no what's in the sales record did they sell anything to the psycho psycho bought some churros fries and fried chickens <laughs> edgy Dude, it's psycho. We need to break into his house and beat him up. Ghost Punch has just been munching away. Holy shit, Ghost Punch. You bought a cola fried chicken and a cheeseburger twice in the span of an hour? You got too much you got too much of an appetite, penguin. Uh Psycho Hypnotic. More fries, churros, and fried chicken over here. Completely busted. Eve <laughs> and Shimmy. Everyone loves this place. All right, anyway, we obviously got more than enough evidence to arrest this person. I just have no idea why they've done it, but it turns out that Twitch chat doesn't need a reason to commit crimes. They will just do it because they like committing crimes. Uh, okay, so let's start filling in the form. We know the name. We know it's Haruto. We have arrested the killer. I don't know why it is not say that we did. Uh, we have evidence that puts them at the crime scene. This fingerprint right here. Where does the killer live? We got their home address. We have the murder weapon. It was literally on them. You made my life very easy. I don't know why it's not saying this. Sato is an NPC. Sato, people said that Sato was in chat. I'm trespassing. I'm, I'm definitely getting all this evidence completely illegally, but you're not gonna... You framed them. Imagine that would actually, that would be so cool if there was fra I don't think there is framing in this game, but it would be really cool. Also, by the way, I haven't saved the game at all. Let me save the game in case something goes wrong. Um, all right, let's see. Here we go. Hand in the case. Is it going to be correct? Case. This was the fastest murder case sold. Last time it took us three and a half hours to solve a single murder case. It was correct. Look at that. Wait, why did the evidence put them at the crime scene? I literally selected the fingerprint. Oh, because I didn't know it belonged to them. Oh, whoops. I should have should have scanned their fingerprint. Should have gotten their uh, business or their employee contract. Whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, we did it. Look at that. 250 social credit, easy peasy. That was a really neat case. I mean, we did kind of beat up their partner for no reason, besides that they were uh, in a relationship. That was a really easy case. Social credit already level three. Um, now we're gonna have to do some uh, simple investigations before our next big murder case arrives. Um, look at this beautiful city, man. Can I talk to you guys? Oh, yeah, I can. What's your name? I'm not telling you. All right, you're getting beat up then. Never mind. Um, give me money. Zeti. I'm Mathia Zeti. What's it to you? I don't know why I literally paid that person. I mean, you gotta, you gotta commit crime to solve crime. You gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet, right? That's the saying. I'm gonna go to this diner, get some food. Am I actually- If I buy food at a store, do I actually get, like, put in the sales record? Uh, are you not working here? Why the hell are you behind the counter if you don't work here? Do you work here? Can I buy something at this establishment, please? What time is it? Oh, it's six. Fuck. It's already closed. Oh, you're working here. Stay in the... Fuck, I can't buy anything. All right, well, I'm just going to look for cases. Then we got a lot of cases. Muscle for destruction job. We're not doing that. Uh, I would love to do one of these business things. They're always super difficult. But they're they're basically like murder investigations. Let's see. Uh, this is just an arrest. Uh, photography skills. That's insane. Let's do this one. Let's see if we can do this one. It's probably going to be impossible. But it will be interesting. Um, do I need to call someone? Call 804-2746. So this is, this is like corporate espionage. Also, we got 2,000 already? The payphone at Walton Boulevard will ring at exactly 644. Answer it. Okay. Uh, where is that? Walton Boulevard. Walton Boulevard. I like that you can't just guess your way through the investigation. So, like, how I... Obviously, the fingerprint type A belonged to Sato, right? Uh, but the game didn't ex accept it because I didn't actually figure that out. Like, there's obviously got to be some... Is this one? In two minutes, this will ring. 
with my running ring. What are you doing out here in the park all by yourself, lady? Mind your own business. I'm gonna beat you up. Never mind, I'm busy. Uh, let's see. I need you to steal an important document. It will be in a red, a sealed red and brown envelope. There's a briefcase hidden nearby with information about the mark. This better be good information. Okay. There's the briefcase. Let's see. What's in the briefcase? Job information updated. All right, you better give me some good information. We have an unknown citizen here. Okay, we have fingerprint type E. Okay, we got a fingerprint. Short brown hair. Lives. Are you fucking joking? We have... They live in a building. Yeah, no shit, dude. There's 17 floors to this building. How the fuck you suppose I find this person? God damn it. This is your case now. Go solve it. Bye. <laughs> it's your problem now. <laughs> anyway, can I buy something at this store? I'd like to buy something. Yes, give me a coffee. Well, actually, we could just go to bed. Uh, you know what? We get some fried chicken. What was uh, Psychos? We get churros. And we get a cola. Oh, I don't have inventory space. All right. I'm really curious. This is purely for science, guys. I'm just breaking in here to see if I am now in the in the sales log. No, I do not show up unless it only updates. Maybe it only updates when I reopen it. Sales log. Asso. A so. Oh, it's egg. It's egg again. Dude, egg came in here to get some. By the way, I, they have the same fingerprint, right? Employee database. Let me quickly check. Sato. Just want to know. Yeah, C fingerprint type A. This is all we had to do to get that, but it's fine. Okay, we got all basically all the information. I wonder what happens now. Is Sato going to be like removed from the playthrough because he's like arrested and going to be in jail for the rest of his life? Do you have... Can you give me... I'm sorry, arresting you on suspicion of murder. Yeah, right? <laughs> Literally, like... They just walk away, that's all. Okay, well, anyway. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to solve this case. Let's uh, go to the city. Or let's go to the hotel. Because we're going to have to check into the hotel anyway. Because that's where we're going to be sleeping. Because we don't have an apartment yet. We can buy... What are you doing here? What's your name? I'm not telling you. Dude, everyone is so fucking annoying. <laughs> just give me your private inf information, man. I feel like if you would walk up to someone and ask for their name, they would pro- I mean, it depends on how you ask. If you just walk up to someone with, like, a clipboard ready to write down their name, people would probably be a little sussy. The whole city is rude. Okay, uh, hello there. I wish to have a room. What's your name? I'm not telling you. You are working at a hotel trying to- Anyway, whatever. What rooms do you have available? We have a range of suites available. Our cheapest rooms are 100. You know what? I'm feeling fancy tonight. We're gonna go to the fancy room. Or our deluxe suites are available at 200. I would like a deluxe suite, please. Give me the 200. Wired key for 801? That's so high! Alright, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna take the elevator. 801. I wanna see this. Would you like to sign my petition? Dude, the hotel is so pretty with the whole, like, chandelier and everything. I was expecting that the deluxe rooms would be lower down, but I guess that makes sense. This hotel is freaking massive. Look at that. This is a beautiful building. I love it here. We got a nice view. I can't see the floor anymore, though. This is 801. There's going to be someone in there. Uh, open the door, please. There you go. Look at that. That's my deluxe. This does not look more deluxe than the la than the previous suite. The previous suite was way more deluxe. Excuse me? Wasn't it like a five room? I mean, I guess it's not as dirty as the previous one. This is the most... Oh, no. There's literally cockroaches over the floor. What the fuck? I've been scammed, dude. It's not even roach free. We got like... What the fuck is this? Cabinet? Drawer? Do we even... We don't even have a kitchen, man! I mean, I guess we didn't even have like a microwave or anything. Alrighty, well, uh, can I log into the computer here? <laughs> no roach. The roaches are extra free food. 
can i lo i can't there's no computer i can't even log into the computer all right well anyway we we got a room now uh we might as well take a little nap right we've done a uh we're going to bed nice and early so we can wake up super early in the morning and do some crime investigation uh it's sleepy time how long are we gonna sleep we're gonna do like an eight hour night here we go we're gonna sleep one two three four five six seven eight we're waking up at 4 a.m <laughs> let's go it's sleepy time need to close the murder case we already did it we already solved it it's gonna take a while though because sleeping in this game is lasts for fucking way too long Coffee time. Yeah, we actually have to wait for eight hours now. How are you guys doing? Got something to fill the void? See you in eight hours. I mean, it makes sense that it takes this long because they have to like simulate the whole city, but it is kind of stupid. Will you get more murders? That's why I'm sleeping right now. Because the more you sleep, the more murders get committed. Because they get, I think, like every day there's one murder. So if you sleep, you get murder faster. It's like when you were a kid and you wanted to go to bed because then your birthday would be faster. That's me, but instead of birthday gifts, it's murder. <laughs> Makes sense. Can I get murdered? You can get robbed. You can also get, like, murdered, but you get sent to the hospital. Oh, here we go. Nice. It's January the 3rd and super early in the morning. I think I have to pay. Who the hell locked this door? I didn't do that. All right. I don't think I like this hotel room enough to come back. So I'm going to leave, pay my bill, and then maybe we can look for an apartment. I mean, we can only get like a shitty basement apartment right now. I did lock the door. Okay, never mind. It was my my say my detective my detective brain locked the door because I know how unsafe it is. I can't even pay the damn bill because they don't work at this hour. Are you kidding me? All right, do we got any more cases here? Um, also for destruction job. What the fuck is this? I have a oh here we go. This is this is one of the new quests. Can you help? I have a horrible suspicion that my partner is cheating. They often come home late without a good reason. I need something I can confront them with. A fee of 1200 to anyone with information. No names here, but reach me on 822. Okay. Wait, I want to do the new... This is the new mission that we haven't... I have never done this one before. Uh, photography skills. Not interested. Okay, let's do that one. Let's call the number. Eight. Let me guess. They're not going to even give me... If they don't give me their name, I have a way to find them. Because I have their phone number now. Hear about the job. Yes. Meet me at Semyonov Parade. I'll be sitting with a cola, okay? Ask about gin. It's, it's a gin, guys. Okay. Um, I'm breaking in. This is a large kitchen. I'm. Is there even a phone record? Ooh, let's go. Um, does this place have a phone record? Doesn't look like it. All right, well, anyway, I shouldn't be in here. Let me go to where you want to go. What do you want? Semyonov Parade. Sem... Trying to type. Semyonov Parade. They're literally sitting here at all hours of the day. This place? Hi there. Hello. Dude, you look freaking... Oh, I thought you had red glasses. Is this Jin? What is your name? Hello, I'm Kevin Aliskins. Is that a chatter? Is this Jin? Listen close. No, you're actually Kevin, <laughs> but all right. I'm Kevin Aliskins. Please investigate my pa partner, Nehir Kaoru. Ka Kaoru. I don't know how. Find out who they're sleeping with. What if they're not sleeping with anyone? I don't know much about them. I'll write down everything I know for you. Okay. Thank you. Are you guys cheating? Who's cheating? And come find me. Then come find me. I'll pay 1200 when I'm happy. 
You might want to take a look around my home. I live at... Dude, they give me all this information. Let's go. Here's the key. I've told Nehir you've come to clean the place, so don't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I see. Just give me the key to their house. Let's go. Uh, easy peasy. Okay, they didn't fill all of this in over here. Uh, yeah, we have their address. We have their partner and everything. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, alrighty. Let me quickly check if the Twitch integration is still connected because it can... No, it's fine. Look at that. 250 citizens are based from Twitch chat. That's so many. That's basically everyone because there's like... There's only 300 total citizens in the city. So basically everyone has to be from Twitch chat. Um... Okay, let's see. We are going to go to your house. I think I'm going to be able to figure this out. I don't know how this contract works. Like, what is the... What, what do I need to do? Let's see. To resolve this case, provide answers for the following questions. Uh, who's the partner of Kevin Aliskin's cheating with? I see. Uh, can you provide evidence of infidelity? Optional. Can you provide a photo of the cheater? Optional. Where does the cheater live? Cost 30 crowns of vandalism at the home of the cheater? <laughs> or a, Wait, what? Is this the home of the cheater or the home of the person who is cheating? Am I going to destroy their own house? That seems a little weird. Wait, it's in here? Wait, you live in the hotel? What the fuck? Th that's allowed? Excuse me. <laughs> Wait, am I doing this wrong oh yeah wait how do you live in the hotel oh okay that's strange i mean i guess i'm doing the same thing i'm living there too okay where the hell are you i have the key to your apartment i have a guest pass so i am not going to be arrested anyway i'm going to turn on the lights uh there is vodka i'm going to take fingerprints off of this Fingerprint type F. Okay, that could be because there was some funny business going on here. Let's see if we got two fingerprints. Both are fingerprint type F. I would have been very suspicious if they were different fingerprints and not from the... So we're not looking for a murder here. We're just look... Oh, there's so much alcohol everywhere. Excuse me. Fingerprint type F as well. Uh, we got a shoe but that might just be their shoe fingerprint type g hmm they're connected to the shoe there's a fingerprint on that i see it can i please scan it uh hello there is this gonna be f that is f okay so f and g is probably their fingerprints okay so that's not very suspicious f and g are theirs I'm going to write down... Definitely the address book is going to be useful, probably. Scan the bed. Uh-oh. Wait, it actually is 5 a.m. and it just rang five times. That's kind of... I mean, obviously, but it's, I don't know. I love details like that. Okay, so this is the partner. I see. Now here... That's the partner. And they think... Or their partner thinks that they are cheating. Who is this from chat? Who's cheating? Yeah, a piece of garbo. I'm gonna put this right over here. Who is this unknown citizen? Oh, this is the person they're cheating with. I see. They're cheating with that person. You guys, it's me, not me. Let's see, where do they work? Wait, they're sleeping. What if there was just another person in the bed here that they were sleeping with? That would have been a, the easiest $1,200 of my life. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a picture. I'm not gonna take a picture. They're gonna wake up. I need to get handcuffs. They're in some kinky shit. Oh no, this is suspicious. Let's see. Remember your passcode? No, that's is that the person? That is the person we're looking for, right? Pass two, two, four, five, eight. That sound is so annoying. Two, four, five, eight. Okay. Two, four, five, eight. Wait, am I stupid? Did I misread it? This is not the same person. Oh, oh, this is the other person. This is their partner. Whoops. Um, where's your code? I need to find your code. I could get a code breaker, but 
I love how I'm just like in this house <laughs> while this person is sleeping. Totally not extremely creepy. Um, get your code here. Hearing aid. Oh, they can't even hear me. They don't have their hearing aid in. They got their AirPods in. They can't hear the cars. Oh no. Opening all their drawers. Yeah, luckily they're not waking up. Okay, they're an accountant. I see. Maybe they're cheating with someone at work. Could be. Uh, I don't know where... Where do you work, though? Do we have a... Oh, here. Oh, I already stole... Wait. Yeah, that's their hotel room. Dude, they got a way nicer hotel room. See, I got fucking scanned. Why can't I buy one of these rooms? I got, like, a fucking box with not even, like, a kitchen and everything. They got a freaking giant kitchen they got a bunch of bookshelves they got a whole separate bathroom did i even have a bathroom i couldn't even poop in my apartment i don't think there was even a toilet <laughs> you can it costs more they told me that uh, that was the most deluxe apartment that i could buy 200 maybe there maybe i can pay more for different apartments there's like uh, i did have a toilet okay well anyway uh maybe it's just gonna be one two three four five Oh, hi. Um, what the fuck? Wait, you just woke up? You just woke up? I mean, I guess it's five in the morning. Hello. Um, have you seen or heard any... There was someone skulking about? Excuse me? They had short brown hair hair. Hair hair? I saw them today at Market Hotel, fourth floor landing area. What are you talking about? <laughs> Looks pretty manic. Excuse me? They seem pretty irate. Sorry, that's personal. What? Wait, what? Excuse me. What did they just say? We need to write this down. They saw someone. Fourth floor. Uh, hotel. Uh, at 440. How did you see them at 445? You were sleeping, you liar. <laughs> Excuse me. What the hell is going on? <laughs> they were literally in bed. Then we have short. Brown hair hair. That's it. They looked manic. They looked manic. Lies. Arrest her. I'm gonna put that down. I don't know what that is related to. Maybe this is gonna be related to a murder case that's gonna happen. But anyway. Can I please search you? Can you stand still, you... Okay, you're gonna brush your teeth. You're gonna take a shit. I am going to search you. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. <laughs> anyway, uh, what is this? Work rotation. They work as a shopkeeper. Privacy. They're literally just stare. Oh wait, I, I can check their. Wait, where are their files? Do you even have files if you are in a hotel? Uh, I'm trying to find their. Maybe in here. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I need to know where they work. They work at... Oh, they work at the same place where the victim worked from before? Okay. Because it's not here, right? That's the person we're interested in. Do they have... Gouge Sage? Kevin Aliskins? Wait! Oh, no, you're the... Never mind, this is the other one. Uh, they got Optician. It's Yoop again. Wait, how do they... Tenants... Why do they have a tenancy agreement at a hotel? This is really weird. Um... Check for fingerprints? On what? Uh... I mean, these are all the fingerprints G and F. Uh, this game has, like, so much detail to the point where it... Like, that's the thing. They put so much detail everywhere. Uh, from the cheater. I mean, obviously, we know their fingerprints are G or F. Right? Can I... Can I just search you? I'm gonna take your fingerprint. Can I take them from here? <laughs> Fucking creepy as hell. <laughs> Hello? Ah! No! Help! Help! I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to beat you up now. Six. I have a cup. I'm eating a fucking fried chicken. What am I doing? Run! 
I'm going to your workplace. What am I doing? Help. I mean, I'm still eating the fried chicken. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, let me just leave them alone for now. Throw the fried chicken on the floor. Um, we're going to investigate. I also still have churros. I'm eating the churros too. I should also drink something. Probably gonna jump down from there. I thought that was gonna be a weapon, but it was actually fried chicken. All right, can I please pay my, pay my bill? Um, have you heard anything unusual? No, sorry. You guys all fucking suck. Anyway, um, okay, so we we know that person. We haven't been able to log into their computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to their workplace. Then we're going to look in their employee files, which will also include their code, which will then allow us to log into their computer, which can then let us read their emails. Uh, so you're literally still... You have been drinking way too much of this. Are you depressed because your partner's cheating? That's kind of dark. That's kind of sad. Okay, this is the place. It's locked. Well, not for long. I just want to... Oh, no. I'm going to get arrested here. Uh oh, he didn't see me. He didn't see me. No, no, no. There's no cameras in the toilet, right? There's no cameras in the toilet. Let's go. Um, how do I turn off the, the cameras? Well, I guess I don't have to if I can just sit here. Can I open this and then open? Look at that. Yes. Log it. No, it's gonna arrest me. Help. Okay. Um, you pointing at me? Look at that. And then we go, 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 go. Come on. Turn off the cameras. There we go. Okay. So now who of these people? Lauren Doyle. Uh, who are you? Your egg. <laughs> I hope, I hope egg is going to be the next murderer. Uh, this is you. Wait, your passcode. Here we go. Two, two, Five one one two five one one, but your computer is already logged in anyway, right? This is you. Well done. To now here from neck. I just wanted to send you a quick V-mail to let you know I am very proud of your work this year. Good boss, neck. Let's go. You've all learned so much and done your best, even with all our safety incidents. Okay, maybe not, good boss. Hi, honey bunny. Okay, that's just their partner though. Lunch date, also to their partner. Raise. I need to hear, notice you asked for a pretty substantial raise. You are, wait, are you cheating with neck? <laughs> wait, imagine. <laughs> wait, I'm printing that out. <laughs> wait a minute. Is that what's going on here? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, like there's nothing else in their email. What the hell? Wait a minute. Maybe this contract is way harder than I expected. Okay. We have their phone number and everything. Let me also look at their employee. So, because it has their fingerprints on it, right? Let's see. Print that out. Yeah, so, they are fingerprint type G. Um, hmm. How do we even... This is, this is cool, because now I have to kind of like... What the hell am I typing? I have to like re relearn how to solve a contract because i have no idea how these contracts work um so we checked their email their email didn't contain anything is there like a secret note is there any like there's a hearing aid here any like lover note or something and we follow them maybe we should follow them yeah advertisement opening near you soon a brand new neighborhood Gen genetics beauty and rejuvenation salon Exclusive membership. Hmm. There was, yeah, the hearing aid. This is the same person. Um, another advertisement. Housing district for exemplary employees. Clean air, sunshine, with every place an external space. What's on the floor here? Is there like a note? There's a lighter. Um, the partner. Why would I read the partner's emails when I'm not, like, they're... They're not the one cheating, or at least they're not the one I'm investigating for the cheating. Um, this is shimmy. Wait a minute, it's shimmy. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What a face. Use the tracker. Hey, it's Nick. We got your code, Nick. 
Let's change your password real quick. You're gonna be uh, just log into his account. Two seven four one. I repeat, two seven four one. <laughs> okay. Uh, check your email. Time to go change password. Let's see. Your reservation. An Anna B. That is definitely a Twitch name. Dear customer, I'm a de delighted to. Okay, so you got some kind of lunch date. Lillian Nagger, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Lily and Dak are dating and the plot thickens. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Okay, this is getting uncomfortable. I just wanted to... Wait, huh? Who is this? I don't want to send you a quick email. Okay, so this is to Lauren. Reminder. Oh, this is this is getting spicy. <laughs> the twist and turns. Enough is enough? Spicy chicken? All right, spicy chicken. I've had it with your slacking off. Why do I have to keep hearing you whine about going home and eating lunch? We are... Oh no, the camera turned back on. No! Turn back off. I don't know why I'm even investigating you. It's not like you've had done anything wrong. You're always messaging people about the raises and being like, why are you asking for a raise, you piece of garbage? Yeah, you sent the same thing to the, the person who died. Well done. Why you at one, what the fuck? You're so, you're a psychotic boss, Neck. Uh, one day, Sunday, January the, or first you send spicy chicken an email i just wanted to send you a quick email to let you know how proud i am of your work this year literally on the same fucking day five hours later you send them an email i've had it with your slacking off what the fuck is going on dude? you are psychotic why do i have to keep hearing you whine about going home and eating lunch we are here to do our jobs, do them well, and make the board of directors proud. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen with this guy. Put some truth into it. What is that? Uh, okay. So anyway, I have no... We don't have any proof of them cheating. Okay, so that was their work email. I just wanted to check that. We can also check their employee files, maybe. Well, I'll take that. We might have to shadow them. We might have to follow the the person. Is there anyone else here? We should probably note down these people, right? As potential potential cheating partners. Well, you're fucking dead. You're not gonna be. <laughs> I don't think I have to write you down. Um, you. I'm just gonna like note all the all the people that work here. It's my be egg, spicy chicken, maybe. Lucy, and then we got J. Oh, I know you're already marked. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. But there's only five here. Wait a minute. Lauren Doyle. That one. Okay. There we go. So we have six potential targets here, but it might not be. Why can't I? Why can't I drink from the from the water cooler? They said in the patch notes that they fixed that, but they absolutely didn't fix that. All right, so where are we with this contract? Um, we know... Uh, I need to get your fingerprints. So I know if this is your fingerprint or if I need to be suspicious. Could I please get your fingerprint? Uh, could you provide your fingerprints? Here we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, that is your fingerprint. Okay, so both these fingerprints are fine. Um, we might have to go back and see the camera maybe? Do you have any more information on this? Like this is, do we have, know anything about the unknown citizen? Blue eyes? How do you know that? That's all you know. You know that the cheating with someone who has blue eyes? How? How do you, how is it the only thing you know? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, does any one of these people have blue eyes? Wait a minute. Blue eyes? It's shimmy? Wait a minute. You have blue eyes too. Blue eyes. You have not blue eyes. You have green eyes. Okay, so you are off the table. Uh, Neck, do you have... Let's see. Has green eyes. All right, Neck, you're not You're not the cheater. You're off the hook for now. Uh, we have you. You also have blue eyes. It could still be Egg. It's the HR manager. HR administrator is cheating. That would be spicy as hell. And then you, uh, spicy chicken, also has blue eyes. Okay, so we have four people with blue eyes who could be 
the cheating partner right here. The other two are exonerated. Uh, maybe we should investigate head of HR <laughs> or spicy chicken. <laughs> I feel like you are just sussy as hell. I don't know why. You just you just strike me as someone who uh, 104 cascade. You are suspicious. Check their phone book. I mean, we could yeah yeah we could check who of these people are in their phone book, but probably all of them. Let's see. So we have Alberto. Wait, what, what is your handwriting? We need to know your handwriting. Your handwriting looks like... Um... This. So that's not that handwriting. That's this. Okay, so this is... This, this, I really love this part of this little detail in the address book, by the way. Is when there's two people living in an apartment. They both wrote names in the address book, but based on their handwriting, you can know who wrote which names in the address book so you can rule out the people that are written by the other person and you only have to focus on you. Uh, so we know it is Spicy Chicken and Nick. I mean, obviously, they're all going to be in here, right? So it's, it's kind of because they're all friends, right? Uh, Lauren is in here. Wait, actually? Egg is not in here. Why? What, what the fuck? Egg so is not in the book. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. All right. I guess you're not. I guess you're not. Unless they did that on purpose. So they wouldn't be suspicious. You're in the address book. Lauren Doyle. You're in the address book. And Alberto. But you're also not in the address book. Okay. So we only have two suspects now. If they're from the workplace, these two people are the suspects. We have Lauren Doyle or we have Spicy Chicken. It's got to be Spicy Chicken, right? <laughs> 100%. Wait, let's see. Uh, where does Spicy Chicken Lee live? They live at the hotel as well. They got... They live in the same building. That could very, very much be the case. We're going over to your house. Which I guess is the hotel. It's gotta be spicy chicken. Uh, let's see. But now how are we gonna pinpoint? I feel like we should first, before the finger... Like, there must have been fingerprints somewhere, right? I think that before we go to spicy chicken's house, we should quickly investigate the house a little more. There must have been at least some kind of... Like, evidence at the location. So otherwise, like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Are you sleeping again? You're sleeping again. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, so you're sleep. You're in the sleep on the wrong side of the bed, you dumbass. Oh, you got your feet on the pillow. <laughs> I should save. I should save the game. You're right. Uh, save the game. She was before it too. She's been sleeping the wrong way the whole time. Okay, let's fill in the code. Which is... What was your code again? We wrote it. 2511. 2511. That is not the code. Actually, never mind. It's the other one. This one. 2458. I mean, I guess then it's their safe. Oh, I'll steal that. Don't mind if I do. Um, I'm assuming their emails are going to... What are you doing? <laughs> Can I talk to you? What is your name? I'm not telling you. I literally already know it. What the fuck just happened? Do you know this person? Wait a minute. As if I tell you? <laughs> so she said something. What the hell? I almost got pushed out of the the world. Do you see that? Um, short. What is with this this description? Short brown hair. What are you? This is not short brown hair, right? There's just short blonde hair. What the fuck is with this person description? Is this the person? Is this the killer from this? Wait. Oh. Wait, maybe? Was it this killer? Uh. Oh, wait, by the way, the name changed. Alcatra. It's a, it's a chatter now. Because it was Sato before. It changed to a chatter name. Uh, do you got... You got... 
How can you be bald and have brown hair? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Short brown hair hair. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, I'm gonna log into your computer. Which is... Oh, I keep forgetting it. I'm on the wrong thing. 2-5. There we go. Okay, is there gonna be new email here or not? Probably not. Nope. Um, they are asking for the raise. The lunch date, but that's what... What the, f the literally the only email conversation they've had is with another is with neck but neck is not the person who they're cheating with because they don't got the same eye color as the cheater but then what the fuck are we supposed to do are we supposed to like investigate every there's perfume here that's kevin is there like any item around the place that is gonna be from someone else here and the ring maybe why did they put off their engagement ring huh maybe on the handcuffs <laughs> maybe on the videotape oh nope let's see maybe they filmed something Kevin I don't think this is how we're, maybe on the light switch but she just touched that right and here Kevin I love how Kevin is just sitting out in the in the rain right now are you finally leaving are you not gonna like clean up this place wait 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 wait. maybe they called someone wait a minute maybe they recently called someone or is it gonna be me unable to get last caller information god dang it is there a work idea yeah um, I guess we're just gonna investigate spicy chicken, but I don't know what we are planning to find there Because So far You are you going to bed again? Are you fucking joking? Evening? It is 7 a.m. What are you talking about? <laughs> you fucking you're you play too many video games if you call 7 a.m. The evening <laughs> You gotta stop playing fucking Tarkov until 4 a.m. My guy Okay, where the hell are we going? Um, we're going to Spicy Chicken's apartment. Oh, it's literally on this floor. Never mind. Need to touch some freaking grass. Hello. Maybe we should check the camera footage. Wait a minute. What is this place? Oh god, there's, there's cameras and lasers and everything. Uh, wait a minute. Hello there. Are you perhaps the spicy chicken? What's your name? Nothing to do with you. You're not the spicy chicken. Uh, have you heard anything unusual? Think I'd tell you if I had? You fucking piece of garbage. Can I please get in your house? Why are they they're guarding their freaking apartment? Well, let me get the key from your... Oh, damn. That would have been insane. Um, fuck. <laughs> Can I knock on the door? I'm trying to get into your house, sir. <laughs> Can I break it through the vents? Wait, what if I break into this other house and then go through the vents to get into their house? That seems like a totally valid way to go about doing this. I don't think this is the person. Turn off the cameras. Oh, there's someone sleeping in here. Fuck. <laughs> Bloppy Luffy, thank you for the sub. Oh, they're inside again. They just did a little smoke. They did a quick smoke. Okay. want to break in. <laughs> oh, fuck. They're right there. They're standing in front of the door, man. Fine. It's totally not suspicious what I'm doing right now. Okay, I open the door. Ah, oh, fuck. Hello. <laughs> I love how as long as I'm not in their house, it's not suspicious. I'm just gonna quickly go into your closet and pretend I live here. And look at your files. <laughs> Angel XDDDD. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, okay, well they live here. Wait, you freaking owns everything, man. Wait, 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 wait. No, this is Angel X D D D D D. 
Wait, that, am I in the wrong house? What is happening? Or did your name change, maybe? No. Wait. Huh? Spicy chicken. Where the fuck did I? Am I broke? Did I break into the wrong apartment? <laughs> Yosefa is spicy chicken, right? Which is two o three. Is this not two o three? Oh no, it's not. It's two o one. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> No wonder they look different. <laughs> what the fuck? This game is super stupid. 202? Two, oh, wait. Wait, what? Maybe it is. Wait, huh? Is this 203? Didn't they point me here, though? This is 203. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's, it's spicy chicken. They're sleeping. Search them. They got a box cutter. Be careful. Oh, the code. Uh, 5110. Uh, flower bouquet. What? Flower bouquet? Wait a minute. I-S. Won't you be mine? N? That could be Nahir. Excuse me? The plot is thickening. It is the year. Wait, we actually got the it's spicy chicken. Are you serious? <laughs> Wait, it's connected, dude. We fucking solved the case by just randomly going to someone's house. That's incredible. <laughs> Wait a minute. We need to check for fingerprints. Type H. That's probably going to be theirs. Wait a minute. This is totally, this is very important evidence. Can I pick it up and in inspect it? I can't. I can right click it to inspect it. There's no fingerprint on this though. Spicy chicken, how could you? So many damn fingerprints on that. Okay, so obviously it's you. So I need to put you down as the potential or probably the cheating part. It's getting extremely convoluted now. Okay, so you're off the hook. Get out of here. I don't need you anymore. Bye bye. It's obviously you. I, I'm. I find it kind of ridiculous that they connect this for you, though, because it only said N, right? How would I know that that was... Like, I would have to do a little bit more investigation, in my opinion. Uh, they work as a receptionist. Of course, it's always the receptionist. If I read this, I get money. Oh, wait, there's another flower bouquet. <laughs> another one? Two flower bouquets. You got fingerprints on this. I need to log into your computer to see if you got any... So this is a, this is some really hard missions, then. You literally just have to break into basically every, uh, like, that requires you to go through so many people. One wasn't enough. Do you not have a computer? You don't have a computer. Do you have to go to your work? Where is your work ID? This is your work ID? You work as a receptionist? Uh, I guess I could go to your work and then check it there. But I mean, we already got more than enough, right? Okay, so who's the partner of Kevin cheating with? It's this person right here, Spicy Chicken. Can you provide evidence of the infidelity? It's this right here. We have... Wait, I can't provide that as evidence? What? You can't provide a bouquet? Where they say, won't you be mine as evidence? What do you mean? From the hair caro to spicy chicken. <laughs> Take a photo? I mean... I get. I don't think that works, though. Uh, fingerprint? Yeah, I'm trying to fingerprint it, but it doesn't have fingerprints on it. How do I need to know... How is that not evidence? I don't understand. Can you provide a photo of the cheater? Alright, let me take a photo. Uh, I'm sorry, spicy chicken. Wait, is this the last thing I have to do? Yeah, I should probably... Where does the cheater live? Right here. Um, I should probably cause some vandalism first. What do I have to do? Just create... Just break stuff. I'm gonna eat the churros first. Oops. I am threw them on the ground, actually. Uh, break the windows. I don't have a weapon. Can I get your bolt cutter real quick? I'm gonna take that. Yes. So now I can use... Oh, no, the, the clock. I can use that to break the windows. Fuck. Did that work? Was that enough damage? 
Nope. Can I open this, please? Open the blinds! I can't open the blinds. Um, what if I just fucking stab this guy to death? <laughs> That'd probably be damage, right? You got anything expensive that I can break, sir? Can't you not open these? Oh, yeah, you can't. You can't open these? Okay, here we go. Open all the blinds. Then we grab this wrench from over here. I love how I'm just running around while you're sleeping. We'll grab the hammer. Uh, that's handcuffs. And then we just break everything. Oh, yeah. Please. Please break the window. How the fuck? There we go. This window. Nice. Is that enough? Why does it count? Wait, do I have to do it at the house at Nahir? <laughs> do I have to do it at their own house? What's happening, dude? Why would I destroy your house? Don't you live there as well? That seems ridiculous. Is that what they want here? Is this not 300? It's option. I know it's optional, but I still want to do it. I'm breaking everything. Uh, every window is broken. All right. I don't think this is going to work. It might be bugged. Uh, all right. We'll do a photo of the cheater. Here we go. Uh, take a photo. They're going to probably wake up from this though. Excuse me. They're standing straight up. Uh Oh, <laughs> wait, what? How'd that work? Excuse me. What the fuck? It's a freaking ghost photo, dude. <laughs> Provide a photo of the cheater right there. You provide evidence. I still don't understand why this does not count. I'm just going to fill that in. I guess I could take a photo of the... Did they wake up from that? They didn't wake up. What the fuck? I'm going to take a photo of the bouquet, I guess. It probably doesn't count, but whatever. I have nothing else, so I'm going to fill that in. Um. Oh, and I did cause damage. There we go. Okay, so besides... We can't hand this in as evidence, but besides that, we have done the contract. Uh, I am going to leave now. And pretend like I was never here. And run away. Let's go. That was actually a cool investigation. Something completely different than before. Um, like it, I like that they have added some more of these murder quests. Because this one feels like you got way more evidence. Like you actually got a lot of evidence. Rather than it being... Uh, wait, do I have to hand it in under the door? Yes, hand in case. Let's see if we got it. Did we get it correct or not? All his windows were broken from the inside. It must be, right? Yes! Okay, so the infidelity thing, the photo didn't count. We're gonna have to figure that out later, or it might have been uh, stuck. But there we go. We solved the cheater quest. Amazing. 100 social credit. Now it is time to get more investigation. $900. Don't mind if I do. I got $300, $3,000. I could buy an apartment with that. Um... Oh, by the way, I need to pay my bill and check out. Uh, yes, I would like to pay my bill real quick. Please. We hope you have a pleasant stay. No, my hotel room has literal cockroaches in it. I'd like to check out of my room. Thank you for staying at the Market Marquette Hotel or whatever you pronounce it. Someone just aim a gun at me? What was that sound? Uh, let's see if there's any cases here. There's an apartment for sale. It's three. Wait, I can buy an apartment from the hotel as well? <laughs> what the fuck? This is such a weird place. Okay, we need to take a photo photo of someone. We need to arrest someone. Um. Wait, require hard evidence. Photographs. What is this? Oh, this is another cheating investigation? Careful investigation. Investigator wanted. Highly personal task. Suspected infidelity. Need confirmation. Oh, require hard... I don't know what kind of photographs that oh maybe you can ch chase them and then like take a photo when they're together or something like that what are the benefits of buying an apartment so you can sleep somewhere that you don't have to pay for um there's not really a reason it's just like you gotta stalk them that's interesting uh we could do that one but we already just did a ch uh, an investigation like that muscle for destruction job uh, I would love to do... Let's do an arrest contract. Let's see who's a criminal. Uh, did we just get more information? You have an unknown citizen 
With a fingerprint type I. Okay, we know their age. We know their build. Lives on the 12th floor of Robert's Robertson Cascades. Okay, this should be totally doable. Hang up that phone. Uh, 12th floor. Uh, 12... Wait, what? Robertson Cascades. On the 12th floor. Just go to any any of them. Which is... I don't know where this building is. We've been here before, apparently. Alrighty. It's a brand new day. 8 a.m. Probably the murder is going to happen somewhere around... I don't know, 1 p.m. or something. Because that's when the last murder happened, right? Sometimes you have a few days without a murder. It's just... It's all random, right? The killers need to buy their weapon. They need to go to the crime scene and murder the person. Like, it's... It's uh, all just completely procedurally generated. Uh, all right, we go to the 7th or the 12th floor. 12th floor. Hopefully, there's not too many people living here. Otherwise, my life is going to get real complicated. What difficulty? There's no difficulty setting in this game. There is one, but it doesn't do what you think it does. Uh, the difficulty setting in this game does not make the game harder. It only makes you take more damage, which is completely meaningless. <laughs> um... Like, it makes you get knocked out faster, but it doesn't in any way make the contracts harder. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 doesn't matter. Wait, we can check the fingerprints on these doors and see who has fingerprint type I, type J, and then we can just break into, okay, so this is not that person. There's no, type L, type M. Who just opened the door? Excuse me? There's no other fingerprint on this door handle? That's suspicious. So these ones we have M. We have M. I'm assuming this one is not the target because here we have two fingerprints, right? We have... Wait, we have fingerprint type I. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so in this house lives a certain criminal that we have to arrest. But there might be... Um... They might be armed, is what they said. I'm not going to turn on any lights. Oh, God. Wait, there's a camera? No, nope. you look at me. Okay. Ah! I'm not here. I'm not here. Don't you dare. Who are you? Hi. Where are you going? Where have they gone? I'm literally right here. You're staring straight into my face. <laughs> Can I get your fingerprint, please? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna note you down. <laughs> what the? Fuck? Where have they gone? Wait, why can't I put you on the board? Hello? Are you a fake person? Why can't I put you on the board? Excuse me. Oh, because you're already on the. Wait, what? How did you get here? Why can't I click on you? This is so bugged. What the fuck is happening? Unpin. There we go. Now it's working. I don't know what the fuck that was. Okay, I need to turn off the light. So you're probably not the... Fuck. No! Uh, what if I... What? Can you go into the elevator? Wait, how the fuck did you get down there? Can I send... Can I do something like super stupid? And you come into the elevator and then I send you down to the ground floor and then I leave the elevator. <laughs> come here. That would be fucking amazing. All right, I'm just going to go into your house now. Oh, no. Oh, I walk through the door. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's see. Where's this person? There they are. I don't... Oh, no. I don't know... We need to find a name. Do this apartment is fancy as hell. What the hell? This is so empty. They're just, they're unpacking. They're literally in the process of moving. Where is your... It's Aggie Monk. Aggie Monk, excuse me. Wait, do we know... Wait, we need to find their fingerprint. Maybe on here? Fingerprint type I! It is this person! Okay. Let's go. What did I just click, by the way? Um, oops. Is this person. This person is the the one we're trying to arrest. 
But now we need to figure out who of these two people it is. Um, it's another egg. Oh no, I'm not here. <laughs> Dude, imagine. <laughs> Get fucking destroyed, idiot. Okay, now I can wait a minute. Now I can figure out who you are. You don't have an idea idea on you? What the hell, man? Um, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, they don't have any files. What the fuck? Your passcode is your own date of birth. Okay. We got an upgrade disc. I should probably wait, pick up the upgrade disc. Uh money, thank you. Here we go. You work at your own saloon? Is that you? Right, give me that. Uh, wait, now I can check your fingerprints. Whoops, I can just take you. Well, it doesn't work, right? You can't take someone's fingerprints? I don't think you can. It's bugged. But I tried that. But your head, your hair got detached from your face. You see that? It was a wig! <laughs> wait, really? It was a wig this whole time. Wait, maybe they are- Wait, are you kidding me? Is this like genuinely because they are- They have a warrant out for their arrest, right? Are they- They wearing a wig to try and be like avoid the cops? Is that what's happening here? That would be sick. Dude, that's big brain. Here we go. Take Prince. Oh no. Wait, what? I'm just gonna knock on the bathroom door. Somebody's coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm in your bathroom. <laughs> Why would you open the door to your own bathroom? What is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Imagine. Oh yeah, who's there? Who's in my bathroom? Can, you, can I fucking get the fingerprints, please? There, take a prince. There we go. Unknown citizen. Okay, what the fuck is happening on the screen? Is your fingerprint... Type J! Okay, so it's the other person then. Wait a minute, so I beat up this guy like several times for no reason whatsoever? <laughs> okay, so it's the other person which just left. I guess I know where they work, right? I got their business card. They went to the saloon. So I'm gonna go over there. This is a fucking insane investigation. All right, I'm just gonna assume maybe we can, maybe we can find them on the way down. I'm just gonna walk down the. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you the same person? Are you this person? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, you are. Is your name perhaps? Egg or whatever. It's Egg Monk. What is it to you? I am arresting you. I'm arresting you of suspicion of mur murder. You can't arrest me. Watch me. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, watch me. Watch me. Watch me, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Got him. That should be it, right? Identify the subject. It's you. Arrest the subject. Bada bing, bada boom. Easiest con. Why were you just sitting on this random? See, I kn I knew I had to walk down the stairs because they were just gonna sit on a random uh, bench somewhere. Now I'll take the elevator. There we go. That was a that was a cool investigation, <laughs> albeit a little messy. Almost the rest of all time. Um, this is so much money. I get twelve hundred from this. With that, we can buy a house, right? We got. 3,000? We can buy like a $4,000 apartment. We want to actually get like a somewhat nice apartment. When is the next murder gonna be? Come on, it's time to murder, guys. It's been too calm. He's armed and dangerous, literally just gives up. <laughs> I don't know what they... Can I get money from this? It says money. Hi there. You are tall as shit, man. Hand it in. There we go. Hand in the case. That should be correct. Because they got the same fingerprints. What kind of chemical test? There's just a diamond right here. What kind of chemical test are you doing right here? Did we do it? Yes, let's go. We can buy a $900 apartment. 
for the basement somewhere i'm not doing that okay next investigation what do, what do we want to do i really want to do one of those business investigations because they're super cool 3800 i'm gonna try that would be it's there's probably gonna be no way we can investigate this properly but imagine we can okay, what hello is there no phone number eight nine seven five five four zero this is gonna be impossible hear about the job yes the payphone at dos boulevard will ring in a few minutes dos bada bing bada boom i'm gonna turn off the light i'm gonna prank everyone get pranked it takes names from how many names are there in chat right now let's see is it still connected it is still connected look at that 287 names which is basically everyone because there's only 300 citizens oh let's go murder time <laughs> all righty well i am sorry to youtube but that is gonna be the end of this episode and in the next episode we will go investigate that murder. This is how we did it for the off-stream series. I think I'm going to do it this way for the on-stream series as well. Uh, that was a pretty successful... Uh, I need to pause the game. Uh, that was a pretty successful investigation. We got the first murder pretty much in like uh, within a few hours in game time. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. Obviously, we're going to do another episode right here on Twitch. So you're going to at least get another episode. But after that, it's going to be up to you guys to let me know if you uh, want to keep the series going on Twitch. We can obviously also do an off stream series, but because they finally fixed the Twitch integration, I thought it would be very fun to do a bit of the Twitch shenanigans because it's it's uh, I'm definitely learning a lot about my Twitch Twitch viewers and my moderators that I didn't know before. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely game and share in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash shitsim or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Oh, baby. All right, let me save again and actually title it properly. Um, end of second episode, Twitch. I need to go to the bathroom real quick. So give me, is this the time moving while I'm here? No. So we have a new murder case just now. One second, I'm gonna be right back. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, baby. Time has been stuck. We want to be on this crime scene. I mean, so the thing with the way this game works, by the way, which is really cool, is that when the crime happens, it's actually already been like a few hours since it happened. Um, because of the way they get... Like, someone has to find the crime scene and report it before it actually... Like, we could have stumbled upon the murder. Sometimes, 
it's never happened to me, but I've heard it happen to other people where you literally open a door and there's just like an act of murder taking place, which is really cool. Um, anyway, I think we're good to go. I'm going to close this real quick. Close that. And we're going to hop straight back in. Just opening the window for some fresh air because I'm dying in here. How are we doing? Have I had water yet? I should drink some water as well. We're gonna hop. Did I? I said a boo. I guess it didn't pick up. You found a dead person in a bar. The murderer was getting blasted by the turrets. It was a quiet abu. Stinky monkey. Thank you for the sub. Okay. Um. Everyone good though? Oh god, what am I doing? What the fuck? Don't do that! I'm learning the, the wonderful ways of OBS. OBS is... I mean, it's literally pretty much the same software, but slightly strange. Okay, let's go back. Ah! Oh, don't! Coming too close to the camera, I'm sorry. I was closing my window. <laughs> Alright, it's time to say hi, YouTube. You ready? <clears throat> Here we go. Hi, YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Shadows of Doubt. As you can see, we just got a brand new murder case, and that's exactly what we're going to be starting with. This is going to be our third episode in the Twitch integration series, which has made the game so much more fun. If you don't know, in this game, you are a detective in a city that is procedurally generated, and all of the citizens in the city are actually living normal lives, and they're also committing murders, and we have to solve those murders. Now, with the Twitch integration, every single one of the citizens in this game is actually someone from twitch chat so we're gonna find out who murdered our friend from twitch chat over here we need to start by going to 704 we everything is happening in the hotel man if you watch the last episode you know that a lot of people are actually living in the hotel if we get here quickly uh we can actually maybe see the killer leave the crime scene although i assume that it's already been a long time since the crime actually got reported because the way it works in this game is that when the crime happens you're not going to immediately hear of it because uh someone has to find the crime reported to the police actually physically call the cops as well i think like it's truly all like immersively simulated like it's super cool the way this game works i'm assuming the cops are already going to be there uh but maybe we can get a little bit of a head start and take some finger but yeah the cops are already here fuck it's all blocked off can we get any cameras here I'm just gonna- oh, the camera's right above me. I'm just gonna break into here, if you don't mind. And then hopefully be able to open the security doors. Um, security doors. There we go. What was it? 70, 704. 704, this one right here. Do we got a key under the doormat? We don't. Doesn't seem like the police is in here. Can I actually lock out the police by closing this? And then quickly running in. Let's go. <laughs> now the police is going to have to unlock that themselves. Gives me a little bit more time. And I can also hear when the police is coming. Um, unless they're already here, but I don't think so. All right, where's the body? We got to go fast because we have like no time. We need to check for fingerprints ASAP. Um, fingerprints on the telephone. Fingerprint type M. I'm going to... This is the home. This is fingerprint type N. Could be of the... Person who's, who got murdered themselves. There we go. Uh, hello. They're literally naked. They're sh still shaking. Uh oh. Let me see. What is this business card? Business card with fingerprint type O on it. Didn't have what it takes. Job vacancy. They must earn my respect. All right. <laughs> I'm going to assume this is going to be the fingerprint of the killer. What do we have? What is with your face? All right, we have, uh, can I take your fingerprints? Like an, uh, unknown citizen. What is your fingerprint? No, wait, no. Yes, fingerprint type O is not from them. Uh, let me inspect. What is going on here? How did you die before the police shows up? Sh a wound caused by a sharp object or blade. From examining the body, it appears that the victim has been slashed to death by a bladed weapon. I can determine the time of death. Is, look at this. You see how cool that is? 
it, the death was between 3.30 a.m. and 4.45 a.m. So this murder has already been six hours ago that this happened, but it just took a really long time for someone to find it and report it to the cops. So if we were to, for some reason, go into this house before that time, we could have actually found the crime scene before it was like an officially documented crime case, which can uh, like obviously lead to many crazy situations. Uh, but anyway, we got our victim right here. We got their fingerprint. We have their time of death. They're still literally shaking. Um, anything? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck, man? Where'd you come from? Are you taking a shit? Oh, no. How the fuck did he get in here? Wait, the doors are still blocked. No! Police! Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've been shot by the cops, dude. I mean, I was kind of in the crime scene, to be fair. <laughs> Where the hell did he come from? I locked myself in. I thought the cops weren't there. Okay. Uh, lesson learned. Do not lock yourself in the crime scene because the cops might already be inside. Well, this is going to be real unfortunate because that means I'm going to have to... Uh, pay my medical fees which i you don't have to pay them you can't just run out but i like paying them just to have some kind of punishment for dying uh well unlucky can i now walk out without being arrested please i need to get back to the crime scene how much time has passed two hours have passed the crime scene is getting cold we need to go we need to go um you pieces of shit you ways i i am doing the justice here you guys don't do shit you guys just show up to a crime scene and then say like, oh man, someone's dead. What a shame. And then they just run away. Um, I need to check the cameras and everything. How are we going to do this investigation? Last time we found a note at the place of the crime, which literally spelled out the name of the killer. So that made it really easy. It turns out Twitch chat is not very smart when it comes to committing murder, uh, which I, I was expecting better of you guys. Uh, short brown hair. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Remember this? It now all makes sense. This is the exact time <laughs> that they got killed. Wait a minute. Okay. So for those that didn't watch the last episode, uh, we were investigating a cheater. Chat was saying that for a while. Sorry, I was I was focused on getting shot by the police. Uh, uh. I was taking my my attention um this person uh, i asked if they saw anything suspicious and they said that they saw someone with short brown hair on the fourth floor of the hotel at 4 45 a.m and they looked angry so that might be let's can i copy this um can i copy that yes Oh, no, I can't control Z in this one. Uh, that might be related to this. So we're going to add a new note. P paste that right over here. Uh, that's probably going to be our killer related to this right here. Um, we first have to go back over there. Hopefully the cops are going to be a little nicer this time. So they got stabbed, right? I think I saw a, a knife on the crime scene right before I got shot. <laughs> Wait, that's so cool. Now, it doesn't make any sense that they knew... because. If you remember, we were investigating this person because they were cheating while they were sleeping. And then they somehow saw someone while they were asleep, which doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Okay, the cops are here. This is a hotel, by the way. Can you go away? Don't stand there. Go in, go in, go in. Okay, here we go. Is someone inside? No one's inside. All right, we need to investigate this weapon right here. Yeah, see? You left so many fingerprints all over the crime scene. Don't tell me you touched this. Fingerprint type O is all over the murder weapon. This is the wrong... Whoops. This is the wrong case. And... Can I please... There's too many damn fingerprints on this murder weapon. Remember to close cases. I don't like closing cases because... I mean, I guess we... See, if we, did, if we closed this case, we would have maybe forgotten about that. So I'm glad I didn't do that. Um, we can close the arrest case, though, because the arrest case wasn't very special and we already handed this in. Okay, so we have arrested someone. Uh, I'm going to leave this case open for now. And these two cases we were trying to investigate, but then a murder happened. Uh, okay, so obviously we got the murder weapon. Easy peasy. Um, there's a bunch of fingerprints all over the crime scene, which isn't... Or footsteps, which are probably from the police. Uh, what does this say? 
T A P W W what? What does it say? I don't know what it says. Uh let's log into their computer. Maybe we can find their their code. Lawrence. Who is this person, by the way? Who from Twitch chat died? Uh we need to find out. It is Nazgul. Lawrence Nazgul. That's the person who died. Um, I will take all your money because you're not going to need it anyway. Wait a minute. Is this an anagram again? They're the head of HR. Okay. This person. Um, shopping list. Dragon Dog. Bob and Hard Cider. Okay, they've been purchasing alcohol. Is anyone else living here or do you live alone? They got a prop gun. Uh, of course, it's the HR manager who got murdered. People don't like HR, it turns out. Oh, it says put a pin in it. You close the door? No? It doesn't say put a pin in it, though. It li it's WW. I. It's gonna say it in a newspaper. We're gonna have to find a newspaper, because the newspaper usually says a little bit about the crime scene. I know there's diamonds here, but I'm not taking the diamonds because the diamonds are a little... They give you too much money. I, I like to slowly climb my way up in society rather than speedrunning it by just stealing like three diamonds and having a million dollars. Because they're OP as fuck. The key. Don't really need that. Where are the... Oh, business card. Uh, They work at Cold's Mead Group. Okay, I'm going to put that down here because that's something we're going to investigate. We're going to investigate their work. Um, There's the thing. Do you work alone? From the office of Active Geek. Uh, Okay, you make $167,000 a year? Holy, dude. Uh, It's Yoop again. Yoop's got everyone on the lockdown. Let's see. You have... Luca Siempre? What do you pay them for? Uh, insurance. Joint corporate house. I'm gonna pin this just in case. Just in case we're gonna need that. And then we have their birth certificate. I'm just organizing it. So this is the house. This is obviously criminal the, or crime related. This is victim related. Um... This is their work, which is going to be a new investigation tree. Trying to keep them somewhat organized. We don't have... Or is this the... Okay, so it is long. It's 2937. Two, 2937. Two, they live alone. Yeah, they live alone. Um, 2937. There we go. Lauren Nazgul. We got their everything connected. Okay, now, do they have any enemies? Any enemies in their email? Let's see. Raze. Rushi Angela Best. Is that... That's gotta be in Twitch chat or whatnot. Uh, notice you asked for a substantial raise. That could be potentially... I'm gonna put that there as potential... Potential motive. We got Abu Rob. Some bullshit. Warning? Heard from the cleaners that you've been up to no good here after hours. Did you seriously think you could deal that shit right under my nose? You have until the end of the week to either resign or confess. I'll be watching the tubes. Okay. Potential motive right there. Uh, that's Abu Rob again. Wait, Abu Rob? Huh. Attention. Pay? Heard from outgoing accounts, you're not getting paid on time. Sounds rough. If you keep, if it keeps up, please don't hesitate to bother somebody else. I'm busy, dude. Abu Rob is freaking <laughs> Abu. <laughs> Abu Rob is going evil mode on this guy. What? But he is the victim, though. That's the weird part. Like, I feel like this would make Lawrence want to. Oh no! Wait. No, he sent it to Rob. Wait a minute. I'm reading these email wrong. No, but this one is sent to you. What the fuck? So he sent this to Rob, and then he sent a warning back. Okay, I see. <laughs> Incidents? Real quick question. Oh, so the, it, it's got to be Abu Rob, right? They're so, they got so many messages going back and forth. I'm going to pin that guy as a potential suspect. 
over here because they're super connected. Uh, party? Time that you... Okay, well, let's go to... It seems like there's something workplace related. I don't know what it says on this wall. Is there anyone on the calendar? Lawrence Mao birthday? I'm assuming that was their name before Twitch chat took over. <laughs> uh, Piper Ashamo... What the fuck is his name? Hyper Ashama Prioritas. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, whoops. I'm scrolling the wrong way. Oh, no, no. I'm scrolling the right way. What the fucking name? It said they'll say put a pin in it. All right. Well. Okay. That's all. That's all the birthdays that are on here. Wait a minute. There's literally a single birthday on here. That's not from the victim itself. I'm going to write that down. Hyper Ashama blah, 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 blah. Or whatever the fuck. Piper Ashama blah 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 <laughs> I can't fucking type dude Ashama blah blah um oh wait I didn't pin that fuck Piper Ashama something uh birthday birthday on calendar is that how you type that or is it with an e I think it's with an e Callan... Is that how you type it? I think so. Um, okay. Let's go. I think we go to the workplace. I don't think we need anything else. Um... There's, there, we got the murder weapon. We got the fingerprints of the killer. Maybe we should quickly call the... 541000 to see if they called anyone. Unable to get last call information. Okay, so they didn't call anyone. Quickly pin this as well. Wait, Piper is on the... Hmm. Piper is also a potential... A potential... Killer. Is this Blob? <laughs> is this Mrs. Blob? Is that what's happening here? I think that's probably what's happening here. It's Spicy Chicken again! The cheater! I think that's gotta... Oh, I need to run out of here. Okay, I was never in there. I didn't do anything. Okay, so we have fingerprints. Very important. Um, got murder weapon. We probably have a description of the person. Now what we need is go to the work and potentially um, see if there is a person that matches the description or if Abu Rob matches that description. Cop is... <laughs> Yeah, cop is chilling. I love how as soon as you get out of a trespass zone, then they don't... They don't assume you were committing a crime. They're just like, well, you're outside of the door, just standing there. It's like the opposite of real life cops. Or you can get, like, arrested just for standing somewhere. Should also quickly take the murder form. Yeah, we have fingerprint. We have fingerprint and we have a description. Like, this should be a, uh, a really easy case. We could also go... Wait a minute. What the fuck? You know what I actually kind of want to do? I know we can go over here, but I really quickly want to check the cameras because we didn't do that last time. And checking the cameras is really fun. Um, Does it... I mean, it doesn't work always. Like, a lot of people in this game are like, oh, cameras are so OP. Tell me you haven't played the game without telling me. Because the cameras are definitely not OP. Uh, the They only very rarely actually pick up anything. Uh, is this the... Where's the surveillance? Can I check that on the map, maybe? Let's see? What is it? It's the Corpo Reaper, by the way. Um, should check the map. Let's see. Do we have any... What the fuck is that? Why is there a death burst or a, a skull there? Skull... I what is that skull icon? Oh, this is the camera. Someone in here? Ah, fuck. I have to turn off the cameras to log in on the cameras. Can you please fuck off? Um, where are these cameras connected to? Over here. Nothing is... Oh, let's go. No one saw me. Turn off the cameras. Break in here. Let's go. Okay. Um, check the surveillance cameras. Security. Um, okay. We need to go... To the seventh floor, right? Oh, it's ninth. Here we go. Seventh floor. We need to point it. What room is that? 
I can't tell what room that is. I don't think that is the room. Um, this is close to the room. What the fuck? Is that the room? <laughs> oh, that's the sixth floor. Never mind. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, you got a gun, dude. Oh, I need. I can't be here. I can't be here. All right. Well, uh, plans changed. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Okay, well, so much for checking the cameras. <laughs> I don't want to get shot. I mean, I did get shot. We're just gonna check at the workplace <laughs> instead. All right, everyone is coming home. What time is it? It's 1 p.m. Why are you guys all leaving work? You guys going home early? Um, We need to go... Wait, what now? What am I doing? I'm sorry, I'm so lost in the sauce. This is here. Okay, we go to the ninth floor. I see. Ninth floor. It's lunch time, of course. Um, there's still gonna be more people. I think I don't know how exactly the Twitch integration works, but don't worry about it. I think it just automatically adds you guys. But I, I definitely think doing it in a smaller city worked wonders, like the devs said. Um. Is this is the building. Okay, gold meads group. Hello there. You got short brown hair hair. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you perhaps Abu whoever the fuck? I'm looking at your computer real quick. It's a bot! <laughs> what the fuck? It's the, <laughs> it's the bot, dude. Are you the killer? Did you murder this person? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. This might be the killer. <laughs> the bot again. I always manage to find a way. Uh, I need to be careful. Is there someone in here? There's no one in here. Okay, I'm gonna... Don't see me. Don't see me. No one's looking. I'm trespassing, but they don't see me. Don't shoot me, please. Why does everyone got fucking guns? Turn it off! Cameras are off. No one's in here. Okay, this is just a receptionist. Uh, I should check the nameplate thingy. Where is that? Where is like the... The wall with the employees on it? Is it in the surveillance room? It is not in the surveillance room, but I guess I can just check the... Employee records there. Uh, you got fingerprint type. Let's see if any one of these has fingerprint type O. Rushi Anya. Who was this person? Agent XZD. <laughs> what a name. Wait, it actually is! It's a bot! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> He's got his fingerprint! It's actually. <laughs> That's incredible, dude. What are the chances? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> we got Alex. That's unbelievable. And here's Abu Rob. I'm sorry. I was, uh... And then this person died. Why the fuck did you do that? I'm gonna check your email right in front of your face. Uh, I'm gonna... I don't have a handcuff. Fuck. I should have picked up the handcuff from the one cheater. Um, I'm just gonna sit at your computer if you don't mind. Got a taste for chaos. What did you... Lunch date? Well done. No subject, just lay... Oh, they are rumbled. I've noticed you called in sick on the 8th, 13th, 21st, and 29th of last month. I cannot help but notice that these correspond exactly with Starch Cola Sugar Bird's home games. I have my eye on the schedule from now on, and you're on notice. Um, Ghost Punch, what a name. Honey Bunny. Ghost Punch, you're dating the bot. All right, well, um... What if I say I'm curious? No, I can't do that. <laughs> Wait one second. I need to get a fucking handcuff, man. Why didn't I have handcuffs? <laughs> I was gonna tell them I'm a, I'm arresting you. I just wanted to see what their reaction would be. In some bot be like, he's trying to kill us, dude. This was the fastest. Dude, we are actual. But how are these connected? Like, that's the, like. I think that is one thing that I hope they, like, kind of focus on a little bit more in the next, like, updates that they do. 
is having a more clear connection between the killer and their victims because like right there we really only knew that this person that instant bot is the killer because we literally found their fingerprint on the weapon at the crime scene which like yeah it's a pretty clear connection but i wish that there would also be a way to figure out the same connection if uh like just by reading their emails or something like the motive i can't really know a motive here like maybe there is a motive somewhere but i would wish that they like focus a little bit more on that so there's like multiple ways to get the crime figured out rather than um like it being so fingerprints focused because i feel like that was what i noticed when i first played this game that a lot of it oh that's the wrong place wait huh where am i wait did i go to the wrong am i in the wrong building no i'm not wait what but yes i am where the f where the fuck am i wait where am i oh i need to go to the ninth floor whoops i'm on the seventh floor <laughs> whoops Sometimes, I mean, it's true that there's a lot of, that there's obviously got to be killers that have no motives, but let, let's see. So we're going to just talk to them and see what they say. Uh, I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. Who the hell do you think you are? Ah, shit. No, they got a knife. Uh, time to beat them up. Oh, uh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Wait, you know what I can do? <laughs> they fucking walked into it idiots <laughs> or idiot <laughs> got them this, the doors are so op in this game it's unbelievable there you go search you you got another straight razor you got so many razors it's a i can't believe it's actually the bot that's fucking stupid all righty well uh crime has been solved let's see what is the name of the killer it's Mr. M. Instantbot. Arrest the killer. Check. Uh, evidence that places you at the crime scene. Definitely this one right here. Fingerprint on the weapon. Uh, where does the killer live? Where do you live, good sir? Uh, can I figure that out? Have you located the murder weapon? Yes, I have. Um, where do you live? I need to check the employee contract. It probably says something about where the... Well, maybe it says it right over here. You live on 302 Shuster Terrace. 3 302 Sh Shuster Terrace. Uh whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Easy. Where's the killer live? There. That's it. Dude, that was actually might be the fastest murder case I've ever solved. <laughs> the killer was literally they like went straight to work after committing the murder you silly goober i'm gonna punch you in the face because you deserve it but i can't punch you why can't i punch you ah! i'm 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 this is justice <laughs> this is for there you go wait what you're sitting back up There's so much blood all over the world <laughs> i'm leaving what the fuck am i doing Alrighty, um, oops, I'm punching the... This person is just walking by. They're like, whatever. <laughs> I'm Batman. Alright, easy peasy. The bot has been arrested. What are the chances? You'll never believe. You'll never... <laughs> you'll never know who... Or you'll never guess who the killer was of this murder. <laughs> this is why I love Twitch. Because it just adds so much more like... Uh, save the game, yes, please. It adds so much more fun to the, to like, investigating these people. Because even the people that aren't the criminals are, feel more impactful because they're people that you actually know. All right, hand in the case, right? I did everything. Filled in everything. I got your fingerprint as well, right? So it's good. Let's see. Did we get it correct or are we stupid? There might already be another murder happening right now. We did it. Insta that means we're never gonna see wait i'm actually really curious what happened is this like are they still here i just need to know or did they actually get like arrested forever like i don't know how what happens to people that are arrested do they get removed from the universe i'm so so great at level five or are they just gonna be here forever now 
Wait, they did get arrested. They're gone, dude. <laughs> There's uh, still blood on the wall. <laughs> yeah, they are actually just forever out of the city. Now the bot is gone. No bot. Let's go. Okay, anyway, let's... Uh, what do we... Oh, uh-oh. I did not do this. <laughs> I was supposed to go to the payphone. Uh, well, I can I can say that this case is done. <laughs> I was a little distracted by murders happening. Sorry, sir. I lost track of time. I'm gonna have to get another case. That case was actually crazy. If we would have been able to solve that one. Also, goal for today would be try and get a, an apartment. Maybe. All right, let's see if there's any cool cases. We wait. Wait, what? Who's calling? What? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Who's calling? It's some hold this payphone here? Wait, what? What was that? Wait, was that actually the phone? Wait, they delayed the phone call for three hours? Oh well, rip. <laughs> I could have done the case. All right, well, never mind that. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, they literally have been calling the phone for four hours straight. Like, what is he gonna pick up, man? Okay, uh, what cases can we do? We can do an arrest case. I would love to do this. This is gonna be impossible. That's that's not gonna happen. I want to do one of those business cases because the the like corporate espionage cases are so cool. Or we could do another cheater case to see which of the Twitch chatters over here are uh, are cheating. <laughs> save. I just saved. I could reload. No, 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 no. We're fine. Uh, we're just gonna roll with our mistakes. Let's see. Is there... No. Where am I? This has got to be... This is not open, though. I just want to be in here, man. Please don't kill me. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't me. Hello. So many people out here. Who are you? What's your name? What the fuck is that name? <laughs> Sume Afku... <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck has a name like that? <laughs> Which Twitch chatter <laughs> is that Cthulhu? I'm gonna summon a demon when I say that out loud. Definitely Twitch chatter. Uh, okay, anyway, we need to go to the merchant, maybe? No, the merchant was the pawn shop. Uh, I'm just trying to go to, like, literally any establishment. to try. Maybe in the hotel. Yeah, here we go. Can we get some cases? There's two cases? Okay, wait, we could do this one. Let's do the... Sure, we'll do another cheater investigation. Earn them into cash. We need to call a number. Let's see who's going to be cheating. Because this is the new mission. And they're actually really difficult. Last time we got extremely lucky while investigating this case. Hear about the job? Yes. I got $5,000, by the way. Meet me at Sakai Street. I'll be sitting with a coffee, okay? Sakai these balls. Uh, Sakai Street. I, I don't have a place to stay right now, also, because I checked out of the hotel. Excuse you. There they are. Hello. Is it you? What's your name? Dagar Ashishnook. Ashishnook. <laughs> Listen closely. Here we go. I'm Dagar Ash Ashishnook. Please investigate my partner, Kendall Sandra. <laughs> it's Sandra. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. <laughs> The plot thickens. I don't know much about them. I'll write down everything I know. Oh, no. <laughs> then come find me. I'll pay you a rare sync disc, Dove Plus, and 950 credits when I'm happy. You might want to take a look around my home. I live at 402 Moss Parks. Here's a key. <laughs> I've told Candle you've come to clean the place. So don't... Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Can I get a guest pass, though? Okay, there we go. Uh, now, besides that case, we should probably close the first murder case, right? If you, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. This was a beautiful case. What happened again? Oh yeah, wait. Like, I mean, it was a simple case at the same time because they left this. Oh wow, this actually updated. <laughs> That's cool because this was this updated. This was first uh, Sato, but then they got a Twitch name, so now the the crumpled paper changed as well. Uh, I'm gonna close that case because we need space here. Uh, close that. I'm also gonna close this case. We're never gonna be able to solve that. Are you kidding me? And then we're gonna close the cheater case. Uh, just to create some space here. 
And then we have two investigations right here. Let's pick up another case as well. Um, let's see. Because the more cases, the merrier. Photography skills. That's a lot of money. This business concern. This is the one I wanted to investigate. Because these are super... These are actually extremely difficult. The Like, I've had several impossible business investigations. Uh, let's see. Hear about the job? Yes, I am. Meet me at the hotel. All right. I know my way to the hotel. I've been there many times. I think it's literally right there. Isn't this the hotel? Yes. I love the chandelier, man. Look at that. Okay, where are you? You're sitting with... Oh, so that doesn't seem like you got much business, do you? <laughs> Excuse me, you're just... There's literally no one here except this one person. Hello. Is it chew on these balls? Um, I need you to steal an important document. It will be sealed in a red and brown envelope. You better give me some evidence. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. Leads for the target are in this briefcase. Take it. All right. Is this going to be a doable quest or I'm just literally going to throw it in your face? Uh, oh, Exo, of course he's back. Are you serious? All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> we've been looking at this guy for so long already. I love how they do that. This cannot be an, an accident, right? There has to be some system in the game that makes certain people be involved in more investigations because it is like countless times have I had these like people that I've seen before come back and in separate investigations all right so we got um we're gonna investigate you i think we've already broken into your house before where do you live again you live in robertson cascades okay 104 robertson cascades now what we're trying to find here is like a business secret so we need to be we need to be um secret about this you can't let them know that we are onto them uh, but this secret can be literally anywhere. It can be in their house. It can be... I'm, I'm uh, getting rid of the evidence. It can be at their workplace. Can I explode here? I can't jump into that. Uh, which makes these investigations very difficult. Sometimes they'll have it on themselves. Like they'll be carrying it around. Which is actually like the easiest situation. I should also really buy... I guess I don't need handcuffs. Because I'm not necessarily arresting someone. The thankful bar. That's kind of a cool, cool bar. All right. I, I know we have that other cheater investigation, but I want to do this one first. Um, 104. Here we go. Do I still have the... No, I don't. Uh, the camera's literally pointed straight at my face. Um, well, I'm just breaking in then. Don't see me. Nope, 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 nope. Please point away from me. I can get their fingerprints too. Maybe on the door handle. Luckily, they never use the camera footage against me. Fingerprint type V. Okay, can you please go away? I could try and sabotage you. Can't, because I'm not tall enough. All right, there we go. Uh, don't look at me. I'm innocent. No! Look away. I'm not doing anything criminal. I'm literally... Fuck you, piece of garbage. There, point away. Okay, go, 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 go. If only I just already have this key. I mean, I'm breaking into the right apartment, right? Oh, they're part of the Red Cross thingy? Uh, let's see. They work as a HR. Okay, here we go. So, you're, this could be a re... Oh, no, they're right there. That's not the thing. I'm not here. I'm not here. No! Fuck me! Fuck me! All right, it's time to... Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Did you just throw milk at me? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Don't you dare ring the alarm. Why are you so bad at... Why you got another mug of milk, dude? What the fuck is this person? Dude, they're so bad at fighting. Get absolutely blasted. That's right, eat shit. Okay, let's see if you got it on you. I love how they're just doing their job and I'm like <laughs> breaking in and beating the, the shit out of them. Okay, uh, we need to investigate fast before they wake up and ring the alarm. Maybe they threw it in the trash. Maybe they put it in the fridge. They got so much milk, dude. They're the milk bandit. Uh, 
Oh, we got the key. Take some money as well. Don't mind if I do. Okay, nothing here. Uh. Wait, is that a handcuff? No, it's a metal wire. Got a hammer. Just looking if there's anything. <laughs> Are you kidding? What the fuck, dude? They eat so much, or they drink so much fucking milk, man. This is endless milk, and it's the milk bandit. It's the milkman from last... Remember the, the YouTube series from before? We had this one fucking guy that had like a hundred cans of milk in the... Oh, I'll take that. It was amazing. I don't think it's here. There's a... Oh, it is here! Let's go, dude! Easy peasy peasy! Uh, I'm gonna drop this on the floor. I'm actually gonna drop my camera on the floor. You take my camera, I'm taking a secret envelope. That was the easiest contract that I've ever done like this. Uh, what am I doing? Usually these contracts are extremely difficult. That was so easy, you were an idiot. Okay, I need to destroy it by throwing it in the sea. That's all. That's the freest $2,000 I've ever earned in my life. Easiest quest. And at least we're not going to get rid of this character. We might see him again. He probably recognizes me, though, because I beat up his shit. Um, okay, well, I'm going to throw this out. I need to throw it in. Destroy the item by throwing it into the sea. Here we go. There it is. Goodbye. Uh, alrighty. Easy peasy. Plot route the hand in. Open it. I am not... I'm not, um... Releasing the documents for my clients that is that is against the client client uh, whatever privilege thingy. I should have looked though. I've, I just completely forgot <laughs> Wait, I'm going in here. I've never been in this. I'm a good guy. Okay. I'm a, I'm a proper detective. Here you go I'm handing it in and I pretend like I've never been here. Look at that client confidentiality Confidentiality exactly. Um, okay. Well, that was a quick investigation. Let's go over to this uh, where do we gotta go? Oh, this is one freaking messy... Okay, this is the cheater. And then we have here... 402... Wait, it's this one. Dude, what are these buildings? 1900 from just like a simple investigation. We should do more of those business contracts, I guess. We're... We need to figure out what the most expensive apartment is we can buy. Because I want to... I want to buy the most fancy apartment. No key. No camera. No camera. Wait, I have the... Oh, of course. I got the key to this place because I can investigate it. Alrighty. Uh, well, that's going to make my life very easy. What are they doing here? We have... This is the person that gave us the case. <laughs> what if they're both cheating? Let's see. We have a work rotation. That is for the other person. Chief, every works at a freaking hospital in this game man uh oh fuck wait but i'm allowed to be here right so you're not gonna arrest me right you're not gonna shoot me yes let's go okay i'm safe um any suspicious shit going on in here what is this room i need the files thank no there's nothing you don't buy apart apartments in a capitalism city i do though you can uh oh this is just the door where are the files? You don't have a computer or anything? Wait, that's gonna make my investigation so shitty? Wait, what the fuck? How am I supposed to... Wait, do you... Does this other person even live here? Are you lying? You got a combat knife? Are you a killer? Are you a serial killer, sir? The other person doesn't even have any... Are they... What the hell? They don't have any files. Um, maybe there's a fingerprint here. The client is a stalker. Imagine. Uh, this is a bedroom. What the fuck is happening over here? There's just piles of clothes. All right, maybe there is something suspicious going on here. You got a fingerprint type W. What is this? Can I read the note, please? This is, that is, pa passcode is the year you were born. Do you hear that person snoring? Okay, here we go. QA technician at Azure Incorporated. Okay. Do we have any information on the suspect? Muscular. Okay, that's all we have. Uh, 
6314. And maybe also there the other person's birthday. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much. We have their place of work. We're going to try and we speed run and get as much money as possible. We can actually get a nice apartment. I will be taking that. Thank you very much. There might already have another murder might have already happened at this point. Uh, but we're just waiting for someone to find the murder. Doesn't see. I'm going to put this in the thing. Uh, I think we're going to have to go to the work again and look at their computer over there because they don't have a computer over here, which is making my life extremely difficult. We don't know which fingerprint belongs to who. Uh, we got fingerprint type W all over the place, though. That's probably the person who gave me this contract in the first place. All right, let's go to the workplace. We go to. Uh, wait, didn't I write it down? Business card. Here we go. UA technician at Azure Incorporated. Or um, eighth floor. It's in the same building. This is a very criminal city. Yeah, it's because everyone in here is from Twitch chat. You guys are criminals. You're innocent. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, so far, everyone I've been in contact with has been a criminal. It's... I wonder if you... So... If you, like... If someone kills someone, right? They become a serial killer if you don't solve the crime too fast. What if you literally, like, don't solve the crime ever and you just let one guy murder the whole city? Is that a thing you can do? Like, can you have someone murder the entire town? <laughs> is that a thing? That would be so funny. Like, how- what is the max amount of a serial killer? Like, how- do we- do they just keep killing forever? Or do they eventually, like, stop and just hope that you- And then you have to find them with the information? That's an interesting question. Alrighty. Um, who are you? Are you muscular? Your build is average. Alright. Average Andy over here. Let's see. Um... Order office manager. What the anime card master? <laughs> oh, fuck. Ice, Ice Miji. Alien Blue. They got Xen. Um, BB. Aladdin. And Sandra. Okay, so what is your fingerprint? Your fingerprint is type X. Okay, interesting. So W is probably from the person who gave us this contract in the first place. Uh, let's see. Where did I add W is from you, probably. We Unless one of you guys is W, in which case, case has been solved immediately. Dead. AA. Where were... No, I don't think so. AD. Do you not have a fingerprint? Oh, there. Okay, none of them have left fingerprints. Um, I need to check. Is this one mu muscular? Kind of look muscular. Build is muscular. Wait a minute. You're not muscular. You're muscular. Okay, where we have two suspects. Uh, you are large. You are average. Also average. You're getting judged by your build right now. Anime card master. You're a dude. I would have been so sick if that was the. Wait, what? Wrong. And this is the person. Okay. Wait. So it's one of these two then, probably, unless they're not from the workplace. So then the question is, uh, I need to get in here. Can I break in here? Wait, no one is here. Oh no, they're definitely here. Oh, fuck. Did they all stand up? What the hell? That's terrifying. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I'm, I'm scared. How much for a tour of this place? Temporary guest pass, but it will cost you. Uh, Here's the money. 30 bucks? I'll take that. Wait, why is everyone leaving? Hey, come back here. What the fuck, man? Hello? You're the... Who the... Wait, what the fuck? Come back! Where are you going? All right, well, whatever. <laughs> Why did they all just stand up and leave, man? That's so strange. Okay, uh, who are you? We're looking for... 
Carter. I should put you in. Carter and Umbibi. So you're not that person. You're not that person. Uh, who is this? Gerard, not the right person. Carter, here we go. The manager. Uh, did you send anything to Sandra? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, this is all your emails. Sandra, incidents. Real quick question. Can you send me your team stats for this year? Safety. Incidents. Interesting. I've noticed you called in sick. Oh, that's the same email from before. Did you have any secret email? A secret meeting? Uh, oh, my gas pass. Uh, I should also check... Sandra's email, if I can. There. Are you gonna have any email con to someone? Lunch date? That's Dagur. That's the, the spouse. Uh, honey bunny? That's normal. I've noticed this is okay. So they only have had email communication with their boss, um, which makes sense. So I guess we're going to go to their house and then maybe look if there's very Brit. What the fuck did you guys do? Huh? You guys just all stood up. Hello. Um, there you Carter. Uh, have you heard anything unusual? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Do you know this person? Uh, whoops, I need to fucking click on this person before. Here, put you down. And then click on you. Hello. Do you know this person? This one. I work with them, that's Candles Sandra. Always talking about classic literature. <laughs> They're here right now. That's all? Okay, wait, maybe we need to talk- You're not gonna give- Give me anything more than that? Uh, who is this other person? Um, E.B. Where's your email? Is this- Who is that? Are they the receptionist? No, they're not. Uh, you? Um, B.B. Why is your name different? I guess it's because you turn into a Twitch name. Hey, don't go away. Uh, do you know this person? This person. I work with them. That's Kendall Sandra. They've been working at Azure. Yeah, that's literally. Oh, I guess. <laughs> okay, I am talking to a door now. All right, then uh, I guess I'm going to go in here and steal some of the money. Thank you very much. Crumpled payer paper. When I saw your smile across the room, it was as if a hundred flowers had bloomed. All over the city, radios played our song and the traffic sang along. And even the cranes seemed to whistle to wait a minute. Is this? Won't you meet me tonight at a quarter to nine? You, you, e, wait a minute. Is this? Is this a love poem? Excuse me. I we literally randomly looked at a poem and that's wait. Pipe X. Fingerprint. Where did we find this? We found it on the employee photo. Please don't worry, honey bunny. I can't bear to think that you're upset. This is we, we what the fuck? We're insane, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Easiest investigation of my life. All right. Well, uh, I mean, I did it. Who's the partner they're cheating with? They're cheating with this person. Cheating with that person. Can you? Is this gonna count? That does count. Let's go. Can you provide a photo of the cheat? Wait, wait, no, come back. Where'd they go? Oh no, the the fuck. They left. They left. Where'd you guys go? Uh, oh no. I don't even have a photo cam, do I? Well, fuck me. I guess I can't do that. It literally gives zero reward anyway. So whatever. Where does the killer live? Also zero reward. This is all giving me nothing. Go fuck yourself. I'm not gonna do that if you don't give me any money. <laughs> what are we trying to solve? We're trying to solve a cheater case. That was a real clean one. That was so fast. <laughs> Let's go. Alrighty. Uh, I would. That's one thing I really hope happens at one point, where we do an investigation, where we find a murder before it gets reported. That would be so sick. Um. Hello there. 
your name. I'm not telling you. All right, then never mind. I have I have one murder open because I I don't close the murders right away. Uh, sometimes I don't know. I like looking at them. I like looking at the crazy storyboards that I've created. Um, like that's the main thing I I love about this game is creating the like uh, the the bulletin boards. All right, well that should be it. Easy peasy. Well, we're done now. I'm gonna close that in a sec. Did we? Can we do this? Oh yeah, we already did this one as well. This one we can close. Close case. Who's the partner? Let's go. Easiest contract ever. Okay, now what kind of... I would love to... I think the other mission that they've added is a lost and found kind of mission. But I haven't seen one of those yet. Another 100 social credits. Um, oh no, it's, it's, it's raining. I'm gonna go to Sparrow. Can you witness a murder? Yes, you can. Which makes the game really easy because you'll just be able to see what did they write on the wall by the way i should go to a sink clinic actually first i think i think there's only one let me drop this on the floor real quick i want to read the newspaper does it say anything about the corpo reaper um oh it did say put a pin in it on the wall why didn't it look like that at all the corpo reaper mr a motherfucker <laughs> The fuck? Anyone in here? Ambitious go-getter? M24 seeks ambitious partner. KI only. Social credit rating of 10 plus minimum? Ambitious go-getter. That's literally the exact same fucking... You see that at the bottom right? It's the exact same ad twice. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway. Give me this. They paid twice. And we're gonna install stuff in our brain right now. I love this city, man. The, we haven't ever been to the industrial district. Uh, I don't know what happens in there. They gotta be committing some crimes here, right? Oh, this is a laundry thingy. Hello. What's your name? I'm Ashi Live. <laughs> Ashi Live. Hello, Ashi Live. Um, but that is definitely something that I would love to see more. Like, obviously, the way this game works is that, like, the procedural generation has to feel realistic for it to, like, truly feel immersive. So if they, like, slowly improve the motives and the, like, different... I wish there was a slightly, like... Di there were different types of killers, which there are different types of killers. There's, like, the person that just, like, kills their business partners. There's... People that just randomly kill someone for no reason whatsoever. Uh, what are we doing? Retrieve, retrieve five dollars for visiting new locations. Yes, I'll do that. And then what do we upgrade? I think we want to upgrade that one. Yeah, this one. Citizens are a further 10% more likely to share information for free. That seems super useful. I can just talk to anyone. Look at that. This is like... Basically, anyone is just gonna talk to me for free now? Wait a minute, what? Can I just ask anyone's name now? Let's see, can I talk to you? Hello. Oh, this is literally the person I talked to before. Wait one second. Someone in here? No one in there. Uh, hello there. What's your name? Look at that! You can literally just talk to anyone. <laughs> what the fuck is that name? Arger Jurokwik. <laughs> The fuck, man? You guys got some strange names. All right, anyway, we've done this one. Close the case. Easy peasy. Uh, we've also completed the murder contract. Now it is time to... I have not been to Thankful yet. What are people... Oh, that's close. Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's it's six already? Time flies when you're committing crime. I mean, solving crimes? Not com I mean, I'm committing some crimes, too. <laughs> Isabel Rico behind me oh wait you you were the ones from the is this hello nora ideas dude this is op i can literally just talk to anyone and get their name that's incredible ani agnistu that's that's super useful um i should also what is in there i 
don't think I want to go in there. Uh, let me go to the... I'm getting a little lost in the sauce. Go to City Hall, which is... All the way over there, right? Merch. I just want to get more cases. So let's look if the hotel got any new cases. Uh, you have literally a single case. What is this? 200? I want a better apartment. We need to check for apartment prices. Um, we can maybe get a case in here in the Leopard store. I haven't gone to the underground... Uh, oh, well, why is this open? I haven't gone to any, like, illegal businesses yet. Demolition work, not interested. Photography skills? That's a lot of money. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this, but let's try. Hello there. Uh, Ross, hear about the job. I'm supposed to give you this. It's a photograph of our briefcase is hidden. It'll give you the information on your target. I dropped my camera. Yeah, I know. I need to buy one. I don't want to have anything to do with this. Are you the person? Wait. Okay, you're walking away. Uh, do I get a photo? Well, okay, there we go. It's in the hotel. At the entrance. All right, that should be easy. We know where the hotel is. Uh, give me one second. I can't believe the bot killed the the fucking other Twitch chatter, dude. <laughs> That's so good. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, we go over there. I mean, we can find the hotel. This building is also definitely new. I've never seen those towers at the top. Uh, I'm also stinky. Am I stinky? I'm stinky. Citizens may smell you before they see you. Take a shower. I'm stinky, dude. <laughs> I need to wash myself. Uh, briefcase right there. Okay, I need to wash. <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay, uh, what, what do we got? Do you have anything that I can actually solve here? We literally have a name! It's the Archer Guard Guard Guy! Are you kidding me? We literally just saw you at the sh on the street, man! What the hell? Okay, well, that's gonna be easy. I'm gonna throw this, uh... I'm just gonna can just hide it over here. Hello. Oh fuck. Take that. Oh shit! No, oh, I didn't mean to. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. <laughs> fuck. They're so aggressive, dude. You're literally still sitting here. Are you okay, dude? Do I need to fix you? I think I need to fix you. You know what that means? Get fixed. Run. Run! Sometimes people get stuck in their waiting animations. I'm doing you a service. I have fixed you. Okay, anyway. Yeah, see, he's broken too! <laughs> Run! Everyone wants to kill me, help! I didn't do anything wrong. Should probably put my fists down. Okay, I have fixed the city. One citizen at the time. Uh, Rouge? Rouge is the, is the passcode to the underground, uh... Remember that? To the, I guess I'll take a screenshot. To the underground, uh, weapon store. We're gonna need that later. That's nice that we found that. It's, it's rain. It's heavy. What the fuck is up there? You see that? <laughs> Are we in the simulation? What the fuck? Is that a... Is that the top of the dome? Aliens? Okay, anyway, uh, I'm ice cold. Can I please just stay in the hotel without being beat up? I really need to take a freaking shower, man. I'm also just ice, ice cold. Where the fuck is the people? Where are they? Oh, because they ran away because I started punching people. <gasps> no, you're also still sitting here. I'm gonna fix you too. There you go. He's been fixed. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna have to run away. 
What the fuck is going on, dude? Run, run, run. What am I doing? I need to go to a city directory. I'm shaking. I'm crying. Uh, I'm there. Go to Sparrow. That's gonna be it. <laughs> yeah, that's the rain circle, I think. That looks very weird. Okay. Anyway, go into the house. Can I please... Why is everyone not working right now? Why you guys close your freaking establishments at 6 p.m.? You're a freaking diner, man. We have any cool... No. Job list... Dude, dude, that's a crazy... You saw how much money? Tailing job? I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll buy from the vending machine. Here we go. I would like to get a croc monsieur or whatever. I would like to get a cola. Yes, please. Uh, and then can I use your shower? Do you have a shower? Hello. Can I, like, do something absolutely insane here? Wait, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Can I do this? Can I knock on this door? Oh, I can't. <laughs> I, would, I would love to... Can I, like, barge out of a toilet? That would be so funny. Knock someone out with the toilet door. <laughs> anyway, this place is freaking disgusting. Wait a minute! I can make this place disgusting and then take a photo so I get money. Wait a minute, I found a loophole? A loophole in the... I need a photo cam, though. Where do I buy a photo cam? At the city hall, which is somewhere. I think it's over here. I'm big brain. Doors in this game are so OP, I know. <laughs> yeah, I need to buy a photo. Coffee? Can I buy some coffee? Thank you. I'm tired. Glug, glug, glug. Okay. We have, I am getting super lost. I'm doing so many things at once. Okay, buy handcuffs. Check. Buy a photo cam. Uh, check. Well, I'll buy some lockpicks too, whatever. Uh, there. Drink the coffee. There. 900. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, throw that on the ground. I don't give a shit. And then we need to find a city directory. What the fuck? I still can't get over this <laughs> fucking name, dude. Um, okay. And then we need to get our... Abracadabra? No. Uh, what the fuck? So many A names. A H. Wait, I'm going too far. Wait, no, I'm not. Uh, excuse me. What the fuck? Am I? Am I blind? Wait. Huh? I went. I went straight past you. There you are. Uh, one oh one. I am an idiot. Okay, we go to your house, even though you were literally just on the street, so we're probably not going to find you there. Uh, who are you? Give me your name. <laughs> Wait, it's Eve! <laughs> Hi there! Have you seen anything unusual? Not that I can think of. Wait, if we can just, like, figure out... Have you seen anything unusual? Wish I could help. If someone tells me, like, if someone is suspicious, I should, uh, like, investigate that. Because we could have actually found that murder... Last time, if we just followed up on the report from that one citizen, right? So if we ask every single person if they see someone suspicious, we might get to a murder before it actually gets reported, which would, that's like my dream. Uh, anyway, we're going to 101. Um, if you, I should go through the city directory as well in case you want to see if you're in. But I, it's kind of fun to have it be a surprise. Whenever we open the... Or whenever we investigate someone, it might be you. You never know. Uh, alrighty. I am... Knock, knock on the door. No one is here. I've never found a key under the doormat. So... Wait, I have the key to this place. What the fuck? Wait, I've been here before. Oh, shit. Hello? Oh, yeah! Wait. Wait, this was where the murder happened! This was where the first murder happened, no? Wait, this was the... Yeah, there's the fucking body! Excuse me? Wait, they didn't clean up the body? What the fuck? Wait, we're trying to take a photo of the partner of the first victim? Excuse me, what's happening? They, they definitely don't go here anymore, do they? I need to... Okay, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The plot's thickening. Do we even have any information on this person? Um... You can log into their email, I guess. It's a small world. <laughs> We have your code, let's go. Yeah, we know what you look like. 
but you're probably not here we can call him maybe but then we're just gonna call ourselves right so that's not gonna work all right where do you work um work rotation that's the qa technician here you work as a shopkeeper from six to six what an insane work time holy fuck uh, all right, six to six as a shopkeeper, but where exactly? Because there's a lot of shops that doesn't really tell me much. Uh, business card? No, that's the wrong business card. I'll take your money. Why didn't I take that last time? Note, that's your code. Don't care. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, we can take a shower in their shower. <laughs> Wait, no, they don't have a shower. What the fuck? You guys are disgusting. Can I wash myself in the sink? think can i wash myself i can't even wash myself dude this is a fucking disaster <laughs> what the fuck they're working 12 hour shifts in the middle of the night also i can't why are you here why did this body not get cleaned up this all makes no sense like do you not live here anymore You're just living with your dead spouse that's fucking insane um oh wait wait, wait, wait. here we go employment contract the pharmacy there we go okay all right i was getting a little overwhelmed by the coincidences of all of this okay so we're going to this place why are we taking a photo of this person this seems just like kicking someone while they're down seems kind of insane i'm gonna drop that and pick it up so it's on my five right yeah there we go seems kind of fricked up hello uh Wait a minute, you're a doctor? What's it to you? Did you see anything suspicious? No, I'm afraid I haven't. God dang it. Hey, Among Us, what's up? Hi. Unknown citizen. Not anymore. Earned hand. I like the... I mean, I think this might just be... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. No, sorry. I'm just trying to be on top of the crime scene. Alice, Allison Craig. Have you seen anything? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, anyway, this is not going to work. Um, are they literally just walking around? Are they like homeless now? Wait, are you the person we're looking for? It's a police officer. I've never seen a police officer commit a crime, but it's got to be possible. Uh, you're running around with... What is that? What are you holding? It looked like handcuffs right there. It's a doctor living. I don't know what's happening. Uh, let's see. We need to go to the pharmacy here. Oh, they should be at work right now. At least according to the. What the fuck? Where are they? Uh, angry kittens, <laughs> angry kitties, <laughs> the shopkeeper. There you go. Is this person? Okay. Employee photo. And get their fingerprint. What a name. Fingerprint type B? Oh yeah, of course, because that was like the first person we investigated, lol. Kevin Aliskins. Alta Lina Dad. All employees 1928. Guess I'll go in here. Is someone in here? Why are you not at work? Camera in here? No. Uh, I need to get your entire. It is L. Wait, what is it called? <laughs> this is fucking name. What the hell, man? Print that. Yes, please. All right, there we go. We got every single everything connected now. Um, let's ask people if they've seen them. Maybe they're just like hanging out on the street somewhere. Like. I think that's actually what happens. When someone gets murdered, their partner just becomes homeless. Hello, do you... Have you seen anything unusual? No, sorry. Do you know this person? Uh... This person. Can't do anything with that info. Well, I mean, it's literally this person right here. Can I please, like... There. Sorry, I'm trying to... Please, talk to me. Have you... Do you know this person? There you go. I saw them today at Ashby Street around 6.40... Ashby Street? That's like a long time ago, but all right. Ashby Street. 
for finding them. I love that you can talk to people, man, like that. That's so cool. <laughs> Alright, are they still here? Hello. Do you know this person? I saw them today at Ashbury Street at around 3.30 p.m.? That's so long ago, sir. Wait. Hello? Wait, you're the- Why are you running around? Wait, you're the person I'm trying to take a photo of. Could you please stand still? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Uh... Please stand still. I got the photo. Wait, no, I didn't. Stand still! I got him. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I did it! Take the photo! Run! It wasn't me. This is fucking stupid, dude. Why is he running around? I mean, I guess it's raining. That's why he's running. Please go away. <laughs> I'm freezing, man. Can I please go to the hotel now? I really want to wash myself because I'm stinky as hell. But no one... The hotel wasn't open. Totally not suspicious. I mean, they can... I don't care that they know. Uh, here we go. Hand it in. Alright, I'm out of here. That should be it. Wait, I'm getting less stinky because I'm in the rain. My stink was worse before. Nice. Alright, easy. You smash the door in my face, you piece of garbage. Alright, solved case. We're solving cases left and right. We've been killing it. Another 100 social credit. It takes freaking forever to get the max social credit, by the way. You see how slow this is going? Holy fuck. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Um, I don't need that. Why is no one here to take my business? I'm trying to get a hotel room. I guess I could just break into one of the hotel rooms and just take a shower. Maybe that's what we're going to do. All right, I'm just going to break into this room. And then take a shower. <laughs> I fucking... What does a man have to do to take a shower in this town, man? Fucking ridiculous. Okay. Ah, fuck! No. No. No, 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 no. I just... I just... Get it out of here. Fuck. Fuck. I'm just trying to take a shower! Leave me alone! I'm taking a shower! Fuck! No, 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 no! Look at this. Look at this insane. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. I've been killed. I've been, I've been tripped. I've been tripped. Fuck me. I'm just trying to take a shower. No. Help. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've been killed. <laughs> I got stabbed, dude. <laughs> Go to your apartment? I don't have an apartment. I'm homeless and the hotel doesn't have any employees at the reception. So I can't fucking get a hotel room. So I have to break into someone's house. No, it's so expensive. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> no, my money. <laughs> you at least wash me. Yeah, they washed me, dude. I, I got a 20. I got a $2,000 shower. Let's go. Fuck me, man. All right, anyway, at least we washed ourselves. <laughs> All right, now that we have done that, very important, we can get some more cases. Wait, we should actually... I wish I could just go to fucking bed. Can I go break in someone's house and sleep in their bed? Like, what am I... What is a man supposed to do? Oh, there's more cases. Uh, any cool case? There, wait a minute. Spartan insurance. Wait, since we're getting beat up so much... This might be a really good one because I think this actually pays for your... If we get insurance, it pays for our health care. So we don't have... If we get beat up, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, wait a minute. This is important. What am I calling? Wait, is it not going to say something? Wait, do I need to... Call 857-5937. 857-5937. Five nine three seven. Why not get an apartment? Because they're all stinky. I want to get a good apartment. You're about to drop the payphone at Lippert. Okay, we got that. Uh, wait. See, they're all like super cheap and in, in the basement. I don't want a stinky apartment in a basement somewhere because they're full of cockroaches, and it's disgusting. I don't want to live there. 
You can just click on the phone number. True, true, true. Which, by the way, I think there's actually a bug with that. You can actually, like, hack someone's phone number. I, I, I forgot how exactly I did it, but I found a bug before. Maybe they fixed it. There's a bug if you click on, like, the, the phone number. I, I, I can show you in here. Okay, where are we going? Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to Leopard Grill. Sorry, I was all lost in the sauce. Uh, Leopard Grill. I, I want to try and figure out how I did that because it was actually like super useful But I know it was I did it while I was like playing by myself off stream. So I never did it in a video um, But maybe we can figure it out. Here we go. The payphone's ringing Pick up I need you to steal an important important document. It will be in a sealed red and brown envelope there is a briefcase hidden nearby. It's going to appear. Look at this. Is it? <laughs> you fucking piece of garbage. So now I can actually do this. And then I can look at numbers. Wait, identify last caller. I guess they fixed it. There was something weird. The last caller was... Wait a minute. Look at that. We know who called in this job. So if we ever need to know that. We can do something with that. I don't know if that's important for us, though. Anyway, whatever. Uh, look at the briefcase. No one is working here either. Dude, what are you, you just sitting in here while no one's, no one's running the place? Okay, we have a photo. Ah, uh, damn. We got a lot of information. Wait, we can just ask people if they recognize this person. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello. Do you know this person? Uh, this person. I saw them somewhere around Robertson Cascades. Okay. All right. That's that's good. Robertson Cascade. And we'll just ask people there if they know who I'm talking about. Is there any apartment in here, by the way? No. I'm gonna... Maybe there's not that many apartments to buy. Um, I'm not sure. Like the... We've only found stinky apartments. Is there an apartment in here? Let me quickly check. Because I want to get a good... Here, there's a lot. I guess... Like, look at... I mean, I guess these are fine. I just want to get one of the, like, more fancy ones. Because if we're going to have to move, like, several times, it's just going to be a lot of work to decorate. I literally spent, like, four hours when I did the... The YouTube series. Uh, I spent, like four to six hours decorating my fucking apartment. It was it took so much time. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that twice. I'm, I'm probably not going to take it as serious this time, though. Okay, uh, is anyone here? Can I just knock on the wind, knock on the door somewhere? Somebody is coming? What if I open your door already? Someone needs to open up. I need to ask you about a person. Yeah, you can decorate apartments. This used to be extremely bugged, but they fixed it, luckily. Please. Hello? I hear someone. They're gonna both open the door right at- You're fucking naked! You're coming to the door in your- in your underwear? Uh, have you seen- No, whoops. Do you know this person? I saw them somewhere around Robertson Cascades. Yeah, that doesn't help me. That's all you got? Uh, maybe this other person knows them? Hey, open the door. Ah, oh, whoops. Wait, wasn't there... Or was that this door? Somebody just coming to answer the door? I can't knock this... I can bash this door down. Open the... F you guys are slow. This person is opening the door. Oh, hi there. There we go. Oh, wait, it's Agso! Wait, what are you... Wait, really? It's the same guy we beat up before. <laughs> Do you know this person? None of your business. Come on, man. We're gonna... Oh my god, you don't want to talk to me. I mean, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Hello. Hello, I'm trying... Unknown sis, I can't talk to you. Fuck me, man. Hello. Can I talk to you? All right, thank you. <laughs> you know this person. <laughs> 
They are around the hotel. Uh, I'm getting freaking sent from one place to the next, man. You piece of garbage. Oh, oh, he what is happening? I'm not supposed to. What is he doing? What the fuck? No, I never had to run. I don't know how I got in your house. That was uh, it wasn't me, officer. I didn't mean to break into that house. <laughs> it still hates me. I like that they actually like kind. They don't really remember who you are, but at least to some degree. Why can't they talk to these people? Oh, here, it's you. I took a photo. You look very angry. <laughs> Do you know this person? As if I tell you, yeah, I don't think he likes me. He looks so mad, dude. All right, hello there. I would like to... Do you know this person? They were around the hotel. Okay, sure, we'll go to the hotel. I don't know why people are sending me from one... I guess they work at the hotel, maybe? Uh, but I don't know what the hell's going on. Hello. You made the freaking weirdest name of all time. I didn't do anything. It's a free, it's a free city. I can walk around here. Okay, uh, anyone here? Do footsteps going into... Let's check the basement here. Is there any criminal activity happening in the basement of this place? Uh, is this still just part of the hotel? This is the nicest looking basement I've ever seen. Um, what the hell? Is there no, what the fuck? What are you guys doing over there? This place is underwater. Excuse me. I'm stinky. Oh no, I'm getting stinky. <laughs> Matthew says it's the cola that, what are you guys fucking doing down here? I'm trying to, do you know this person? <laughs> I saw them today at the hotel around 6.30 PM. What is happening? I'm trying to... Do you know this person? Please, for the love of God, give me a clear direction. Okay, you guys are fucking useless. Why are you guys in the water here? What is happening? This is ridiculous. We're gonna have to take a shower again. Alright, anyway. Maybe I can go into one of these buildings here. Because these places are probably not lived in. And I just go into this... To this room. And take a shower. We're not gonna do it. Wait. Completely empty. See, this is what. There's not even. There's a toilet. That's it. Alright, well, fuck me, I guess. I have my. I have my slew thing. Hi. You're still sitting there. I tried to fix you. Whatever. I'll, I'll just let you be broken then. Um, can I please. What is this? Oh, this is a little... Oh, what is this? Lost item! Here we go! Screwdriver? Wait, I think I've seen this screwdriver. 30 gro- Dude, this is, why would you ever do a mission like this? You get $30 for doing this? That's fucking... What a scam, dude. <laughs> Pocket watch? I'm never gonna look for that. That shit's ridiculous. Um... Anyway. Hello, 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 hello. You, you, you. I want to talk to you. Spicy chicken. Hey. Do you know this person? It's you again. Yeah, I know them. That's Hannah Gr There we go, finally. <laughs> Loves nature. I saw them today at Market Hotel. Second floor landing. Spicy chicken coming in hot. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So we have finally have a name after all we've been through. Now we can just look up right here where they are. Anna, what is it? Anna R. Are there? They live in the hotel. I see. What were they? I guess they were working somewhere else. Okay, I'm just gonna. That's all the way at the top, dude. They're fancy. Spicy chicken once again. <laughs> they have. They were cheating before, though. <laughs> right? Wasn't that the story? A little concerning. The. This is a high place. Oh, there's literally one room up here. That's so fancy, man. Ah, uh, you got the key on your doormat. I appreciate you being an idiot. Okay, what am I doing exactly? Oh, yeah, theft. That's what I'm doing. So I'm looking for the secrets. Uh, Booker Godzilla? What the fuck? That's an insane name. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I can take a shower. Let's go. Take a shower. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Godzilla, dude. Please get rid of my stinky. Nice. All right. I have gotten rid of the stink. I hope they're not home. It could be the, uh, anywhere, as we saw before. I don't know if it can literally be in the trash, though. Someone's sleeping here. No one is home. That's amazing for me. It might be at their workplace, though. Um, turn on the lights. Doesn't really matter if no one's here. You can also read books for money, right? How does that work? Whatever. They have two bathrooms? Do you see people are... Insane. I wish I had that. Um, anything in here? It's probably going to be at their workplace then. Which I have to find. Maybe I can log in on their PC if I find code. These doors make no fucking sense. Oh, uh, excuse me? My honey bunny Hannah with all my love, Booker. Okay, that's normal. Booker Godzilla is the company director. Mr. Godzilla is your boss. That's kind of badass. You work as a QA technician. Okay. Oh, wait, you are sleeping. Wait, they're both sleeping. Why are you... What is this fucking insane situation? One of them is sleeping like this. The other is sleeping the other way around. Fuck, man. Ridiculous. You guys got too many beds. Wait, the code? Count up from three. Got it. Is this card they work at the inf de information company? Are you kidding me? What a name. Hey, there it is. Thank you. All right. I don't have to go anywhere. I'm just quickly going to break into your safe. What was it? Count up from two. Three, four. Okay. Well, I guess I need your code. I'm not even going to know. Three, seven, three, seven, four. Seven, three, seven, four. I will take that gladly. Thank you very much. Any books I can read here? Oh, yeah, they see we get six dollars for reading a book for some reason. Where do you work, by the way? You work at Daffodil Limited. Ah, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I have an insane situation. I don't know why you guys sleep like this, but that's the screenshot right there. <laughs> they don't even have the blanket on them. All right, I'm out of here. Dude, these were two insane missions. This was like the truest. This was like the perfect job. I literally uh, entered their house. They didn't even know I was there. I stole the secret envelope and I'm out. Like that was... Uh... Now we actually read it though. Destroy it, but we're actually going to read it this time. Can I read it? Inspect. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's the Paxodol thing. <laughs> Remember when I just took those pills and then I saw this? Okay. Headaches. Yeah, I see. Insomnia. Well, not for them. And I got to take a shower as well. Yeah, perfect. All right. I don't know if they're all similar to that. Amazing. I sleep like that. You sleep on... I need to have at least one of my limbs covered by a blanket or I just cannot sleep. I still can't believe these people aren't coming back. It's so fucking annoying. I have to buy an apartment just so I can sleep for one night. Wait, 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 wait. What if I sleep in their bed? Wait a minute. They had two beds, right? <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. All right, throw that out. I needed to do that, right? Yeah, I need to throw it in the sea. Uh, excuse me. Wait, it didn't count. Wait, I've done this. Excuse me. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to jump after it. Wait, it bugged out! <laughs> oh, no. You piece of garbage! I threw it in the... <laughs> I threw it in the ocean. What do you mean? No. Was that not the right item? We located it. We got money for that. Okay, so it bugged out. Feels bad, man. What a scam. Well, at least we get to go over there and sleep in their bed. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was. I mean, unless there's another document, save it. I don't have, I mean, unless there's an auto save, but I don't think there is. I should save more often. I mean, that's the first like major quest related bug we've ran into. Uh, so far it's been 
pretty much bug free, except a few like weird situations. What the hell? That door was open. You see that? Um. All right, I'm gonna sleep in your bed. Oh no, fuck! They're awake. They're awake. Wait, what if I knock them both out? What if I just like sneak in and just sleep here? I'm gonna have to save real quick. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Can I not sleep in this? Oh, here we go. Get in. I can't sleep in this bed. I can't sleep in someone else's bed. Are you kidding me? What do you mean I can't sleep in your bed? <laughs> what the hell, man? There's this other bed. Yeah, this one. This is another bed. Can I sleep in this one? Why can't I sleep in someone else's bed, man? If you save now and load back in, it should register. Okay, well, let's try that. Let's save the game and then reload to see if it fixes the quest. Uh, let's see. Load game. Start it. <clears throat> we'll see. I don't want to sleep on a bench. That's I mean, we can, but that's ridiculous. Just casually breaking someone's house to sleep. Very important business, okay? Right, let's hope this works. I am indeed homeless. But I, I, I could stay at a hotel if they just freaking, like, opened the hotel. God damn it. You can only sleep in your own bed. This is a Christian city. This is a Christian Minecraft server. You cannot sleep in someone else's bed. Okay, did it work? Did it... It did work! Thank you. Tips from Twitch chat. Let's go. Okay. Well, then I'm just gonna break out of your house real quick. Goodbye. Uh, nice job. Wait, where do we got a poster? Spot the hand in. It is uh, on the fifth floor. I'm just gonna walk down to the fifth floor. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh, this was a really lucrative contract. I don't even know... Wait. Are you still here? I already solved this murder. Why the fuck are you here? What's your name? Hello, I'm Zephyr Papadem Papademos. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Other than you bothering me? No, dude. <laughs> what the hell, man? Hello, have you seen anything unusual? Wish I could help you. See, these people are nice. All right, here you go. Hand in the case. I have done it. I have destroyed the documents. So we're probably like covering up some massive like medical conspiracy over here, which is probably not a good thing to do. But hey, we're getting paid. So who's going to stop me? It's going to be like 2,000. And we're still getting social credit for that for some reason. I guess because these people are rich as fuck. It didn't fix these people, though. Anyway. Um, I could buy a studio apartment for two and a... I mean, I, could, I guess I could get that. Since we need to sleep somewhere. Photography skills. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just buy this apartment. Here we go. Purchase an apartment in the hotel... Because I need to sleep somewhere. Uh, can I get my key? He is in here. Oh, wait. Oh, no. This is the... Pardon insurance. Medical care is now covered. Reduce medical costs from involuntary hospital visits by 50. Or legal fees are now covered. You will not lose any stolen items you may possess upon involuntary hospital visit. With a value of up to 500. That's terrible. Suffered from an accident that was not your fault. Covers medical costs and credits. 100 to your account for involuntary hospital visits. Maximum payout once per day. Wait, so if you only fall down once per day, you get money for going down? That seems huge. It is like, that's way better than having medical insurance. This is, this is America for real. <laughs> Just make someone else pay for it. Just... Sue the people that knocked you out. Wait, am I not here? Wasn't that the place I was supposed to go? No, oh, this way. Alright, this is literally my house now. I have a house in the hotel. And it's completely empty. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna have to play some basic stuff here, because 
Is there a freaking light switch behind that? Yes, I have a completely... I don't get furniture, obviously. All right, how do you... How does this work again? I forgot. Oh, edit decor. Here we go. Can I just get a fucking bed? No bed? Furnishings. Bed? Any bed? No bed. What? Chop. Bed. There we go. Vintage bed. Yes, please. I would like a very dirty... Oh, no. Thank you. Uh, What color bed do we take? We get a blue bed. Blue bed and... Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful bed preview. It's actually kind of sick looking, to be honest. Okay, we put that right there. Place it. Yes, please. Let's go. I have a bed. And now we need a shower as well. Very important. Shower. Shower, no wall. I would like a wall. No dirt, please. Color is going to be red at the bottom. And blue. At, that's actually not even bad. How do I rotate? Whoops, I fucked it up. Shower. Uh, whoops. Red. And blue. It's a nice blue. Yeah, that one. Preview. How do I rotate? Q. Alright, pl place it right above the vent so we can escape if we're... <laughs> While we're taking a shower. There we go. Look at that. We got the bare minimum. We have a no toilet though, but that's not required because I don't shit. I don't take a shit. But we will take a we will go have some sleep now. Because it is midnight. We've been up for super long. Time to finally go to bed. Uh, I would like to upgrade my apartment at some point, like getting a nicer one, because this one is kind of stinky. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight hours of sleep. Let's go. Hopefully a murder happens while we're sleeping. That would be sick. And on the front of the window. That would be... Because you can... Owl. Oh, so we can dry off. Yeah, you're right. Oh, let's go! Get up! It's the... the, the, the murder. Let's go. New murder case. All right. Well, we're going to do double murder. Um, Let's go. Wait, one second. Let me look. How long... That is actually... Wait, how... Hmm, I'm looking at the time, because that was actually... I think we can do... If we do this murder... Yeah, we should save for sure. But if we do this murder... Then the episode's gonna be real fucking long. I don't know how long the episode was so far. I think we were around two hours and... We could cut part... We should probably cut this part here. Otherwise... We're never going to stop playing it. Um, I think that's I think that's the best idea. I mean, we, we can still keep playing it, but just do it for a separate part. So every single video has a part in it. Um, all right. Well, it's just that I'm just thinking how to plan this because usually I did this off stream. So I could ha I had like perfect information. I would sometimes when I was doing this off stream, I would literally like pause the video to edit the whole video, see how long it was and then be like, all right, I can continue playing a little bit. But now I don't know how long the video is because I'm like in the middle of a live stream. Um, it doesn't change anything for you guys. I'm just figuring out how to plan this because this video wasn't even it was very short. It was like not even two hours long, which I mean, that's a long video, but not for us. Um, I think we're gonna... I think this is a good one. Um, alrighty, I'm sorry, YouTube, but we have deliberated over here on Twitch chat, and I think this is gonna be the f the perfect point to cut this one. I know I said we were gonna investigate another murder, but we're gonna do that in the next episode. This I think one murder per episode might be a good point, because then we have, like, kind of two hours every time, because otherwise we're just gonna keep playing for hours and hours and hours at the time, and then the episodes are gonna be, like, four hours long. Uh, but yeah, we've been solving the murders pretty effectively. That was two murders so far in this... So we did the first episode that was in a different city, and then the last two episodes, including this one, were in this same city where we're gonna stay for the foreseeable future. Um, and this time the bot killed someone, which was this case right here. <laughs> is it still the same name? Oh no, wait, the name disappeared. This is a thing, is it, did it get disconnected? Wait, let me see. That would be, yeah, it got disconnected. All right, an even better time to pause it for now because that means the names are gonna be added once again. Audience names turned on. How many? Uh, yeah, so 
I don't, I am, I like the Twitch integration. It's just a little buggy. Like it disconnects sometimes. And the main thing I don't like is that it like adds people in super slowly. Like it takes forever for them to be added to the city. So I have to play for like several hours in a row before the city is full of uh, Twitch chatters, which is kind of a shame. So yeah, even more of a reason to call it right here. Uh, next time we're gonna see a bunch of new unique names that we haven't seen before. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you wanna see more, let us know in the comments down below. Cause uh, if you don't wanna see more, then there's no point in us playing it, but I've been having a lot of fun and I hope you had as well. Thank you so much. Bye bye guys, have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs> Alrighty, well, um. I think if the Twitch integration disconnected, I do think that is kind of a good point to like full on. Um, pause and the third episode. Um, oh, it got disconnected because of the reload. That's a shame. Um, Cause I wanna make sure that we have enough time for the other thing as well, uh, which is gonna be Conrad. Because we, Conrad has his full release. So sorry, we're going to call it right here for this. It's literally normal start of the stream. Uh, so we're going to hop into Conrad now, which if this might be the last Conrad video ever. So you can say that you were here because we're going to be finishing all of the ghosts, releasing every single remaining ghost, and then it's over. I don't know what we're going to do after that. So, uh... You were here. I was here. Uh, let me just change the title. Or can Twitch chat... Uh, can you name the title Conrad Stevenson or Conrad or... How do we abbreviate this game? CSPPI full release? Something like that. Uh, I, I want to change the title myself, but I'm scared that... Wait, let's actually test this. Is this going to crash the screen or not? Um, let's see uh cspi full release that's fine that title was fine thank you for changing it we're just gonna leave it at that i don't want to accidentally crash the stream okay so uh, we're gonna hop into conrad uh we're gonna definitely be playing more shadows without by the way don't worry about it uh i just want to make sure that we we might even do more after we finish conrad here i just don't know how exactly it's gonna work out because this might literally take like four hours for us to finish this and i want to make sure we have enough time for it okay so that's good there's the sound all right let's go say hi youtube uh, and have a good time. Here we go. <clears throat> Call me Kippers. Thank you for the five gift subs. Alrighty. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Sebus' Paranormal PI. This might be the very last video ever on this game because right now the game has fully released and in this video we're going to release all of the remaining ghosts including the last demon as well we're going to have to do a bunch of investigations as well because we are not nearly done so it's going to probably be a really long video with a lot of different ghosts and it's going to be a ton of fun i really hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it but let's not waste any more time now let's hop into the game let's go all right here we go baby Let's do it. Okay. Um, so let's see. We need to, first of all, do some inventory. How many ghosts are still left? I think we are mostly investigating ghosts on the lighthouse. Yes. So lighthouse still has one, two, uh, three, four ghosts that are not. And I think even a fifth ghost that we haven't found at all. So there's a lot of ghosts on the lighthouse. And then I think there is one additional ghost over here. Yes, one poltergeist in evergreen. Uh, I think we'll actually start with the poltergeist. Start by releasing that poltergeist just so that one is done. And then we'll go to the Bar Harbor lighthouse. Uh, so let's do... Uh, do we need to grab something? We need to figure out how we do that again. Because uh, I forgot. Oh, did they change the background? They did change the background. Look at that. <laughs> is there any ghost here? Uh, there's a hand right there. Anyway, let's see. So we need to look up what we need to release a demon or a poltergeist. We need to use rosemary, which is the orange one. And we also need to do some investigation over here. Spirit or demonology spirit guide, I think. Poltergeist, here we go. Some investigators believe that when smudging with rosemary and reciting stanza 134 from the book of corpses, a poltergeist can open a portal returning to their place of existence. Okay, that's what we got to do. Uh, poltergeists are the only ghosts in this game that don't have any like person attached to them. Uh, they are just like presences of the house. 
So this is the last ghost on this map, and then it's purely lighthouse after this. Um, okay, we're gonna have to grab the grab the rosemary, which is this one right here. I think that's all we need. We also need to find the relic. Uh, I think this one is in the kitchen, right? This is actually the first house. Tempest, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Um, it's gonna feel so weird to finish this game, like, have completed everything. Uh, let's see. Do, do poltergeists even have a relic? I don't know if they do. Let's see. Um, do they? Any relic? Any relic on the ground? I think they do, right? But where would it be? Uh, it looked like it was some kind of this thing. Can't pick that up. Was there a relic? Does anyone know? Does anyone? Did anyone pay attention to the screen? I wasn't paying attention. So Celethi, thank you for the three gift subs. Think so. Teacup? Was it a teacup? This? Ah, we found it. Okay, it's the uh, coffee cup right here. Very dirty coffee cup. Okay, but with that. We need to find where this ghost is. I mean, it's throwing around stuff in the kitchen usually. I think I saw it right there. Excuse me. Uh, where's the fire? What? Is it not here? Is this the wrong stick? Do I have the wrong smudge? I thought it was this color. Not flaming at all. Did I get the wrong smudge? I thought it had the orange thing around it. Is this not rosemary? Does anyone know? Wait, is this not the right stick? Why doesn't it... I think it's more yellow. Okay, maybe I grabbed the wrong stick. This is mugwort, not rosemary? Wait, what? Oh, it's that one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we just full-on grabbed the wrong stick, lol. That's on me. Let's see. They're like very similar color. That's rosemary. I see. Yeah, they should just add a little name tag. Let's see. Can we find it now? Uh, please. There we go. Okay, we were just completely using the wrong smudge stick. This is rosemary. Okay. Uh, place it on the ground. Uh, from the Book of Corpses. What stanza is used to close portals? One... Three, oh, four. thou gates, who preserve the conversion of realms for thy whole, lords. Thank you for the. I know it thy name. Give me leave to commune thy gates. Oh, hi there. This game is wild. Um, no, I just need to find where the poltergeist is drawing energy from. So the poltergeists are actually like the ultimate test on if you know all the ghosts in a in a specific house. Uh, because you have to walk around and you have to find these portals that are connected to other ghosts. I think it's over here. Yes, there it is. Uh, whoops. I'm assuming this is the girl. What was her name again? Uh, there we go. It's Elizabeth Car Carter. Thy unknown, whose allowance is impermissible on this plane, must removeth thy grip thee hast stolen from Elizabeth Carter. It is yours no more. Let's go one and then I think it's one more probably in the garage. I would say it's gonna be what was his name Connor? Connor something Um, forgot his last name, but hopefully they're not gonna have multiple Connors Yeah, this one is like the the most ridiculous uh, Release ritual Close a bunch of portals. Is that here? It is not here. Never mind on red jr. They're gonna be in the basement? Where is- Or maybe in one of the bedrooms? I see it here! In the bedroom? Okay, wait, who is this gonna be? Um... Wait, this can't be... It can't be Connor, right? Why would Connor be in this bedroom? William Carter is not what I guess it has to be Connor? Because this is not a ghost I remember in- Is- Wait. Who's William Carter? Oh, William Carter is the shadow. Is it the shadow? Thy unknown, ah, whose allowance I see. Is impermissible is on that this true? Plane. Must removeth thy grip thee has stolen from William Carter. It is yours no more. I forgot their name. All right, there we go. That should be all the ghosts. Oh, thou gates, 
who preservereth the conversion of realms for thy lords. I knoweth thy name. Give me leave to suppress thy gates. Goodbye. There we go. Ooh, all right. This whole process creeps me out. Well, I guess all that matters is it's gone. I need to ensure I put this relic somewhere safe. You've done it. The whole mission has been, or the whole house has been completed. So if you were to go back here now, like after you complete this, there's literally nothing there. There's no ghost. Conrad will tell you like, why are you here? There's nothing left to do because uh, you, that's the goal of this game, which I think is super cool. The goal is to literally finish the whole thing. Have no more ghosts left, save the whole town from all the paranormal stuff that's happening. And once you've done that, the game has been completed. Obviously, I wish there was like a multiple save file option because right now it's literally like you only have one save file. If you delete that save file, you have to start from the beginning, which I feel like there should be multiple save file options, but that's just the way it is for now. All right, well, that was the first ghost. We're gonna be doing a lot of exorcisms or release rituals. They're not exorcisms. Um, I think now I wanna do a proper investigation. So that's everything, I think. We did all of these, obviously. So this whole house is done. Um, the Jefferson Street house, whole house is done. The Polk Street house is completed. Uh, and the church as well, right? We did that last episode. Yeah, look at that. The whole church all been completed. All that's left for us is to go back here. So first of all, we have these and this one, which are already maxed out. We could literally just do those release rituals. But I kind of want to focus on the new ghosts because I don't know anything about that new ghost. Let's see if there's anything in the notes about this new ghost. Um, let's see. Um, this one? Seeing? No, that's for the other one. Born at night. That's also different. Maybe it's in the wiki. Or Harbor Lighthouse. Oh, lipstick killer? Wait, here. It wasn't too, so the lipstick killer is the demon on this map, which that's going to be the, the thing, like the last thing we're going to do is exercise the demon. It wasn't too long before the authorities found male victims just outside the barn. Okay, so check outside the barn for ghosts. Then we have in total 13 teens were murdered over a three year period. Many victims were buried near the barn. I see. Aaron Lehman's defense lawyer tried an insanity plea. Part of their statement con strategy consisted of outlining the voices Aaron consistently heard. Ritualistic murders. I mur Ritual murders in cave along the coast. That's got to be for the demon. I'm guessing these are the only two notes uh, that are for the new ghost. Unless there is some kind... Oh, this is the wrong one. Unless there is some kind of information in the lighthouse. There's a few notes. One, two... What the hell? One, two, three, four, five, six notes that I don't have yet. Okay. Uh, well, I think we're going to hop in with this information and just hope... We well, maybe we could do the slave at the same time. Because uh, that's the other investigation we haven't completed yet. Let's see. Um, lighthouse. First keepers. This one. Oh, here. Admiral Ir wait, what? Admiral Irving scripted the culmination of his hatred for Douglas Murdoch on some day. Today I witnessed Douglas beat George to death. Or beat George to, as I believe, death. So George was the slave murdered. That's the other ghost we haven't investigated yet. Um anything more? Oh here. Slaves lived in houses on West Side. Okay, that's another note. And I think that's it. Unless there's... Oh, no, 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 no. We had a note for this one, I remember. We have... Did we? I'm not sure. This one? Yes. Possible sign of inhabitants. I'm I'm assuming that... That looks like the house from the, from the map. And then we have this one as well. At least one slave was a porter. Okay, so well, that is all the notes we can take. And with that, I think we have more than enough to investigate. Uh, and get at least... I mean, I don't know if we're going to go for both ghosts at the same time. But at least one of them. Let's Before see. I know it, half the ghosts will be released here at Bar Half Harbor the ghosts. House. So we're not even halfway Although is what I'm you're sure saying? This is going to take so long. Once I finish up. These legends have gone on too long to just stop. Let's see. Okay. Well, uh, so there's two places we are going to investigate, as I said. We're going to be going to check 
the barn has victims of the lipstick killer, which is the serial killer that like used to kill people here uh, a long time ago. And then we have over there, there is like places where slaves used to live uh, in like the 1800s or something in this place. Uh, so let's grab our investigation equipment. Take start with the, I mean, literally just all the basic stuff. I think we're gonna, you know what? Let's set up the camera over so the camera over in the uh this area because we have no idea what's going on here and then we can like move between these two areas to do the investigation because it's going to be behind the barn right that's what they told us uh let's see should be right here i guess i'll just place it here and just see if i get a picture i don't know if that's oh that's the <laughs> i remember that's the... Wait, what? Are you okay? Mr. Goat? That's... I, I think that means yes. Okay, let's place the dots projector as well. There we go. Alright, so this is all set up. If this... If we come back later here, it'll probably take a picture by that point. There's so many ghosts in this place, by the way. We investigated, like, three different ghosts in that building. Obviously, two different ones in the lighthouse building. One in the cave, the demon. That one was terrifying. Um, you have never gone over here, though. Let's grab these two. Because this is the area, if I can find it. There should be a little house out here where people used to sleep. See? Uh, this one? I'm lost. Uh, hello? It's so dark, man. That's it? It would? Um, I think I'm not. See that lighthouse. Is it further this way? Oh, is that it? It's almost spooky month. Literally tomorrow it's going to be spooky month. There's going to be so many games releasing. Uh, I... Oh, here it is! Okay, literally randomly stumbled upon it. Okay, so these are the houses that the people used to stay at. How do I get in here? Now, I don't... There, I think there's multiple. Um, what the fuck? Oh, that's the gift shop. Dude, it's so confusing. It's the only house? Oh, no, here we go. Yeah, this is the whole... This is, like, three different houses for people that used to stay here. Um, I'm not exactly sure. These type of investigations are really hard for me. Because I don't know where I need to look for the ghost. Like, obviously, he could be anywhere in this area. Uh... I guess we're just gonna have to look around. Let's uh, use this instead. Maybe, I mean, it would be in the building, right? I'm assuming this is a residual. So we're not gonna... We're not gonna get any EVP responses and stuff. Last time I think I got the photo in front of the building, like over here. But how the fuck are you supposed to get thermo out here seems ridiculous maybe we should just investigate the new ghost instead and like come here later when we already have evidence i think that might be the way to go this one seems really hard they they're, they're active Does any has anyone investigated this ghost yet and know where it is active like, is it in front of it, or is it at the houses itself? Um, is it, like, one specific house? I hear my... That's my footsteps. This place is still extremely intact. Um, given that it's so old. I am going over there. I don't know why you wanted me to stay if you don't have anything else to say. Um, houses? Have you actually found it? Because I have only ever gotten an auto cam photo of that ghost, which didn't even really have the ghost on it at all. Um, so I, I don't have any... And I spent like a like solid 20 minutes looking around, getting absolutely nothing. Let's just do the new ghost first. Let's see. Okay, so nothing collected yet. Behind the barn, you said, right? 
OP anywhere though. I don't I think that is my pet peeve with this game is that some of the like areas they give you like what did it say? Check outside barn for ghosts. Many victims were buried near barn. Uh but that's such a large area. Like how am I supposed to narrow that down? You found it in the houses twice? Okay, I see. I mean maybe we should start there. Because it's a ghost at least people apparently know about. And then we just let the camera take the photo here. Bet the horse did it. I mean, obviously this was related to the serial killer. Maybe I should take the... Oh. Keep getting baited by the fucking animals. You know what? I could leave this since they're both not... I don't, I don't know if this one is a... Um... I'm going to put this bind here. I don't know if this one is an intelligent, but the other one definitely isn't an intelligent. I think it's a residual. Uh, so we can take the paramic instead. Which will make it easier to get evidence. It's cool. The, so the, if you didn't hear, so this game is finished now, right? And the dev developer is going to be making another ghost hunting style game. But with a completely different like goal to make it more engage to give the player more stuff to do because that's the like the one major weakness about conrad is that it doesn't like the player doesn't have much to do like it literally all you can do is just like wait until evidence shows up and then record it Dude, i cannot fucking find this place what did you say you said in the furthest house this one Um, oh wait, oh, okay, these. The furthest house, like this one. Hello there, ghost. I hear creepy noises. Oh no, there's one more further. Last one to my left, okay. So the first one, you mean. Um, where even is the entrance to the... This one. Really? Hello? We were in here before. Um. And what happened in front of here? I'm just, let's see if we can get some audio. Hello, ghost. I wish there was some kind of way to talk to them. Like, I think that would have been... I mean, it would have obviously taken some time. But it would have been kind of cool if there was some kind of way to say something. Like, ask a question. I guess Conrad is like... Has voice acting, right? So it would be kind of weird if you were asking the question. But it would be more immersive. There's a creepy damn forest out here. Just really need... Like, the ghosts are not going to do anything until we get... Uh, evidence. Well, let's see. Um... I guess we could place the EMF pod... I don't really know what I'm looking for. That's the problem. Like, I think I think that's the problem to a certain degree. Is that you can't... It's not like Phasma where you're like, Oh, there's an item on the floor. I know that this is the ghost room. Uh, there's just no, like, indication on where a ghost is. It's all just kind of like you either know it or you're just fucked. Which can be a little annoying sometimes. Alright, please. Could you do something at all? Maybe EMF. Release. This is full release. My last... I mean, literally it came out two days ago. We played on the early access version. Well, the early full release. It's a little confusing. <laughs> Alright, come on, ghost. This, this game definitely tests your patience, that's for sure. It is a shame that it never took off as much as, like... I don't, I don't know what... I mean, I guess, obviously, they, they could have made it more flashy to make it, like, more... Uh, appeal more to the general audience. Um, but... That would have also taken away from the overall experience that the developer's trying to tell here. We have so many notes for this ghost. Why is nothing happening? 
I have no idea. Um, is there like a wiki for this game where they say... I guess it is literally go something IRL where just nothing happens most of the time. It's too oh, wait a minute. Let's go! Finally! We found it! Holy shit. No, no, no. Don't walk away. No, 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 no. That was... We've been walking around here for so long and nothing happens. Okay, so it's... I'm gonna literally stay in this position because in front of this house, something just happened, but it's now already gone. It's in the middle of all the buildings. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go. Come on. Give me something more. Let's stay in this area. Here, right? How the fuck did I lose it? Come on. Maybe some cold temps. At least we know it can be here now. Or maybe in here, it walked in this building. PI stands for private investigator, yes. Or, that's why it's... Conrad's team is this paranormal private investigator. That's what it all stands for. It's the longest game title of all time. Um, come on, man. Let's go! I'm just standing still. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Oh, come on. Wait, what the fuck? I was literally just standing in the exact same place. This is the secret area. <laughs> Finally, I found it. Alrighty. Well, I guess I'll just wait for another time. <laughs> Let's go. Creepy noises. That's someone singing or is that a wolf? I'm assuming that's just... Yeah, okay, that was just a, just a random animal. Kind of terrifying, though. I could also move chat. I mean, I guess chat's in an okay spot. I mean, let, let's just move back up here. It's slightly better. Flying. Alrighty. Come on, give me that last... The last EMF. Uh, oh, hi! Oh, hello! What the hell? How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Y you came out of nowhere. Okay, well, uh, definitely found it. All right. I actually physically saw it this time. That's the first time I've ever seen this ghost. Okay, so it's running around here. It ran this way. Yes. Okay, dude, I, I feel so accomplished right now. Hmm. See, this is why, like, the slow build of this game, when it, like, pays off, it pays off so well. Like, it feels so satisfying once you finally get some evidence. Okay, so this is, like, the... If you if you want to know where I am right now, if you want to investigate this, this ghost for yourself, I'm at, like, this plant in front of this house. Right here, between these, these trees is where I get most of my activity right now. Now, that might not be the same for you. But at least it's working for me right now. Um, but what do we have? We have cold spots. One cold spot and one EMF and a freaking photo, which is amazing. Um, although we need audio evidence as well, of course. Hello? Probably do the EMF. How many creepy noises happening out here? Sweet spot. Would I go to a scary place like this IRL? Hello? Fuck. Did I hear? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Okay. Well, I swear I heard someone. Kind of do be spooky out here. I would love to do some urban exploration. IRL. That seems really cool. Hi, right, buddy. I'm listening. I should turn up the volume as well. Turn up the... The game vo- It's gonna be real loud, though. Wait, that's my microphone. Whoops, sorry. Oh, that's not my microphone. I'm gonna turn up the game like crazy. Get ready to be blasted. Alrighty, ghost. 
Where are you at, friend? What evidence do we have? We have one EMF, one thermo, and a freaking photo. And it was like, it ran from there to this, like over here. So that's why I'm sticking to this area. Because we know the ghost can be active over here. You don't really have to worry about, like, finding the ghost necessarily in this game. Because according to the dev, the ghost will decide to be active around where you are. So if you're in the general area where the ghost can do something, it will, like, eventually show itself to you. It can sometimes just take a really long time. Macromat, thank you for the resub. 26 months. Holy shit. Um... I'm not hearing any sounds. That's my... My footsteps always sound so weird. I really want to get the thermal and the EMF before we... Um... Before we start, like, really grinding for sound evidence. Because it'll make it more common. I'm doing mighty fine macro. I am a little hungry, though. Because I haven't eaten food. But that'll be solved in a few hours. Uh, hello, buddy. I guess we could hold this out. But the way the paramic works in this game is kind of insane. It literally picks up any audio pretty much anywhere on the map. <laughs> I've had audio be picked up when I was already at the truck ready to leave from all the way on the other side of the map. So as long as you're just holding the paramic... It will pick up anything that's happening. But you need to get a bunch. So the paramic is like the best. That was a very unusual noise. What? I'll keep that as evidence. The paramic is definitely the first. If you're playing this game yourself, you should go try and buy the paramic as quick as possible. Uh, I don't know how expensive it is. Uh... Because it is so important for releasing ghosts. All right, well, we found our first sound. I mean, we already got, like, one EMF, one thermo, one EV, or one audio, one photo. So I think with that, we can just start grinding for the audio. Need to get more. The other thing is, like, yeah, the other thing is way worse. The paramic is 100 times better. Want to actually hear the voice? Oh. What did it? Did it I felt like that was kind of like a television kind of noise. Hello, ghost. I'm gonna drink some water. I'm gonna get something to happen as soon as I take a sip. That's how it works. The player's voice sound like an NPC. I think the voice acting in this game is pretty solid. Snack break. I mean, I'm fine. Portal's better job, but still a slave. Whoa, something still wow, a slave? What did it say? It said, blah, 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 blah. I'm still a slave. That's what it said. Uh, we're going to have to re-listen to those. Dude, we're going so fast. Something about a job. I see. Let's go. Let's go. We're doing well. What? This is going, going crazy. This I'll is so easy, man. Did the paramic once again. I thought we've been standing here for like two minutes and it's just spamming the audio evidence. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Paramic definitely OP. I mean, I don't know if it's in that house, but this is the place I'm staying. Maybe we need to walk into the ghost to get the last noise. And yeah, the paramic is like such a huge change. Hey, Jelly Cat, what's up? Come on. One more. I'm glad there's only four audio evidence for this one. And not like nine, like the frickin' church ghost one.
It is a residual. Oh, yeah, but it, I guess it won't make a noise when you walk into it. That's true. But we don't need to worry. I mean, maybe we need the footstep noise, though. Um. Hello, buddy. So dark, man. I'm moving away from my post. I'm not allowed to leave. Did you hear a wolf? Yeah, there's a wolf screaming. But it doesn't get picked up by the paramite because it's not a ghost noise. The paramite can filter out ghost noise from normal noise. It's a oh, it's a crazy paramite. All right, ghost one more time, please. Please show yourself. Technology, ghost technology. Sierra Rica, thank you for the eight months. All right, come on, ghost. I don't have all day. I want to finish this one off before we move on to the next one. Maybe we can get some. What the fuck is that noise, man? You hear that shit? I'm gonna quickly look for the. If there's any cold spots. I don't think so. All the ghosts like a cat. So, while we're waiting, dogs or cats? <laughs> Let's start a war in chat. Dogs, cats, or hamsters? <laughs> I have two dogs. Dogs, cats, you know what? <laughs> Both. Let's go. The diplomatic option. All of the above. The one thing with hamsters... Uh, I never had a pet, but my brother, my little brother used to have a hamster. They're just so depressing because hamsters die like in three years. Like they, two years, like after two years, they just like every day they can die. It's like too, it's too, it's too real, man. Like, I don't want to have to deal with death every other year. Oh, let's go. That was easy. <laughs> Alrighty. That's extraordinary. We were just chilling. All right. Evidence. Okay. Well. That was a really quick completion. So we don't have all the EMF or temperature, but that's fine. Uh, I didn't really hear what exactly the ghost said, but that's not going to be a problem because once we leave this mission, we can listen to it again in the uh, office and then know exactly what it said. Um, we can we can now release that ghost. Uh, I don't think this ghost is required for the for the demon. This this victim ghost is obviously connected to the demon. Uh, let's see if it took a picture. That would be amazing. If we... I'm assuming this is also going to be a residual, but who knows? Maybe it's going to be an intelligence. Let's see. Did you take a picture? Yes or no? You did not take a picture. That means I might have placed this wrong. Um, Where are you, ghost? Are you back here somewhere? Maybe further away? Where's the cave again? The cave is down here, right? So this is the the demon cave where people got murdered and i've been told to investigate here i think see got three cats and your cats are having babies what the hell so many cats like all pets when you only have a cat uh oh so there was i thought it was a ghost but it was just a camera I need to move this every time I get fucking trolled by the... By the animals walking around. Hamsters. Hamsters are extremely cute, though. My cats have won with 55%. Dude, let's go. People, cat lovers win with a vast majority. I wonder what that says about you. Where the fuck do I put this thing, man? Like, this is... Uh... I'm gonna put it over here. Pointing towards the cave, right? Oh, whoops. It means you don't go outside. That is <laughs> probably true. Right, let's place that right there. Can I use this in my hand? Dude, what the fuck? This thing's so... 
place it here. Uh, I need to pick this up. Outside do be kind of scary. Um, I mean, I've, I definitely think having like a cat or, I don't know. It's one of those things where you can learn like having responsibility by having a pet, but you can also just learn responsibility by being a person. <laughs> I was, I'm just busy, man. Like it's one of those. My parents just didn't want to deal with it. They were like, no, we don't want to deal with a dog in the house. And I totally respect that. Or a cat. Having a cat is easier. You don't do anything. You just give them food and they just take care of themselves. Parrot? I, like, I don't understand people that get animals like that. Like parrots or like turtles. Because those animals literally live as long as you do. Like, the rest of your fucking life, you're gonna have to take care of this animal. Like, I I mean, I guess maybe to some people that's the appeal. But, like... It's, it's like, it's like getting a child. <laughs> it's like... Like, it's, it's as big of a, of a choice as, like, getting a, getting a baby. And I feel like you can't really make that choice while your brain is, like, still developing. My birth just to tell my dad to shut up. What the hell? All right, I don't know if we're even in the right spot right now, but I'm just gonna stay here for. I guess we could hold out the this thing. Cats need more than food. They need love. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously. I mean, parrots are cool. Like, again, they're, they're cool animals, but they're just, like, they just get too old. Like, I know people hate, like, obviously it's really sad when your pet dies, but, like, if you die before your pet, that feels kind of strange. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. You'll, you'll be outlived by your freaking parrot. Your bird called you a bitch. Damn. Um, I need to maybe let me actually quickly look up what the dev said because I don't know where to find this this ghost uh, wait, what? There because he said something about this uh, Let's see new ghost Okay, wait, he didn't explain it? Oh, here. She is... Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm in a completely wrong area. Wait a minute. What? How would I know that this is not the right area, though? That's kind of confusing. She's all the way over here? Okay, she's in the... She's at the playground equipment. Okay, here. This is where the ghost is. Okay. Oh, we're gonna place this down and move the rest of the stuff. Um, I mean, that's what the dev said. And I'm assuming that he knows what he's talking about. I don't know why I would assume it to be there rather than be close to the ghost. Or to close to the demon. Okay, so in the... Between the forest and the playground equipment. Right here. Yes. Where? Th oh no, I'm gonna lose my shit. Where did I drop it? Uh oh. There. Nope. Oh no, I knew this would happen. I should have dropped it in a better spot. Flashlight's so weak. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alarm. Panic. Can I like uh get my air tag? Gonna make it ring? Oh, there it is. Okay, it literally dropped in the middle of nowhere, expecting me to find it again. What an idiot. Alright, place this thing. Right there. Here we go. Okay, um... So, if you get too close to the cave, that was... Then you're too far. That's what it's... That's what the dev said. So, like, between the forest, like, right here. Hello, ghost. Can't even go this far. 
This is a freaking invisible wall. Oh, I guess this is... Wait, what? Did I read it wrong? Why would she be at the playground? Wait, what does it say? Uh, between the, she's around the playground equipment. And between the woods. Wait, literally in the equipment? Wait, that's cool. Ghost investigation in the playground. I didn't even realize there was a playground, to be honest. Right, so let's point it. Okay. Let's see, let's point it this way. Luckily, I'm doing this at night, so I don't get put on the... Put on some kind of registry or whatever. Filming a playground like a weirdo. Alrighty, ghost. You be in here? Can I go down the slide? Very important question. I cannot go down the slide. Unplayable video game. Can I go into like random buildings over here? I don't think so. I'm to the... No. Cool. Yeah, look how ni nice this place is. So many different things to explore. Also overwhelming how much stuff there is. All right, Melanie, are you here? Refund. What is like a an exotic fun pet? Like I've always kind of like geckos as pets. I know they're not very exotic. Um, leopards. I don't think. Can you have a hedgehog as a pet? Is that a is that legal? Awesome. What? Okay, well, Ooh, uh, she did turn, end up being in the playground. We checked the dev. The dev uh, told me a while ago where I needed to check for this ghost. And apparently the playground is the place to be. Uh, the playground, either here or in the woods over there. Uh, but don't go too close to the cave because then you're actually going too far. Uh, what? That sounded like... <laughs> what did she say? I didn't fully hear it. Oh, they're playing at the pl Oh no! They're playing oh, they're at the playground the and then they got I'll kidnapped by the evidence. fucking killer. Uh-oh. That's kind of messed up. Cuz this is the victim of the lipstick killer. That came we were standing here for quite a while and suddenly the ghost just starts talking. Let's get closer to the coast. Oh no, what have you I'll done? <laughs> get closer to the coast, which that cave over there is where people got murdered. I see what's happening here. Okay, so that, okay. I, I was like, why would I check out the playground? But now I understand because it's part of the story of the ghost. So they were in the playground just hanging out. And then- that creep keeps looking at us. Oh Ooh, no. <laughs> that is audio oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn, I literally stood here for like so short. This is uh, kind of dark. We might have to go over there for the last sound, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh! What was that? I'm glad I captured it with her recorder. Oh! Okay, holy fuck, they gave me goosebumps. All right, well, I think we have uh, kind of figured out the story of this ghost already. But in order to make it a complete investigation, we do also have to get a, uh, a photo. Damn, that's kind of fucked up. I don't even... I'm actually going to hold the auto cam because the auto cam will automatically take a picture. Uh, so I don't, ha I don't have to do it. Damn, that is extremely dark. <laughs> I mean, it's... Uh, what were we expecting? These are the victims of a serial killer, after all. Alright, ghost. Show yourself. Damn. Rest in peace. <laughs> what were we saying about the... Iguana is also a cool pet. I was obsessed with, like, salamanders for a while. Never had one, though, but... I, whenever I, we would go on vacation, there would be salamanders, like, everywhere. I don't know why that's why that's a thing in other places, but salamanders are so common. I've never seen, like, a salamander out and about in the Netherlands. I guess that's just because it's not their, like, environment. 
Rack scorpions. Scorpions are like some of the most terrifying. Scorpions might be the most, the scariest animal that exists, in my opinion. I think scorpions are absolutely terrifying. Like just the fact that they have like this. I mean, maybe not every scorpion kills you, but just like the idea that it has like a stinger. That like is very unpredictable can move in different ways and if you get stabbed you just fucking die <laughs> like hippos are scarier yeah but i'm not gonna ever meet a hippo irl i'm not gonna like you can see the hippo you could just stand on a scorpion and die like you can't just stand on a hippo and die that's the hippos are large as hell man <laughs> you're not gonna accidentally run into one t-rex t-rex are dead All right, ghost. Are you over here? What about a stealth hippo? What's a stealth hippo? They got camouflage? Uh... Are they over... I mean, I guess I should just stick to this area. What the fuck is going on, man? It's an Aussie thing. Do... Do... Are there hippos in Australia? I mean, there's probably literally every animal lives in Australia. Chances of... I mean, I could never see a hippo unless I go somewhere else. Like, there's no hippos in the wild out here. I mean, they, they eat like watermelons with one freaking bite. They're crazy. Used to have a rat. How long do rats live? Um, Is it similar to hamsters or longer? Three years? Two days? Ten lives? What are you talking about? Two to three years? Five years? What the frick, man? This looks kind of dangerous for anyone with a PP. You're gonna fall and break your balls. They're super... They're very smart. Right? Rats and crows are smart as hell. Rats never live long in prison. Yeah, because people eat them. I mean, I don't know if that's actually true. But I'm assuming that's what you meant. I don't know if we can ever see this ghost. I mean, we got all the audio. The paramic may be... I mean, I guess the paramic is required for the game. What? Yeah? Yeah? I swear I heard someone walking here. Hello? Ravens are smart too. What the fuck? Service alligator. I don't find crocodiles or alligators scary at all. Like, yes, they could obviously kill you. I think, I think... I think I, the most, like, a scorpion is literally the embodiment of what I find scary. Something small that can, like, like a cobra or something. Something small that can kill you with, like, one bite. Like, no thank you. Like, something that you might accidentally, like, step on and then it just kills you. <laughs> yeah, if you can see it and can run away, or, like, not even run away, but just avoid getting close to them. That's, that's fine. Like, that's not very scary to me. Toxic snail? There's toxic snails? I mean, there's some scary fish out there, don't get me wrong. Like a lionfish or the other one called stonefish. Those are pretty spooky. I don't know if we're ever going to find this ghost, by the way. Lego pieces. I, I can't wait to move into my new house and just buy, like, a ton of Lego. <laughs> I've been watching so many Lego videos for a long time now, but I just have no place to put it. I want to build Lego sets, man. I, I want to become a child again. Become as child. Build Lego. I love... The, you, have you seen the King... Like, I hadn't kept up with Lego for so long. And then I... 
just randomly got some lego youtubers in my recommended the king's castle is such a cool new lego set it looks like if i had that as a child i would be freaking i would never play with anything else lego building stream it takes like hours to build a lego it's like making a puzzle where the fuck is this ghost the eiffel tower is so tall oh no i was gonna slap this this mosquito but then i slapped myself could watch a lego stream lego horror stream uh yeah this is kind of fucked man i was really hoping we just randomly get a picture with the the camera before like this could take so fucking long but it must be over here right we got so many audio in this air unless it cannot show itself here I don't know why it wouldn't be able to show itself here. Um, this is the tree. I heard the ghost on the left side. What? What do you mean? Which? Which orientation? Which way do I look? This way. I mean, I can't really go too far here. It's there's a playground hello ghost this is a pretty fancy playground to be honest this is nice towards the cave i mean maybe she got kidnapped and i need to get closer but the dev explicitly said don't get too close to the cave that's not where the ghost is We know that the cam can work while you're holding it. Maybe I should still have the other cam just in case it doesn't work for whatever reason. So I don't get screwed over. Um, Cause I don't re really need these at all. We, we even got the photo of the ghost of the other guy. What the heck man? Can you die in this game? No, you can only get knocked out. I just I just learned I was watching some YouTube videos and someone there was a YouTube video about someone going to like American hospitals and like asking how much does it cost to do an x-ray? And no one knew how much it costs. They just didn't have an answer. Like isn't that kind of insane? Like, whenever you do a procedure in the Netherlands, and if you ask for, like, a like a quote, like, they, they just give you, like, how much it's going to cost to do this. Like, most of the time, your insurance will just take care of it. But if, for some reason, your insurance won't take care of something, or you just want a quote in general, they'll give it to you. Like, how the fuck do they not know how much something costs? That doesn't make any sense. I find the most insane part of U.S. healthcare, not how, like horrendous it is to get healthcare but un is unbelievable to me how bad the healthcare in the u.s is but that for some reason you guys still pay the most out of everyone in the world on healthcare how can you pay the most on healthcare yet it is way worse than places where people pay less it just doesn't make any sense <laughs> like how can I but that's like capitalism gone wrong, dude. Capitalism prank gone wrong, gone gone terrible. Just it doesn't like, isn't that the, especially because hospitals are like privatized in the U.S., right? Or am I am, am I misinformed? I mean, I guess it's. That's the thing with hospitals being privatized that it has time and a t time and time again have it has been shown that it does not lower prices even though the hospitals really want you to think that that's the case that's why most other places don't do that um can i please get this ghost photo man what are we waiting for we need to get a ghost photo otherwise we can't exercise this ghost and if we can't exercise this ghost 
then we can't uh, do the demon. Well, release it, sorry, not exercise it. I don't know if we're... Um, where can I get the photo of Melanie? Question mark. I don't know if the dev's online. I don't think so. It could be here as well. Hospitals charge more. There's like a difference between hospitals, clinics, and like emergency or urgent care rooms or something, right? Too many different things. The insurance industry. So I learned that... Um... So there are rules in place for the insurance industry. They have to... So in the US, I mean... Mind you, I only so I only watched one YouTube video on this concept, so it might not be completely true or for all states. But there is a minimum uh, amount that the insurance companies have to pay. Like, for... They have to spend at least 85% of their budget on paying people out for their medical expenses they can't just like try and like never pay out anyone and keep all the money for themselves they have to pay 85 percent of everything they get to medical expenses but you would think i just i don't get it like i don't get how that whole situation is so fucked um it's just that the the prices of like healthcare are also going up. Like if you look at the, I mean, I should really be standing this way. If you look at like the prices, let's see, can we look this up? Average, I'm curious. Average price for staying overnight in a hospital around the world. Got GPT help me out with this. Um, average daily cost of a hospital stay by country. It's fucking insane. Look at that. 5,000 US dollars in 2015, which has been like it's been uh, a few years since then. 2015, 5,000. In Spain, it costs you 400. 400 that's a 10x man in switzerland it costs an insane amount too four and a half thousand that's crazy can i find the netherlands on this uh i'm curious that's so much money man oh i have to pay for this yeah fuck off <laughs> fuck off how much does the hospital 15 most expensive countries. Uh, cost of a hospital bed per day in the Netherlands, 700. What the fuck? That's ridiculous. I mean, I don't, I'm just literally clicking YouTube links or clicking Google links right now, so I don't know if any of them are <laughs> reputable, but I'm just clicking. I'm just, I'm doing, I'm doing my due diligence, AKA doing a Google search, <laughs> which is more than 99% of everyone nowadays does. Most people just believe whatever people tell them. All right, could you, I, I don't know if, maybe we should like go to a different area. Maybe the photo only happens over here. But like, cause we haven't heard any sound, right? Like any walking noise or something? I don't want to go too close to the... Between the trees, the dev said. Like here? Yeah, you need to know the average salary of those countries to compare it true. I mean, to be fair, people in the US on average make more money than people in the EU. Maybe not bet more than Switzerland, though. Switzerland's fucking rich as hell. Psycho is filthy rich. Fucking, it's got a butler and everything. Got a private jet. I'm just kidding, by the way. This is not true. 
got his own bunker, man, this guy. What the fuck? Where the hell is Ghost? My brother in Christ. Alright, you know what? I have a... I, I need to go to the bathroom, so I have a task for you guys. Decide what the best color is. I'll be right back. It's been decided. What's the best color? Have you guys convened? <laughs> Purple, red. All right, I see you guys have not come to a conclusion, huh? Unacceptable. Did you guys hear any footsteps of, of, uh, during all of that or what? Purple. I just don't know how to... Because obviously a lot of stuff happened here, but we've been standing here for the whole time, so it really cannot show up here, I would say. See if the dev said anything? Probably not. Oh. We set the auto cam closer to the woods by the playground, then point it towards the playground. Oh, I see. We need notes for this ghost. I thought, I thought, because we got all the sound evidence, right? Okay, so point, put it in the woods towards the playground. Like right here, according to Dev. Uh, let's see. We need to find notes for this person. I don't know where the notes are going to be. Probably in the playground itself. Let's see. Um, I have a photo cam. I don't know where. Can I climb up here? Aqua Lassie, thank you for the three. Um, on the tables here. Let's go closer to the coast. Oh, Jesus Christ, just get the fuck out of me. <laughs> well, I mean, she's still here. She's just not showing herself at all. Let's get closer to the coast. Where are you, lady? Hello? That definitely fucking got me good. Um, maybe something closer to the coast. Any note out here? Uh, there's four notes on this ghost. What the fuck? It's gotta be like missing posters on the wall, right? Because two of the notes were literally just like, like A4 paper. Like they were just like a rectangle. It's got to be like a missing poster on the wall here or something. Let's see. Or maybe on the wall of the barn or something. I would expect there to be a missing poster here. I guess not. He screams again, I'm out. That scream was pretty damn terrifying. Um... 
Near the barn and the trees. There, the note. I mean, we got all this odd. Oh, hey! Hello! Aha! Okay, so apparently we are not. We don't have enough notes for this ghost to show itself. Football homecoming. New Eidolon versus Northeast State Field. Okay, it's just a seat, a reserved seat. I'm assuming that's a note of this ghost, given it's so close to where the ghost is. Can you find multiple notes at the same time, or do I have to leave and come back for another one? I'm not entirely sure. I think... Can we find another one? We only find one note per investigation. Um... I swear it's got to be missing posters, right? Yeah, there's an animal walking here. There's no missing posters. Maybe on in the front. And let me ask, can you get multiple notes at once? Or do I have to leave? You can find all the notes. That definitely didn't used to be the case, but I guess now you can. Okay, so where are we gonna find this then? Is it like over here? At the gift shop area? Is there, can we even, we can't go in here, right? I'm just trying to find the like missing poster notes. Maybe they're at the crate playground. Um, like around here. Is it on the ground at the playground somewhere? We already did a full pass of this place and we found nothing. Uh, hello. Water fountain scared. Uh,. Like such a nice little area. I hear stuff that sounds like screams. Did the thing take a photo? I have a dream. Please take a photo. Look at the nearest trees. These? Seeing anything. Uh, you asked the nurse of mine spending a night in the hospital in Finland is 40 to 60 dollars per night. That's ridiculous. Is that after insurance? Otherwise, it's insane. Um. Well. I can't go further than this. Did you take a photo? Nope. Obviously. We're trying to find that slender eight pages. Yes. They gotta be out here somewhere. Uh. Oh, there's two notes. I see. But do every time you pick up one note, you get two. What? <laughs> I'm I'm confused. I'm learning. The dev is the dev is explaining. Where the hell is this? Turn foliage down to see the ground better. I mean, it will still show the hand icon, right? But we found one in between here, so there could be another one right around here as well. Um, what the fuck is this, man? Their public health system. I mean, most places have, well, most you know, like places in Europe have pretty good public health care. At least like the fancy places. I don't know how it is in Italy and Spain or something. Like I know in Scandinavia it's good. France, Germany. I mean, France can be a little iffy sometimes with most things, <laughs> not to be rude to the French people. I think there may have been the other note. Wait, what? What the fuck? Let's go this way. Hello. How are you not showing yourself? Good God, man. I'm just trying to take a damn picture out here. You piece of garbage. 
Check the cave. It can't be all the way out in the cave, right? Just said let's play on the swing. I mean, maybe the notes all the way. Like, why would a player ever look here if the ghost's not in this area? Like, I, I guess it's related to the... To where they got murdered. Good check it. Push me on the swing. The gun... Is the water gun a jump scare? Yep, there we go. <laughs> you piece of garbage. Ah! It's not in the cave. Okay, well... Something at the end, but yeah, it's my uh, it's my items are at the entrance of the barn. Jesus Christ, indeed. What the fuck? Uh, I have no. Not like this. The wave effects are awesome. I'm gonna take a. Aspirin. The wave sound has broken my ears. I know the, the game is loud as fuck, by the way, for you guys. The ground near the trees? I mean, there's a lot of trees in this area is the kind of the problem, right? <laughs> I don't know what trees you are referring to. Like, in this area? I haven't seen any hand on the ground. Near the playground? We check every single tree near the playground. One tree at a time. No. The map large, very large. How many damn trees here? Oh, oh, that's just the tree. You take a picture yet? I literally just need one picture, man. Main entrance. I know there's like multiple spots for th things to spawn, which can be kind of annoying. I feel like I'm going too far to the house now. Unless it literally is all the way out here. Around the outside of the playground. I feel like we already did that, but... On the... Outer wall. Uh, oh, what the hell, dude? That's so rude. <laughs> All right. Well, there it is. Goodness gracious, man. Okay. <laughs> took so long to find. <laughs> Cheer Captain Still Missing by Sally O'Connor. Melanie Peters, 17, a resident of 234 Madison Street, was reported missing over a year ago. Mel Melanie was last seen on November 10th, 1973, after the annual New Eidolon homecoming football game. She was with a group of her friends at a party celebrating the team's victory. She is uh, something feet... Uh, six, seven inches and approximately 100 to tw uh, 120 pounds. Some of her confirmed attire consisted of flowered bell bon bottoms, an olive colored shawl, and her favorite Kurt Kurduroy cabbie hat. I don't know any of these words. The continued disappearance of young teens still begrudgingly plagues the historical, his historical district. The coordination of local police and the community have surfaced some leads, but the whereabouts of all the missing teens still remains a mystery. Anyone with information regarding Melanie or other missing children is urged to immediately contact the police. Okay, so with that, apparently we have gotten all of the notes. So let's do one more check to see if the camera picked anything up because we were standing here for an extremely long time. Uh, I asked the dev what I had to do for the photo because it really didn't seem to happen. And apparently getting the photo is extremely difficult if you don't have many notes. So there's no photo right now. So we're going to have to leave this one, come back and do another investigation. 
the fuck all right well i'm definitely leaving we're gonna have to leave this one come back and then do another investigation with all the additional notes and then hopefully we'll be able to see the ghost hey native star what's up all right i mean obvious this is not even going to be a full investigation it's the most insulting part <laughs> like what the fuck it's literally going to be like 40 or something maybe less we didn't get all the emf i'm on live stream seven days to die i would love to stream seven days to die i've been playing it all the time there you go it wasn't even a full investigation because technically we didn't get the emf of the temperature whatever <laughs> it's just that seven days to die is a little too easy i need to figure out a way to balance it to make it like fun in a way where you don't have to play it for like 100 hours before it gets difficult because that's kind of the problem I'm having right now. Um, let's see. Do we have new archive? Do we have new stuff? Okay, there's still some missing notes, but let's see. Uh, we have this one, obviously. What is, uh, let's see. So that one and this one. Melanie's description matches the ghost, question mark. Melanie was last seen on this date. Uh, there's still two missing notes, though. I don't know what's with those. Uh, several deaths. That's not related. That's to Hurley. Uh, so I'm guessing... Apparently... Wait, what? I, I was playing on every night as a Blood Moon, and it was still far too easy. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I need to figure out a way to balance the game. Because <laughs> it was like... Uh, I was trying out different ways to make the game hard. But every night's a Blood Moon didn't do it. Uh, and it was also kind of annoying. Because you just had to wait a lot of the time. I, I might have to add more zombies per, per Blood Moon. Or I might have to increase my experience gain. Okay. Um... We definitely don't have all the notes, though. There's definitely one, two, three, four. These gotta be missing posters, right? What are these notes? We have already investigated every single ghost. How are we missing so many notes? I don't understand. Um, but we need a photo for this one. Yeah, we have literally investigated every ghost. How are we missing so many damn notes? I don't understand. I guess we'll just take these, but like... Unless it got bugged out. I, I don't know. There, I was told by the developer there will be four notes. But it seems like there's still one, two, three, four notes missing right now. But at least we got these two. We got this one. We got this one. And we obviously still have the stuff from the wiki as well from before. Um, which was location, Bar Harbor, Lighthouse, Lipstick Killer. We have teens, many victims near the barn, victims just outside the barn. All right, so that is four notes total on the ghost. Let's hope that's going to help us get the damn photo. Let's go. Because otherwise we're going to be here forever. Those are the notes for other ghosts. But how have I done a full investigation on every single ghost without having all the notes? Before I know it, half... I don't understand. Uh, let's see. We're just gonna grab... I guess we'll grab this. Auto cam. Photo cam. And the dots for now. Just set this up. Elip Elipso, thank you for the prime. Okay, so now hopefully it's... That's very interesting to me that the notes... That the notes are like required for you to get the ghost to show up is it gonna like show up immediately that would be so funny like before we even set up we're already gonna have the ghost photo <laughs> okay let's see so we're gonna place this right here um boom pointing towards the playground we'll drop this on the playground so i can find it uh boop I don't know if that does anything. Okay. One ghost in the Coast Guard? Wait, what? Wait, there's a Coast Guard ghost that I haven't found yet? Wait, excuse me? Also, this is not right. There we go. 
Yeah? We what? Is that new? I don't remember that ghost existing. Okay, well that explains why we're still missing notes. Okay, boom. But well, we're gonna do all of the ghosts right now, so we're definitely gonna be doing that as well. I don't need anything more. I guess I'll grab this though, whatever. Oh, Freight, thank you for the 10. Yeah. Was it always gift subs like 20% off? I th I think they added that at the like the end of the month. Because I was gifting, I was doing the redeems and I was like, oh man, this is cheap. It's September, but it wasn't like that from the beginning or at least maybe it was and I just didn't see it. I thought it was only new subs. Is that the ghost? Did you hear that? Wait, what? Excuse me? Imagine it already took a photo. No. Hello, ghost. Oh, excuse me. Ghost, ghost, ghost. What the hell? Okay, well, thank you for those 20 gift subs. Thank you. There's a ghost here. I mean, we didn't get any EMF before. No, man, and thank you for the tickets. That's, that's not what I meant when I asked if the price was. <laughs> Guys, calm down. It's okay. It's just, I was just surprised when I was doing the redeems yesterday. Because I swear it wasn't like that from the beginning. But thank you, guys. Uh, There's no ghost. I've been lied to. I need to have a camera. What the fuck am I doing? Are you here? Um, I was walking in front of this. The auto cam can take the photo so far away. Please, we need we need to have some evidence before the ghost is going to show itself. Though I guess we could do audio. Um, hey, Jularoni, what's up? Hello. Melanie, we know your name now. What the hell? Looks like a six slide. Wasn't this place off limits for the longest time, though? How were they at the plague? Wait, I don't... So, the story of the lipstick killer, right, is that the teens that got killed were, like, sneaking on to the island where they weren't supposed to be. Ripa Ruru, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. But then, was there... Why was there a playground if people weren't supposed to be here? That seems like a waste of money to, to build one. Okay, it hasn't taken a photo yet. Let's get closer to the coast. Let's get closer to the coast. Okay. Hi, ghosty. We already got all the audio evidence, voice. though. That's not I'll very useful. That evidence. Why was the murderer called the lipstick killer? Because they would... I, I, They would put some kind of, like... I don't remember why they put, put lipstick on the on the people that they killed. The game is very loud. Yeah, I know. You guys are also the game is super loud for you guys because I'm gonna make sure you hear everything. Come on, just take a damn picture. Take a damn picture. Maybe it's too far away right now. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Hello. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. No, don't walk away. What the hell? Kangbo, thank you for the gift jobs. Thank you. No. Okay, so the ghost is definitely walking past here. Um... Did we literally just... This is the first time ever that the picture has been the hardest part for me. I mean, maybe in the past it has been, but at least for the longest time. The audio has been the bottleneck and not the picture. Thank you. Um, I need you to do something. Emma says, thank you for the 10 as well. Thank you. What the heck? Like, it's almost... The price of the gift subs is, like, so cheap to the point where... 
Like, they don't even make a profit. Like, if I gift myself, if I gift subs to myself, I literally break even. <laughs> Which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> what's poggers? Can we show the chatter what's poggers? Never thought you are going to start playing 7 Days to Die. I have to be honest, I was hoping the video would do better so I could play it more. That creep keeps looking at us. The creep keeps looking at us. Hi there. That was a very Wait, so you are voice. out here as I'll well, as excuse evidence. me. So you're right at my photo camp. Please show yourself, lady. Come on. I was hoping the Seven Days to Die video would do better so I could play it more. Maybe I'll still play it a little bit, but very fun game. Personally, I like it. But obviously, I, I can also just play it for myself. It's just like... Like, I was playing it for myself, and I found this, like, insane stun baton in my first chest. I open my chest. I open a chest. I find a stun baton that's like... Wait, hello! There you are! No! No, I saw the ghost! I fucking... Why did the I need to move the autocam. I think I saw the ghost. Fuck me, dude. What the hell? This is way too far. Okay, just place it like literally. Okay, but that means the ghost like shows up for sure. Okay, place it literally right here and then we should be fine. Uh, but anyway, I found a stun baton and a turret, which I don't even know how that's possible because when I looked it up, people said you can only start finding turrets when you are like level, I don't know, 40 or something, but I found it in like my second chest. Uh, so I don't know what the fuck that was about. But with that, I mean, maybe that was not the... Because that was the round I was testing, like, what if I get a Blood Moon every day? So maybe having a robotic turret and a, like, super OP weapon from the very beginning wasn't the good test, I guess. <laughs> maybe that made the game a little easy. No, it was literally, like, I, I was level one. I start... I mean, I don't remember the exact level, but I... It was the first day that I found all that stuff. Oh, here! They took a photo! What a rare experience. Let's go! Finally! Oh my god, Melanie. You have made me lose my mind. You have no idea, YouTube, how long we've been waiting here. <laughs> so yeah, if you are having trouble finding the ghost yourself, you need to make sure that you find the notes of the ghost and then fill those in because that helped us out a lot here let's let's see what kind of photos we got incredible i captured a ghost on film uh look at that wait oh yeah there you go what the hell are you guys doing cambo thank you for the gift subs thank you <laughs> what the fuck people are going crazy calm down we're doing ghost investigation okay so melanie walking right there looks like julie from texas chainsaw massacre Walking, walking, walking. All righty. Well, finally, we got all the photos. Took us long enough. I didn't get a full investigation. I don't give a shit. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Uh, apparently, I just learned this. There is another ghost that I haven't ever found. There's a Coast Guard ghost. I I don't know what notes I need. I, I guess I could check the wiki uh, if there is additional notes on that one because I've never, never investigated that one before. But maybe we should do some... Uh, some ex extra or release rituals before we uh like do the last investigation because otherwise we're just gonna like do a hundred rich release rituals in a row once we reach that point ah right, finally we got a picture 26 experience i don't give a heck uh we'll see let's see if we can figure out about this ghost uh let's see coast guard Wiki. Coast Guard? There's no there's no Coast Guard ghosts, right? There's no notes here at least. Wait, what? Is there a Coast Guard ghost? People are saying there is. I'm asking the dev. We're getting it straight from the horse's mouth. Did you just lie to me? Did you lie to me like you're playing Shadows of Doubt? Why, if there's a Coast Guard ghost, is there no notes in the Coast Guard section of the of the wiki? That is kind of confusing to me. Selen, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. 
Um, do I have to look somewhere else? Do I have to look in the email? Lighthouse? There's no notes here either. The, the dev is responding. We're getting the answer. Why is there a Coast Guard wiki? Oh, wait, it is. There is one. What notes, though? What notes? I can't find anything on the wiki. In the Coast Guard barracks? Where the fuck is that? I don't think I've ever found that. You could do an investigation and look for notes at the same time. Let's see. Is there any first keepers? This is like that stuff. Thank you, Nemesis, for the kisses. What the fuck? Um, sea spirits? No, that's the other thing. What the hell? Oh, wait, huh? Wait, there's a new location we've never investigated? All right, it's, I don't, we, we are looking in the wiki. There's nothing on the Coast Guards, but I just asked the dev and apparently there is a Coast Guard ghost. So we're gonna have to investigate that one. But before we do that, I think we should first uh, finish off the Melanie ghost right here because we are now so involved in that one. So let's listen to the audio. I think we already know what it says, but let's uh, hear it directly. You have all these damn ghosts. Oh, wait. Also, we haven't listened to George's sound before. Wait, 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 wait. This is the slave ghost? We couldn't really hear what it said. What? What are you saying? Is this like a song? Like some kind of... I have genuinely I think I think they're singing while working. I think that's what's going on. Otherwise I don't know what the fuck they're saying. Wife and the kids still in the fields. Wife and the kids still in the fields. Something one of the kids is still in the fields? Wife and the kids still in the fields. What if it wasn't for the kids? Why are the kids? Wife and the kids still in the fields. Wife and the kids still in the fields, yes. Wife and the kids still in the fields. Okay, wife and the kids still in the fields. This is another song, I think. I don't... That is like... A complete, I cannot hear what that says. I mean, I can play it again. I don't know, man. <laughs> Portal's better job, but still a slave. Oh, is this like something job, something slave? Portal's better job, but still a slave. Portal's better job, but still a slave. What? Portal's better job, but still a slave. Something better job. Oh, Porter is a better job, but still a slave, which relates to this, uh, that they're a porter. At least one slave was a porter. Okay, I don't know what a porter is. What is a porter? Okay, so let's, before we go continue with Melanie, because we can only do one release ritual at the same time, let's do the slave release ritual. We know that their name is George. We know that they, uh... That their relic is this like uh shackle thing uh yeah this shackle thing so we can literally just head in here and try to find the shackle um yeah i don't know how you guys are hearing this so clearly i am like struggling um it's manual labor Before carrying stuff okay so it's crazy how many ghosts there are on this map oh uh, if there is um like, if there's still another ghost that I haven't investigated. What smudge do we need? Uh, I don't remember that. Oopsie daisy. I think this one is for poltergeist. We know that. This one. This one. Oh, no. I don't know which one. <laughs> Does anyone remember? Oh, fuck. One of these. I mean, I guess we could just use all of them. <laughs> and then figure it out that way. 
I mean, it's definitely not this one. Is it Merkward? This one? I don't know. Whatever. We'll be fine. Uh, let's go to the... I'm assuming it's at the house somewhere. Uh, damn confusing area. Let's see. Is the... I don't know which one. Where's the relic gotta be? It's gotta be in one of these houses. I hope so. Otherwise, it's gonna be somewhere in the forest. We'll see which one it is. We can try them all, right? Uh, let's see. George, hello. Maybe it's where George got murdered? Because George got murdered in... I don't know where exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Kangbo, man. Uh, what the fuck? It's just forest. And the shrubbery. This building? Uh, where's the damn relic, man? Oh, no, it's not in the... It's not in the houses. That's the last house. Oh, it's in the... where Douglas lived? Maybe? Over there. This place is massive. I wish you would run a little bit faster. Like, I wish this was the walking speed and you could still run beyond this. But this is the running speed. Dev is in chat. Dev is in chat. Let's go. Thank you. Over here. Uh... This is the Let's see somewhere around here. Maybe I didn't check the cabins properly. Relic, relic, relic. Relic. Is that at the toilet? Um in the toilet? Nope. Or in here? Like in the building itself? The museum, maybe? Okay, maybe I missed it in the... I must have missed it in the cabins. Oh, wait. It's right here in the grass. I don't see anything. This is where the whip was, right? I, I think it must be in the cabins. I just missed it. Wait, it, it will be... Yeah, it will be right here. I think I missed it in the in the slave cabins cuz i don't see nothing don't see nothing oh there's four cabins okay wait i only checked three cabins i didn't know there were four cabins <laughs> that explains why we didn't find it i don't know which of the smudges is for residual I, it would be nice if it like like, if you select an item, it would, like, pop up the item of the... Or the item name. Because, like, it's kind of annoying having to, like, memorize everything. Memorize the different smudges. The red one. This one? Alright. The fourth one. Okay, thank you. See, where the fuck is this thing? Let's just check them all again. Um, gonna be... I didn't check to the right of this one. Aha, there's another one. I don't think I checked this one. Hello! Uh, the ghost... Jesus Christ! <laughs> the ghost just ran by! Uh, at least we know the ghost is still hanging around. We can't find the damn relic, though. <laughs> Maybe in this one? There it is! Okay, nice. Right, we found it now i think it's this much but i'm not exactly sure that's why i brought all of them um where would the ritual start uh in here let's go all right we have the right smudge there we go hello ghost i'm gonna follow you george literally did nothing wrong um hi there he has a, had a child and wife as well. 
I'm trying to communicate with George. I'd like to acknowledge George's presence. Of the rituals, man. Like, it's just so... The completionist aspect of the game is so satisfying. Where are you going? Buddy? What is the spirit's attachment? Shackle? Seeing this shackle gives me chills to think about how you were treated. I can't imagine how I would deal with such adversity. You must have been a very strong person. Let's go, Conrad. He's gonna go back, right? I'm, I'm, I'm ahead of you. I'm gonna m be here first. Uh, what was the spirit's grief upon death? Uh, dissatisfaction, I guess? Not remorse, they did nothing. Optimism, why would that be grief? Acceptance, why would that be grief? It has to be dissatisfaction, right? I know you yes. had a family, and they are always on your mind. It is time to leave this place, a free man. I'm trying to talk to this ghost. Let go of these memories and be free with your family. Here we go. Toot toot. Hello. He's tired still. Oh, you're literally staring at me. That's kind of terrifying. Goodbye, George. Time to be free. That is very bright. All righty. Well, there you go. I need to take this relic with me. Um. Because we're going to put that in the museum. So, yeah. Let's see if we... Before we leave... Um, we should check... I should I, make sure this relic is it. on me when we I We should leave. check where the Coast Guard uh, quarters are. Because I have actually no idea where that is. Is that this thing? Is that this building right here? Because I've never really opened any of these buildings. Because I just... Maybe? I just assumed that they were closed. It is this building. Okay, so this is the Coast Guard. Can we find notes in here? There's a note in here. Look at that. <laughs> this item is a valuable piece of information that will be added to the archival database. So we have Mary Walsh. Walsh. 42. Any more notes? This is cool. I had no idea there was a ghost here. There's like no indication of... There's another note. My dearest Mary. It's hard to believe we have been married six months already. Time has passed so quickly. I know this is not what we had in mind, living married life, but this war will be over before we know it. We have won every battle we've been engaged in, and I am certain this war will be over within a year. Then we can settle down in our little house with our kids playing in the yard. I know I will see you soon. I love you, Mary Walsh. Pat. Patrick? Okay, is there, there's, we're still four notes missing. I don't know if they're all related to this ghost, but I think that's all the notes we can find right here. And usually when you pick up one note, it shows up as multiple notes in the, in the, in the archive. But yeah, there we go. We're definitely going to come back here. First of all, I want to obviously finish this one and then do Melanie, because I want to see what Conrad has to say to Melanie. Recruitment posters, maybe? It's gonna be 75 easy peasy. George. <laughs> Literally just George. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. 75. 75 experience. I mean, I don't need the experience anymore at all because I got all the items, but if you had to buy all the items, you need to save up a lot because some of the items are extremely expensive. Okay, so that's another ghost released. Um... We have one, two, three, four, five ghosts released. One, two, three, four, five ghosts left. So we're like halfway through. Uh, let's do Melanie now, right? So we haven't listened to her audio. Get ready for the sad audio. Because uh, it is kind of disturbing. Um, or Harbor Lighthouse. Cheer, Captain. <laughs> That's the first, that's the first audio recording, excuse me. I thought that was going to be the last one. All right, well, we're starting with the, with that part. That creep keeps looking at us. The creep keeps looking at us. Let's go closer to the coast. Let's get closer to the coast. Seeing here is awesome. Seeing here is awesome. Swinging here is awesome? Am I hearing that correctly? Push me on the swing. Push me on the swing. Push me on the swing. 
Which, the scenery here is awesome. Okay, the scenery here is awesome. Is that what they said? Scenery here is awesome. Or senior year or something. I think the scenery here is awesome. Okay, so they... This is like the beginning. Push me on the swing. Push me on the swing. There's just the scenery here is awesome. Uh, let's go to the coast. The creep. Why is the creep looking at us? And then they get murdered. So yeah, it's in the awesome reverse chronological order. So yeah, I feel like we probably know what happened to this ghost. So let's go <laughs> do the investigation or do the release ritual. Here we go. Candy or Laurel. Ripperoni. Give you senior year. I'm fairly confident yes. I've released more than half the ghost at Bar nice. Harbor Lighthouse. I just hope my endeavor doesn't release the lore and legends that have been brewing here for the last couple centuries. I mean, you're helping out the ghost. Okay, so this should also be a residual, which means it should be the same exact one. Uh, but let's just grab the other two just in case. Now, I'm assuming the whatever relic we're looking for is going to be at the... Uh, the playground here. Oh, that's the freaking pig. Or maybe in the cave. Either cave or playground, I would say. What did we look? What was the relic? I wasn't even really paying attention to it. It was a shoe, right? It was a shoe. Uh, any shoes? If it's gonna be like their notes, it's gonna be so hard to find. They lost a shoe when they got kidnapped, probably. So it's gonna be somewhere along the way towards the cave. I would think so. So not in here, but like this direction. Um, it's Jesus with a gun. How are you doing? What a name. Gotta be... In here, right? Maybe. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause didn't they say that the the only thing that was left of the victims was like a pile of clothes sometimes? So then it would make a lot of sense that we're gonna find the shoe in the cave here, but I might be wrong. Um okay. Spooky ass cave. Any shoe? Demon's gonna kill me. Yeah, you can't get attacked by a demon. Okay, I'm not seeing any shoes, so I guess I'm wrong. That's a weird looking stone. Okay, well, never mind then. No shoe here. Where the fuck could it be? Personally, not a fan of multiplayer games. I don't really play multiplayer much myself either. By the tree, yeah. I mean, I just checked this because this would make sense based on the lore of the of the killing. Well, were the clothes in the cave or were they outside of the cave? I'm not entirely sure. Not over here. They gotta be in the tree somewhere, right? back of the cave? I didn't see it. Um, any shoe? Can I have my paranormal shoe detector, please? Should have maybe taken my, uh, EMF so it could have gone beep 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 when I got close to it. Do I play Dark Souls? I haven't played Dark Souls in a while. I wanted to play it all the time, but just have held off on it for now so I can do, like, a return video at one point. They are amazing video games. Okay, I don't know what the fuck. Uh, are there maybe like in between here? There's just, I don't know the logic of like looking for these items. Because like sometimes it's in a place where the ghost is, sometimes it's in the place where they died. And because there's multiple spawns, it means that there's also no like consistency i'm not entirely sure the back of the barn like in the, why would it be in the barn though they didn't go into the barn um gotta be somewhere 
Outside, not inside. I mean, I already checked this, right? Oh, wait, what the hell? This is the dagger of the demon. Okay, well, we found that, but you actually cannot exercise the go the demon yet before you have uh, completed the connected ghost, which in this case, the connected ghost is Melanie. So we need to do Melanie before we can do that one. <laughs> we can just find her dang shoe. What the hell? Yeah, it's been fun to see Conrad, Steve, uh, like this game develop over time. And it actually, like, come out completely in a state that feels like, yeah, this is... Oh, wait! I thought there was a heel. Okay, there we go. It's literally just a uh, <laughs> destroyed shoe somewhere. All right. Well, there we go. We got the shoe. Uh, I'm assuming it's just going to be here then or on the playground, maybe. Is it here? Melanie, it's time to set you free. Where are you at? Because this is where we saw you, right? Random shoe. Fine. This was where we found the shoe, right? Not here. Be closer to the coast. Let's get closer to the coast. She could have spawned in the cave. Dang. That's where I checked first. What the fuck? Gotta be on the playground. I thought it was gonna be like a some kind of nice fancy shoe. The middle here. Uh, well, wherever you are, you're being real sneaky. It is exactly what a shoe was. What we want. Found it here though, right? Oh, was it one of the trees? I thought it was right there. This one? This one? Ah. Uh, I, I don't remember where the shoe was. It was one of these trees. Wrong smudge? Isn't it the second smudge? This is also a residual, right? It's the same as George? Unless it's a different smudge. Wasn't this where I found it? Right here? Unless it was here. Um, It's burning out! No! I think I have to re-go. I think I have to... Leave and come back because my smudge is almost out. Well, it is the red one. Oh, my smudge is burning out. Where the fuck is it? Oh, here it is! Okay, later. I don't know why it took me so long to find it. Okay, we gotta go fast because the smudge's about to burn out. There we go. Where you going, Melanie? Spinning in circles. I wonder what Conrad's gonna say. He's gonna be like, I'm sorry you got killed by a serial killer. Must suck. Uh, Melanie Peters. I would like to acknowledge Melanie Peters' presence. Fine. I'm glad there's no one here to see what kind of insane shit I'm getting up to. Uh, where- Are you going all the way into the cave? <laughs> Alright. Oh no, in front of the cave. Is that where she died? Flying like a... She's a, she's a flying ghost now. Uh, the spirit is a shoe. I found the shoe. It's like the ones you were wearing the night you came here. So I thought maybe you were missing one. Do you think this shoe is yours? This your shoe? Do you want it back? Must make me send it to the demon realm. Going back, right? Yeah, there you go. Hello there. What was the grief? Um, terror, terror, enthralled? No, disgust. Ah, uh, peaceful? No, terror. I'm sure this has been difficult to process, but you were murdered by Aaron Lehman, also known as the Lipstick Killer in November of 1973. I'd like you to know that Aaron was caught and paid the ultimate price for his crimes many years ago. Your parents sadly found out about your fate shortly after Aaron was apprehended. They have passed on and you should leave these memories to be with them. What? Uh, 
<laughs> Look at the bees. Uh, goodbye. Green shot. Oh, feels bad, man. Goodbye, Melanie. Move on to the next life. It's kind of like bittersweet every time you release a ghost because it's like something she's piecing out. Uh, because the stories can be quite sad. I mean, obviously, this is like I should double check. I oh, have the relic. Oops, I need to I pick leave. up the relic. Um, because it's like I mean, these these people. It's not as sad, like as as fucked up as the story is. Like they got killed by a serial killer. At least it wasn't like a whole lifetime of sadness leading up to a death, like George or. Like some of the other ghosts, like the the grandpa ghost on one of the maps had lost their like significant other and just like slowly died of depression. Like <laughs> those are more sad to me because they are like over a longer period. Whereas this one, they were just living a normal life and then one day they get murdered, which obviously is still very dark and sad, but at least not um, not as like it didn't wasn't as much suffering. Chair Captain Melanie. There we go. All right. So we still have two ghosts that we should. I think I want to like release the two ghosts before we do the uh, the final investigation here. There's going to be a lot of ghosts in this video because there's still uh, this ghost as well as the poltergeist in that same house. Now, this ghost is actually it's very unique because. Um, we did an investigation on this one, but I never uploaded that to YouTube because it was like, right, it was like a week before the Phasmo update and I got so lost in the sauce with the Phasmo update that I never got to upload this video. So that means we're going to have to really recheck our notes because I don't remember anything. Um, this was the per- I actually, no, I do remember something. This was the person, um, that was, it was one of the Novak people, uh, Renee Novak, I think. And they were the ones who started the tours, the guided tours around the lighthouse area uh, and showing people all the spooky areas. Uh, and let's see what they got to say about that in the uh, the tour guide, right? The tour guide, here we go. Take a look around. Take a look around. My home is you. My home is your home. By the stable master? By the stable master. Try the stable master. People see a lot of shadows over there. People see a lot of shadows over there. People say blah 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 blah. People see a lot of shadows over there. What the fuck? People see a lot of shadows over there. How what does it say? People say see a lot of shadows moving? People see a lot of shadows over there. People see a lot of shadows over there. How the fuck are you guys doing this? I'm not hearing anything. It, like, as soon as I get, as soon as you guys say what it is, I can like deconstruct it. But what the hell? Okay, so those are the, those are the audio lines. So yeah, I don't think there was anything sad going on with this ghost. I think they literally just, uh, I think they're called Renee Novak, uh, and they literally just um, were doing tour guides and they got connected to the house by like doing the tour guides year after year after year. So let's go back and release that one. I think so. Is it gonna say something different now? I'm fairly confident I've released- Still the same. Okay, so that should be another residual ghost, which means this, uh, this one right here. Uh, and I'm assuming I, oh yeah, I remember this ghost. So it was, it was one of the ladies, the Novak lady, and their hat was at the campfire because this was their favorite place. I remember this was such a hard investigation because they were both upstairs and downstairs and it took us a really long time to get anything. All right, well, hello, Rene, how are you doing? Uh, is it right here? It should be in front of the, maybe behind the couch here. What? I would assume it's over here. No? Is this not the right one? Was this not a, was this an intelligence? What? Oh, it's in a room. So confused. Like, that feels inconsistent to me. Like, why is this one in a room and the other one? I mean, it's fine. Okay, so not this room. It's gonna be this room. In the bedroom. Yes, okay. In the bedroom instead. Uh, place the, the hat. Hello there. This is might be the, the only ghost where 
Like, it's kind of confusing. I mean, that's what a residual is, right? A residual is just strong memories staying behind after someone passes away. It's not necessarily because they were, like, really... They were murdered or they were really hurt or something. Rene Novak. I would like to acknowledge Rene Novak's presence. Uh, this is her favorite spot on the Citadel. What was the spirit? It's a hat. I found your hat. It is beautiful. I can imagine how impressed your guests were with you when they would tour your home and hear about all the chilling tales. Kind of uh, funny that she told people about all the ghost stories and then she herself became a ghost that was also going to haunt the place. We went full circle on that one. Uh, what was the spirit's grief upon death? Nostalgia. Because there's no sadness here. It is wonderful that you were able to live into your golden years. Although I think your nostalgia has enabled you to wear out your welcome, <laughs> you absolutely have left a historic mark on this place. There is no need to persist here. Please be with your family. Your story will be told here for generations. Let's go. Goodbye. There she is. I can't barely see you. Oh, yeah. What? What did I thought the hat? I remember it looks like. Looks kind of like they got a shoe on their head. Goodbye, Renee. It's the only ghost that's not sad. It's just like they just decided to chill. They decided to chill and stay around in the... No, obviously it's this hat right here. I should double check um, I have the relic before I leave. They, they literally just decided to stick around. And that's all. There's no sadness, no nothing, just some nostalgia. Uh, so yeah, well, that Perhaps was a I really quick one. I should try and get one. some evidence before I wrap up. What? I've done... Huh? I it's really just... need to get some sleep. Okay, Conrad, you really need to get some <laughs> sleep, I guess. <laughs> oh, is it, it's because we already did that one. Is that why? <laughs> oh, that's why. So, that, that was my question. You can't re... So, you can re-release a ghost, but you don't obviously get a uh, reward uh, another time. So yeah, there we go. We didn't get experience that one because we already released her in the past. Alrighty, well now it's poltergeist time. Uh, right, there's one more ghost here. Let's see? Okay, look at that. So now you're released too. And then all that's left for us is poltergeist, new ghost, and you. Yeah, I mean, that's why Conrad says he needs some sleep. <laughs> I'm fairly... Yes, okay. So for Poltergeist, it was this one, right? I think so. The Relic is a book. Yeah, I mean, Poltergeist are just angry. I think the book has got to be over here. Yeah, there it is. Hello. Okay. So this is the last Poltergeist. Uh, Poltergeist have like this really weird ritual. I mean, we did it at the very beginning. Uh, from the book of, from the book of corpses what stanza is used to close portals one three four O thou gates who preserveth the conversion of realms for thy lords i knoweth thy name give me leave to commune thy gates and then a freaking portal opens <laughs> now i just need to find where the poltergeist is drawing energy from this is renee renee nova thy unknown whose allowance is impermissible on this plane, must removeth thy grip thee hast stolen from Rene Novak. It is yours no more. Let's go. And then I remember there was one up here as well, I think. One of the kids. No? Or it's going to be Deirdre. Probably. Yeah, there you go. Deirdre Hurley. Thy unknown, whose allowance is impermissible the on this plane, must removeth thy grip thee hast stolen from Deidre Hurley. It is yours no more. And that's it. I remember last time we spent like another five minutes looking around the map for another one, even though it was already done. O thou gates, who preservereth the conversion of realms for thy lords, I knoweth thy name. Give me leave to suppress thy gates. Let's go, alrighty. It so creeps me out. Every time I send a poltergeist back to wherever it came from. I should make sure this relic is on me when I leave. Uh, this 
I mean, there's only three ghosts left after this in the entire game. Perhaps I should try and get some evidence. No, I'm done, Conrad. Believe me, we just did. We literally got rid of an entire poltergeist. It's fine. I mean, this makes sense that you can't, like, farm. Imagine you could. You could just release a ghost over and over and over again to get infinite experience. That would be really silly. All right. Well, I just wanted to make sure that that was also included in the YouTube video. Uh, because last time I couldn't upload that video because it was right around uh, Phasmo update release. Okay. So now, with that being done, we are basically almost done. Uh, we should... I'm going to leave the demon as last. Let's see these notes that we picked up in the Coast Guard house, right? We picked up uh, two notes. Archives, lighthouse. So there is still... An, oh, no. Wait. I have everything. Look at that. We got all the notes in the uh, in this map. What's this? Uh, the White House. We haven't seen this one. Dear Mrs. Mary Walsh, I have been informed of the death of your husband, Lieutenant Patrick Walsh. And write to you with great sadness. Our country shares your loss and our fellow citizens with their deepest sympathies will forever honor your husband's selfless sacrifice. We pray that your husband's braver or what bravery and courage has so heartbreakingly that has so heartbreakingly earned him eternal respect will provide comfort for you in the days ahead. For all citizens share your loss and your sorrows, Mrs. Roosevelt. And I want you to know that you and your family are in our thoughts and our prayers. Feels bad, man. Then we had this one. We already read this one where they wanted to be together. I guess that didn't end up turning out or turning out that way. Then we had this note. And then what's this last note? Uh, oh, this one. Look at this. Obituaries Mary Walsh. October 8, 1922. May. Th wait, so they became 59? Math. Uh, New Eidolon, Mayor, age 59. Literally, this is right there. Of four, or Fourth Street, died peacefully in her sleep at home on October... On Thursday, May 13. Mary was born in New Eidolon in October of 1922. The daughter of Lillian and Raymond Holt. Mary enlisted with the Coast Guard when she was 19. The country entered the Second Great War, and she strongly felt it was her duty to serve regardless of being newly wed. Mary was very proud of her distinguished Coast Guard career as a telegraph and radio operator. Patrick Walsh, her husband, served in the Navy and was mortally wounded in 1942. As a polio survivor, losing her husband and being the sole woman with her Coast Guard, within her Coast Guard sector, Mary gracefully displayed her resilience throughout her life. Uh, she was also very kind and caring. Mary would regularly volunteer her volunteer her time at the local children's hospital doing her best to cheer up the kids she was a member of saint joseph cathedral surviving mrs welsh is her brother richard holt funeral services will be held at 10 a.m on monday 17 1981 at saint joseph cathedral burial will be at saint joseph cemetery flowers and condolences may be delivered to saint joseph cathedral all righty with that I think that's all of the notes. Mary lost her husband while on duty. Mary was newlywed while here. Mary worked here, worked here in 1942. What would keep Mary here? Probably the husband dying. Uh, we're going to find out. Uh, let's see if Conrad's going to say anything new. He's going to be like, we're almost done here. Uh. I'm fairly oh, confident. Nope, not yet. Alrighty, so it's gonna be that building over there, right? Let's uh, grab our stuff. Obviously, I don't need that one. This one is fun, but it just doesn't really help with getting a complete investigation, which is what we're mostly interested in. Uh, this might be an intel. Uh, it's probably gonna be a residual ghost, but it could be. Could be uh, an intelligent, maybe a shadow or something. I'm assuming you're just gonna be in here, right? This is where they worked on the radio. Uh, I'm going to place the camera like right in the corner there. Uh, let's see. Let's just grab all the rest of our stuff. Feels bad, man. Uh, excuse me. That must be uh, just a regular cold spot. Like the tier one parabolic microphone. Definitely. Ghost problems help call this number. Anyone actually tried calling that number? You get the dev on the line. Of that. 
That's all we need. Guess maybe we'll need to talk to the ghost. Who knows? So I feel. I mean, there's not that many intelligent ghosts in the game. All right, let's see. I mean, it might be outside as well. Uh, but I'm assuming they're all in here. Let's set up this thing in the middle. This is actually gonna be like a super easy investigation if it's in this small house here. Because usually the investigations are hard because finding the ghost is like a, a real struggle. Are you sitting on the toilet, lady? Uh, or maybe behind here? What? Is this still giving EMF? How is this still on? Excuse me. That doesn't make any sense. I can't go behind here. Alright, there's lots of EMF around here. All this stuff is fake. Uh. Excuse me? Ghost? Nothing paranormal oh. about these EMF readings. What? What? What is it then? Excuse me. Is it the power outlet? <laughs> Why would there be EMF-5 over there? What the heck? Quick for temperature. I think this is probably just the door here. Looks like just a cold spot. All right, Nothing maybe there's normal. no ghost here. The light switch. Turn on the light. Uh, if I close this, is the temperature gonna go up in here? No, that doesn't change anything. Alrighty, ghost. Ever seen this game? Welcome. Uh, I don't know if the ghost is here. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be here. This is where we found the notes. I guess it could be around the side of the building. Hello? Maybe in the toilet? This is a weird fridge setup. Gamma fridge. Wait, so it did... Hello? Okay, uh, hi. I don't think I got that, but we definitely heard that. Something something mission? Okay, so the ghost is definitely, definitely here. Uh, why is there no EMF, though? No EMF, no thermo? That actually scared the shit out of me. I was not expecting that. Yeah, look, it is colder. It is warmer now when I close the door. Interesting. Begin transmission something. Oh, Detecting an anomaly. Detecting an anomaly? Okay, I I guess there's no... I guess we're not gonna even focus on getting the evidence or the EMF. We're just gonna have the paramite because this ghost keeps talking to us and I keep missing it, goddammit. <laughs> uh... Talk to me. Are you back there? The ghost gonna show up. It's strange how the ghosts are so much more active now. Previously, you had to basically find all the evidence before the ghost would even decide to talk to you a single time. Detecting an anomaly, they're doing observation duty over here. Come on, ghost. Say that again. Uh, I think... I wish I could go over there. Like Terraria. Terraria is, in my opinion, the best game ever made. So, oh, I would say yes, I enjoy Terraria. <laughs> if you would put me on a... Like, a, an island in the middle of the ocean, and you would give me a single game that I could play for the rest of my life, it would be Terraria. That game never gets boring. It is... There's so many things to do. Uh, ghosty Pants. I mean, I don't play it all the time, but... Here's like infinite content. Please, I still want to do a playthrough at one point. I mean, October is not the... October is going to be full of horror games. With or without mods. I haven't played mo mostly without mods. Ooh, get out of here. Uh, all right. Well, you were talking a moment ago and now suddenly you're all quiet. Why is that? Because I've pulled out my pair mic. What the hell? Maybe I should turn off the lights, I guess. They're putting in new boss music. Let's go. And am I going to play Outer Wilds DLC? I still need to play that. Yeah, I don't know. I think... I mean, I haven't... I don't really know the exact release date of all the games, but I... 
there's like at least detecting an anomaly there we go okay that's, that's the ghost audio, there's I at think. least like 10 new games coming out in october because obviously horror month that's gonna be awesome uh something in its mission what was that i'll keep that as audio evidence all right well i mean those were the ones we heard before that's a lot of audio yeah this ghost is just talking non-stop hello I was, Outlast is getting a new update as well. Receiving a transmission. I heard Dance Dance Revolution. I don't think they set that, but you never know. Alright, come on, buddy. It's right. I think this is a shadow. Would be a bit... I feel, I feel like this would be... It would make the most sense if this was just a residual. Actually. But I don't know. They said subscribe to InSim. Definitely. Very lonely office. I mean... They sleep here. They work over there. There's two beds. Two workers right here and then another worker right there. Maybe there's a bed in that room as well that we can't see. I would assume. Hello? Can you please talk to me? Stardew Valley is also... Stardew Valley is getting new content, really? After all... All this time? I haven't played Stardew Valley in so long. Really? Wait, but isn't the dev working on a new game? What the fuck? How does he have time to also make a bunch of content for Stardew Valley? I thought that they... He was making like a chocolate game or something. You f oh no! That's, That's sound extraordinary. Audio Did Conrad audio. have some empathy, man? <laughs> that sounded like something sad about her husband dying. Oh no! He was being stuck here forever. Oh no! Because she had to probably keep working while her husband died. Damn, that's some sad stuff. <laughs> Conrad, please. <laughs> He's working on. On the chocolate here. How the fuck does he have so much time, man? Cross your truth. Thank you for the 25. You promised forever. Oh, maybe that. Alrighty, buddy. We haven't had a single EMF pickup. Why did you have to go? Why did you have to go? That's extraordinary audio evidence. Uh oh. Edge. So, yeah, I think we have all the notes. Mary lost her husband on duty. That's why the sadness is happening. Feels bad. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is one of those depressing ones. <laughs> I mean, she still lived, like, so much more, so much longer after the war, right? Because she lived until 81, right? Uh... Uh, we're almost wow, done. Oh, wait, why is the ghost? The ghost is not showing itself at all. We're just like, be I think this is mostly just the paramic being insanely strong. <laughs> does the ghost just keep talking nonstop? I miss you every day. No, I didn't even hear that one, but that's so sad. Just <laughs> fuck me, man. Feels bad, man. Sorry, Mary. All, right, all of the damn ghosts in this game are so depressing. Oh, hi there! Let's go! Uh, nice. Oh, come on, come on. Yes, yes, finally. No! Wait, what the fuck? Where'd you go? Come on, man. Alright, well, they almost got it. I'm assuming this is just, uh, nothing. Looks like this is a normal EMF reading. God dang it. Why do you have to get it so long for you to know that it's paranormal, Conrad? I thought you would know better being a ghost hunter and all. Yeah, the ghosts are created from the trauma. All right, do that again, please. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, 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 where? There, nice. No, 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 no. What? How the fuck? Dude, this is ridiculous. Hi. 
Okay, um, well, this is definitely working. We got the photo. It is a shadow ghost after all. All right. Uh, we got the ghost photo. All we need is one more audio. That is, this is, might have been the fastest investigation I've ever done. <laughs> like, this is so much audio evidence so quickly. What the hell? Insane. She's saluting. I mean, she... So she turned back to her... Like, when she was in the war and working with her husband, I guess. Air mic OP. I mean, we need one more pair mic noise. The camera took so many pictures as well. Come on, one more. A single more. Wait a minute. I literally... I am so stupid. I just realized for the first time that the like item belt is a belt. <laughs> I never knew what the middle of the item was, but it's like a belt buckle. <laughs> I had no idea. Well, it's like <laughs> I I just I just didn't, never really like asked the question like what is that? I thought it was just like a pouch or something. <laughs> I just I just realized. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh. Intercepting a potential. Intercepting a what now? Alrighty. Well, there you hey, go. There that was an voice. absolute speed run of an investigation. Let's see the photos that the camera took. I mean, Incredible. obviously, literally just the photos. Film. So it, it reacted to me, right? That is the difference between a shadow ghost and a residual is that they like react to the player. This, this, this ghost saluted me. Uh, alrighty, well, I guess that's it. We know the whole story. The whole story is a little sad uh, that she was serving the military and then her husband died in, in the war. Uh, but we can at least try and set her free now. That is our intelligence with no EVP, exactly. And we get a full... Oh, yeah, we wait. No, we don't even get a... This is one of the worst full investigations of all time because we didn't get any EMF. We didn't get any temperature. I mean, I was trying to get EMF 34. I mean, that's fine. Let's listen to the. I think we could already. We already know knew all of the audio things it said, but let's listen to them again. Alrighty, let's see. We have the ghost is going to be Diligent shadow, I see. Detecting an anomaly. Detecting an anomaly? This is observation duty. <laughs> I miss you every day. Oh, I miss you every day. It feels bad, man. What the hell? Intercepting a bit. Intercepting a bit. Intercepting a bump bump. Intercepting a bit. I'm assuming that just cuts off. Intercepting a something, a message. Intercepting a bit. I think it just cuts off. Intercepting something. <laughs> Zipping a new transmission. Zipping a new transmission. What the fuck? Why does it go loud and then quiet? Zipping a new transmission. Something, something transmission? Zipping a new transmission. Receiving a transmission. Uh, I can't li I can't hear what she say. It sounds very sad though. Together forever. Something forever. Together forever. We should have been together forever. God damn it! Oh, there's another one. Why did you have to go? Why did you have to go? This is depressing. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, obviously the story is crystal clear. Let's wait. What was your name? Mary Welsh. That was the name. All right. Well, let's release this ghost out of the, her misery. Damn. Poor woman. <laughs> That's indeed extraordinary audio evidence. I'm fairly confident. Okay. So wait, what is the, this one is for poltergeist. This one is for residuals. Which of these two is for shadows? I guess I'll just take them both. I don't remember. Yeah, that... 
I mean, it's kind of ironic that that most of the ghosts that have this like that have these sad stories of them like losing a loved one do not move on to the next life where they can be with those loved ones. It's like super ironic. That's why we're here, I guess, to help them move on to the next life. Uh, oh, it's a an award or just a microphone. I, I don't know which of these uh, is for the for the shadow. Probably the blue one. Uh, no. What? Over here. Yes. Okay. So it is the blue one. Right, place the microphone. Oh yeah, I remember. The shadow is different. <laughs> the shadow is spooky. Oh, here we go. Uh, we're trying to talk to Mary Walsh. I'd like to acknowledge Mary Walsh's presence. here right there what is the spirit's attachment it is a microphone i found this microphone in your office i believe it may have been one you used when you worked here i've learned that you're very good at your job and well respected we go back this is very creepy yeah well what was the spirit's grief upon death heartbroken I know you lived a full life, but it seems like you never healed from the loss of your husband. It must have been terrible to lose him at such a young age. I know you missed him dearly. You can be with him now. You just have to let go of these memories and leave this place. Oh, there you go. Goodbye. He's just like staring at me. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Goodbye, Mary. We're definitely gonna put this in the museum. Keep this safe. Man, that was a, I had no idea this ghost even sure existed. I put this relic Literally safe. learned of this ghost 15 minutes ago, and now we're already released them. Like, the absolute speed run. That's just because of the param. I mean, she was very talkative, right? Even without the paramic, it would have been a fast investigation. Let's go. Wait, so this literally leaves? We're about to do the final ghost? Forever? Right? There's only one more ghost remaining? Oh, the end is near. What the hell? Let's see, are we indeed done? We have released all of them except the demon there we go all right well before we do the demon we have to do a little bit of science first of all we need to grab the right scroll which has got to be this one and then we need to learn which of the horsemen or whatever is related to this ghost which we have to check in the wiki over here we have to go to demonology um so for the first demon it was red horse for the other demon it was famine i'm assuming it's going to be death here maybe death incarnate an omen of the finite. She ventures abroad, seeking the old and dying, increasing... Wait, maybe not. Increasing the ominous cloud left in the wake of greater loss. Her presence some siphons the wills of the greatest men, hardening their shell with numbness to repel consolation. Her scythe is the final judgment, which cuts a swath in her path, quelling the judgments of her brethren. Okay, maybe not. What is this one? He is a uh, white horse. He is envisioned as a noble adorned with a crown of the purest gold and brandished a silver bow. He traverses outstretched lands, seeking the rulers of the world to corrupt them by exploiting their greatest desires. Okay, that's it. Because uh, this demon, if you don't know, possessed Aaron, like uh, some guy, and then Aaron did all of the killing. Um, so by inducing considerable mistrust among the people... He invokes overwhelming panic and madness, coercing the affected to overthrow their kingdoms into collapse. Okay, so we need to, like, really uh, remember the text here. So we have mistrust, invokes overwhelming panic and madness. That's going to be important. Uh, corrupt them by exploiting their greatest desires. That might also be important. All right, so we have to keep that all in mind. Maybe take a screenshot so we can refer to this later. Uh, and now it is time to literally let 
I mean, it is the final ghost. The final ghost that we will ever investigate in Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. Are you ready? The last ghost, baby. Here we go. <laughs> it was the White House, yes. The White Horse, sorry. Did I say White House? I'm fairly confident I've released more than half the we ghosts. We have definitely released more than half the ghosts. This is literally the last ghost, my friend. I my release the lore and legends that have been brewing here for the last couple centuries. We'll be fine. All right. Well, we have already seen uh, the the relic when we were doing the release ritual for Melanie. Uh, I think it was over there somewhere. I mean, maybe it's going to be in a different spot. Let's go. After all we've been through. Is it going to be here? It is there still. Alrighty. Here we go. Uh, I'm assuming... I mean, maybe it's here. It would be kind of strange. Wait, is it? No, I, I'm assuming it's going to be in the cave, right? <laughs> and the banners, the cave demon. Get ready to hear the loudest noise of all time. Approaching this cave. I love the water effect here. Look at that, man. That that, that lighthouse actually working. <laughs> There's the water. Um, so the whole demon exorcism is so... There's a lot of steps to it. I hope I'll do this right or we're going to get attacked by the ghost. Um, they're going to be in the middle here. There it is. Okay. So I think what we have to do is place the relic. Put a divine light in source. Oh, of yes. Here we go. I come before you today for all the missing teens whose lives were taken by Aaron Lehman and this corrupted fiend. With the strength of my heart, let me overcome the demon's power to harm. In this moment, bless me with purity and apathy that cannot be taken away. I seal this prayer. Okay. Prayer. Then I think I need to place. Wait, actually, I can't do this yet. Don't I need to find the name first? Wait a minute. I completely forgot about... Wait, I think I have to capture this ghost before I do that. No? I'm confused. There. This demon's allegiance is with whom? The white horse. I call upon <laughs> you, rider of conquest. Bring forth your lesser fiend of oh, water. Oh, no, I'm too close. I'm too close. I'm in the circle. I'm going to get I am to be out. its oh, exile. No. Okay, there we go. Ooh, the water this time. Look at that. Okay. Uh, we can't... That's kind of sick looking. Okay, we need to get the name first. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, we need to find these, uh, relics. Uh, which is gonna help us, uh, figure out the name of the demon. Because that's also what another part of the... Of the ritual. Where's the last one? Or the last two... I mean, with this, we can already do it, but I really want to fill it out completely. So we could just look at the, the names they present to us. It's going to be out here, I guess. Oh, God. Is it going to be all the way at the playground? <laughs> that would be so annoying. Might be. It was where I found the relic. I mean, there's got to be at least one out here, right? Or will they all going to be in the cave? I'm assuming there's going to be one over at the playground where they found the other demon or the other ghost. There it is. I told you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be one more over here or if it's going to be in the cave and I just missed it. Probably in the cave, I guess. I don't see it. Uh, the demons are indeed spooky. Never mind. It's at the relic. Hi there. Alrighty. So... You can see in the outer ring, there is like uh, a bunch of letters that are lit up. Those are like a scrambled version of the name of the demon. So once they... I think with this, we can just... We have to actually fill in the name now. I love the icon of this ghost, but... Oh, Jesus. Um, I love the icon of this demon being like... Kind of like Voldemort, where you can see a face on the front and then a demon face on the back. That's what it reminds me of, at least. Alrighty, well, don't get too close to this ghost, because they're gonna kill you. Right click- oh, no. Don't I click E, right? Yeah, here we go. Uh, what emotions power this demon? Here we go. Uh, 
The z oh no, I forgot. It was panic and something. The greatest desire, right? Madness, madness and desire. Yes. Reveal yourself to me now, foul beast of lust. I am here to defend those who have coveted and will subdue the tendrils of madness you've entangled them with. I will ensnare you, foul beast of corruption. Dude, Conrad's not messing around anymore. Hi there. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool looking. I love the... I gotta take screenshots. Alrighty, next step is gonna be... What is the demon's... Wait, what? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? No! What the hell? Why are you... What the fuck? Why did you attack me? Excuse me. Uh... Run away. Hello? The fuck was that? Did I mess it up? What did I do? <laughs> that was kind of terrifying. I didn't do anything. Wait, huh? What did I do wrong? All right, we're gonna have to grab more salt. I guess we have to redo the ritual. Did I misclick? I don't know what happened. I didn't click at all. Because if I would have clicked, Connor would have been like, oh, I did something wrong. But no, nothing happened. Oh, the salt went away because I took too long. I see. Makes sense. Because I did the whole name stuff. I, I get it. I moved. You can't move while in a menu, though. Like, I think it just took too long. We, t we got timed out. I'm assuming. Is my game just ended? After all we've been through, Conrad just fucking dies. <laughs> that would... That would be one hell of a story. I mean, I, I avoided the ghost. I didn't even get knocked out. Idiot. The demon has shit to do. Demon's just been there for hundreds of years doing absolutely nothing. Not even, not trying to possess anyone else. Just, just chilling. Alrighty, grab some salt. Can I get multiple salt? I can only grab one salt. Yeah, we're gonna have to not mess it up this time then. That would have been a embarrassing situation. A smudge? I have a smudge in there, right? I dropped the smudge on the floor. Unless it burned out, but it was still in there. I don't think I need another smudge, right? Literally in there. Uh, I'm stuck. All right, the demon. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, we still have a smudge, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, it's burning. I hope it's still fine. I think it's still fine. Okay. Uh, obviously, we need this. Well, let's redo this because I did something wrong, whatever it was. Um, it's still here. No. It's left. It's gone now. There we go. Okay, place the relic. Check. Put divine light in source. There we go. Thank you, Conrad. <laughs> For all the missing teens whose lives were taken by Aaron Lehman and this corrupted fiend. With the strength of my heart, let me overcome the demon's power to harm. In this moment, bless me with purity and apathy that cannot be taken away. I seal this prayer. It's, it's Conrad ASMR. Um, now we place assault. Check. And you're the white horse. I call upon you, rider of conquest. Bring forth your lesser fiend of water and let it see me, for I am to be its exile. No? Yes. Okay. I think it was because we took too long. Also, gotta love how much salt is in this one salt thing. Like, look how thick this line is. Okay, don't get too close. Uh, what power, what emotion power the demon? It is desire and madness. Reveal yourself to me now, foul beast of lust. I am here to defend those who have coveted and will subdue the tendrils of madness you've entangled them with. I will ensnare you, foul beast of corruption. There, touch me. If you get within the circle, you get knocked out. Uh, and then, what is the demon's greatest desire? Mistrust and panic. You no longer have power here in our world. Your frailty is revealed, and your weapons of corruption are brittle. I command you to remove your crown, for I am here bringing peace to the lost and will restore the trust you stole. We shall breathe through your suffocation. Your existence is meaningless. He's just this to me. Much. 
god, it's so dark now. And then the last thing, what is the demon's name? Okay, we have to check the... Uh... I see an M, so it's gotta be Maiden. Soul Maiden. Soul Maiden. It's Soul Maiden. O Divine Light and Source of Love, I firmly declare that Soul Maiden has no place in this realm. I now exile this lecherous filth from the mortal plane. It has no power over me, for I am protected by your divine presence. With deep gratitude and faith in your protection, I seal this prayer. Oh. Jesus! <laughs> Goodbye, ghost. And with that, we have completed. I wonder what's gonna happen when I we get to back to sure the. Sure, I grab the relic, and it never leaves the museum. I'm really curious if there's gonna be a special voice line when we get back to the museum, because we have done it all. It's all over now, which feels very strange. Like, this is the game I rem came out in 2022, right? So it's been a it's been over a year that it's been worked on. Um, was it 2021 or 2022? I don't remember. I think it might have been 21. Um, but it was one of, it is in my opinion, one of the two most unique ghost hunting games made after Phasmophobia. I think most other ghost hunting games uh, tend to be a lot safer and stick to the Phasmo formula. I think Conrad as well as Forewarned have been the only two true innovative uh ghost hunting games and to see this one come to like its full fruition and be like done is kind of like a surreal feeling like we were there from the very beginning exploring it not understanding any of it and now we are a master we have solved it all um i think you get even you get a hundred for demons yeah i really love the story detail and i can't wait what the dev has in store for the next time the rosalka get the hell out of here and now, Conrad, what, you better have something to say. After wrapping up this last location, I think this place really looks impressive. I've got a merchandise shop full of items that seem to be selling pretty well. The museum appears to be getting quite a bit of traffic, too. It's far fuller than I could have imagined. Since things are going so well, I think I'll take a break from investigating for a bit. I'll try and exclusively run the shopping museum and see how that goes. And maybe take on an apprentice. Oh. Take on an apprentice. There we go. Thank you for playing Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. We have completed the game. So the way you can still keep playing now is you can bring back the ghosts by bringing back the relics. Or you could play a new game and start from the very beginning. What an adventure it's been. So yeah, this is, uh, unless you guys really want to see me start from the very beginning again, this might be the last video we will ever make on Connor Receivers' Paranormal PI. And I think it's it's been a beautiful adventure. I really love, like, I've obviously had a bit of a, a strange experience because we played it from the very beginning when there was no museum, none of that stuff. Um, so I kind of envy the people that are like able to play the game with everything that has been added in the last few updates because this stuff is so cool man that you can like see all the notes in the museum uh, there was not even a note system at all when we first started playing this game right when we first started playing there was only like audio and we had to like somehow figure out the story of the ghosts and like over time with all the updates it became clearer and clearer and the uh, like the way you investigate the ghost became way more immersive. But yeah, this is the museum. Beautiful right here. Every relic of every single ghost. How many ghosts total? I'm kind of curious because I, I don't know. Let's see. Let's count all the ghosts. One, two, three, four. Uh, whoops, wrong button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and then all of these. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 different unique stories, all with their unique notes, all with their unique audio evidence, all with their specifically crafted for this game models, because the models are made for this game alone. So yeah, I think this is a very impressive game, and it's like really cool to see one of the ghosts of the games that we've been following from the very beginning actually come out of early access and feel completely finished. So yeah, let me know what you thought 
of Khan receivers as paranormal API. I hope you enjoyed all the videos. If you've missed any single one of them, I will link the playlist over in the top right. But anyway, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash Sinsim. I'll get the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Oh, man. It is done. It has been completed. Conrad Stevens' Paranormal P.I. Um...